Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. Um, I, I, I forgot what I was going to say then. But this is how today is going to show. I had the breaking news a second ago. Hannah said, well, that's it then. We're not, we're not having a Greg's. They're not delivering on a Sunday. So that sort of set our theme for the day. Um, we're going to have a fabulous show, I promise. Don't you worry. Uh, we've got lovely Adele Rowland here today. And we've actually got some really great projects with us, some really great projects. So stay tuned for her. And this hour is going to be brilliant. It's all about bulk buys. It's all about discounts, fabrics under £10. I don't know if you saw the show last weekend, but Hayley was producing. She was back off a holiday last Sunday, and she put together an hour of designer fabrics under £10. Hannah, how difficult is it to do a designer fabric hour under 10 so i'm very very excited about that starting though with our early bird special and it, oh my word it's a good one this is hd40 it's something that we use day in day out uh with your cushions with your bags with your purses we've done a big bundle as well this is a three meter bundle you are getting it all pre-cut ready to go um if you're doing lots of bag making cushions if you do wall hangings it's a lovely sort of fusible fleece and you're getting loads and loads and loads there to stock you up on your stash doing storage tubs this is perfect the great thing about it is it does have the little glue dots on the one side and the sort of smooth lovely fluffy side on the other on the salvage edge it does have your heating instructions but it's a visaline product so it's great quality and ideal if you're doing you know any of i know delphine uses this all the time with her cushions lots of our bag makers use this i mean it looks very exciting on screen doesn't it when you just see you know a nice white fluffy cloud, but you are getting literally so, so much. Three whole metres. We are about to take five pounds off as an early bird special today. It's 29.99. It's one of those that we never need to discount. We talk about it all the time. Um, the amount of times I'm asking guest owners, how many, how much is for you if you use? And it's always, you know, a meter is fine. So we normally sell it by the meter. Today, you're getting a whole three meter bundle for less than 30 pounds, just 29.99. I'd actually go as far as saying, I think it's probably our um, most popular fuse board like our most popular interface it use it with loads of projects if you are looking at your stash thinking actually do you know what i could do with that i could do with stocking up on h640 it's one of those that maybe when you're looking at all the lovely bundles under 10 pounds you think oh yeah that it looks beautiful to have all of your nice new fabrics new patterns but when you haven't got your interfacings or your fusibles that can just change a project com completely. So it's definitely worth having them in your stash. If you're sewing on a Sunday afternoon, you're thinking, oh, actually, I've run out of H640. It's a bit of a pain, isn't it? It's not something you necessarily can just walk down your local high street and get in your haberdashery stores. Big saving today, nearly six pounds saving on that one. Normally 35.94. Lots of people coming through. Remember, it's already cut into three meter bundles for you. So it's cut like this. Doesn't mean to say that you can't do smaller projects. Um, and you know, obviously cut this up. You can use it where you stick them, all of the sort of pieces together, just butt them up next to each other. And they'll be fine if you are using smaller scraps. But for three meters, you're gonna be able to get as I say, lots of cushion fronts. Big bags, weekend bags. £29.99. Normally £10 for a metre, isn't it? No, it's less. Actually, hang on. This is by the half metre. So normally it would be £35.94 for all three metres. Today, $29.99. Absolutely fabulous. Why don't everybody who's coming through, don't forget you've opened your order now for the day. And if there's anything else you want to stock up on, this hour is definitely it. We've got sewing needle, like machine needles. We've got big refills on best press, which I didn't even know that we had. I've not seen the big bottles before, which is brilliant. We've got um, stash builders on fabric. We've got dressmaking pattern paper. It's all listed underneath us on the website. So if there's anything you want to stock up on, haberdashery, all coming up in this first hour. Definitely stay tuned, just £29.99. Sorry if I left my coffee mug on the side. Uh, right, half the stock of this has gone. That is three whole metres of H640. 
It is 90 centimetres wide. It's already cut off the bolt for you into these three big three metre bundles. Fabulous. Right, keep coming through for that throughout the show because that is one of those that is just so useful for your stash, isn't it? Um, right, do you want to do today's menu before we start going on to everything else? So as I say, bulk buy deals and Hannah's gone rogue. So we've got designer bundles under £10 this hour. We've got haberdashery. We've got creative good rulers. All sorts coming up in this first hour. Then we've got a new shirt to me. I've not seen the Augusta shirt. Um, it's actually a shirt and dress pattern from Grainline Studio, which are American-based pattern house, and they are fabulous. You may have seen Adele uh, posting a picture on social media last night of the blouse. Adele is wearing... Are you reading your notes, Hannah? Adele is wearing the blouse. Hannah, today in the meeting, she was like, hang on, let me just write this down. Adele will be wearing the blouse. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, she's got it on. She's ready for our 9 o'clock show. 10 o'clock, we've got uh, dressmaking fabrics and patterns. In fact, actually, some of those some of those dressmaking fabrics would be perfect for your Augusta dress or shirt. Come up at 10 o'clock. Now, it is back. The All Access Sewing Book is back. I know that we had one show with John um, a few weeks ago. It was so popular. And I love the fact that so many people got involved uh, and messaged in, um, asking lots of questions. So we're going to open it up to all of your questions as well. Get your questions in for Adele at 11 o'clock. 12 o'clock, savings. We're going to be discounting dress forms. We're going to be discounting our mannequins. So that's at 12 o'clock, as well as some other bits and bobs for you along the way as well. So stay with us if you can. You can watch on the go on the app, on Facebook, on the web. You can message any questions that you have into the studio as well. So come on in and say hello to us. Um, it's all listed underneath us on the website. Do you want to show? Yeah. If you go to sewingstreet.com, this is where it will take you to our landing page. You can click on watch live. You can watch us on the go. You can scroll down on the right hand side. You will see a little send message box. Come say hello to us. There's your early bird. There's your haberdashery. Everything that is coming up is listed here. Fabulous. All of those designer fabrics, by the way, are already dropped under 10 for you. You are making a saving on all of them. Oh, creative grids. You're saving uh, five pounds on that as well. Fabulous. So everything is listed underneath us there. Right, what should we start with, Hannah? Early bird is about to sell out. If everybody has checked, everybody who's got it in the basket checks out that it's completely sold out with people missing out. So I will let you know once that's gone. Shall we do some of these under 10 pound bundles? Go on. Uh, anyone in particular? We have got, just so you know, Kaif, Liberty, Tula, Tilda, and who have I missed? William Morris. Literally five of the most popular designer fabric brands that we stock. Um, do you want to start with William Morris? They are really lovely as well. The, the, the combination of solids go really, really well. So you've got... Half a metre of William Morris and half a metre of your navy blue, which is brilliant. To be able to get these under £10 is crazy. Bearing in mind, these fabrics are, what, 8 99 They're free spirit? Yeah. That might be even about to sell out. I think it might have gone on pre-order. Well done. Um, this is another William Morris one, and it's with a lovely sort of slaty blue. Just beware, though, they're all really, really limited. As soon as they went on pre-order, there were people checking out. I mean, look, these are normally eight ninety nine, so it means that like you're getting your solid for free. Lots of these you're, sa you're saving between three and four pounds, which is fabulous. Especially when you're thinking, right, this is half a meter. You could make two cushions, front and back, with this bundle. How much are you going to pay for a William Morris cushion? Nine ninety nine, and I love it with this lovely slate blue, or does it say slare in the graphics? The slayer blue. I think it's meant to be slate. <laughs> Nine pounds, 99. I thought, oh my gosh, I need to rub my eyes a bit. It's so a bit blurry this morning. But no, it does say slayer. Single figures on the only other William Morris bundle that we actually, I believe, do we have one more? One other. Nine pounds, 99 for William Morris. Yeah. 
I think this might be the last one, you know. Under £10. Beautiful quality as well. When you're looking at Free Spirit, you know the quality that you're getting. That is your seasons. It's a um, uh, May Morris design, by the way, Hannah. We love, we love May Morris. It was William Morris's daughter, and she was actually head of the sort of textile department of Morris & Co. So maybe this would have been an embroidery or a tapestry. There are more of you who've got these in your basket than we have availability. We could only do this because it was sort of like a manager's takeover show last Sunday, and I think um, Hayley was delirious after her holidays. I don't think we were supposed to repeat these. Hannah says, I'm breaking the rules because it's Sunday. Um, yeah. Don't worry, on a Sunday, by the time the managers are here on a... What day? They're here tomorrow morning. It's happened. They've already sold out. We've erased all evidence that this ever happened. £9.99. Amazing. More of you have got that in your basket. If you have got, look, your early bird and a couple of these bundles, you are sorted making new cushions, some bags, all sorts, linings, fabrics, and your H640 ready. I've got Liberty. I've got Liberty with white. Um, this one is beautiful. If I'm not mistaken, this is from... Oh, single figures. This is from the Botanist Blossom range. It's gorgeous. Sorry, the um, Collector's Home. It's called Botanist Blossom. It's beautiful. Imagine this. I mean, this sort of time of year, perfect chance to be able to get yourself genuine Liberty... Oh, literally one remaining. That's how fast you've got to be. That is how fast you've got to be this Sunday morning. Check out on the very, very last one. We've got another. Oh, actually, that's the only Liberty. Or oh, what's the blue? The blue, this one, the blue and white. That's sold out. Sold out on pre-order. Well done if you managed to get any of those. Shall we do Tilda? Two Tilda bundles, one with a rose. Or three Tilda bundles, actually. We've got one with blush. Oh, I must say, Tilda by the half metre never sticks around in stock. We, we often have, you know, Tilda in pre-cuts. I say often. We see more of Tilda in pre-cuts than we do in half metres. So to be able to have a full half metre of bouquet and teal, this beautiful bouquet, and then it's set with blush as well. So you've got half a metre of blush, half a metre of your Tilda. Bear in mind again, remember, these fabrics, they are at least 7 49 maybe £8, 8 99 8 49 some of them a half metre. We haven't bought in a cheaper fabric to, to match with them. These are always, what, £3.70? £3.70 something, aren't they? Half metre. They're our regular solids and the quality is amazing. They're £3.79 they are. So fabulous prices today. He's, selling between, he's saving between £3 and £4 pounds on these bundles. The bundles have already been set for you though. They're all listed underneath just in case you want to get ahead. Lots of people are doing that and that's why a couple of those sold out on pre-order. We've got Tula. We've got Kaif as well. We've got another two Tildas to bring you. But to be able to get any... Tilda, under £10. You're doing very, 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 very well. Little purses, I'm thinking, would be nice. Oohs and ahs from Charlie. Ooh, ooh, ah. Now, this one is with ivory. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? I love that blue. The blue's like a cornflower, really nice blue. With your coral reds, turquoise, mustard ochres. Pick out any of those colours. And then you've got your fabric there ready for any linings, any backs of cushions. Using it for um, Tilda toy making as well. Or little accessories for dolls. Just $9.99, bringing back some of these amazing designer bundles from last weekend. Last chance on them. Are you, is your coffee place delivering yet, Hannah? <laughs> Sunday morning, no delivery drivers available to drop it. We're literally, I want to say, less than half a mile, like 
within walking distance. But we're not allowed to leave the studio, are we? It's very, very early on a Sunday morning. Where's Michael Wolfe when you need him? Right, Ivory and Tilda, £9.99. We've got one other Tilda bundle, and it's with a really nice bright yellow. What do you think? Oh, I love these large bouquets. See, in pre-cuts, you would never normally see this whole design. That, for me, I would have in a big block. I mean, oh, that is lovely, isn't it? And Hayley has put it with Buttercup. Hannah used to use Buttercup with everything, didn't you? Buttercup, buttercup, oh, buddy, 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 buttercup. This is your whimsy flower. That is one of my favourite Tilda prints. It's just so detailed, isn't it? Every flower, look at the amount of colours that we've used, and it just works so, so well. Even if you're cutting this up, you know, for smaller pieces, it's going to look fabulous. Just £9.99, under 10 today for your designer Tilda Chic Escape bundle. Remember, with our quality, 100% cotton, quality and weight fabric, solids as well. You can't go wrong. Yeah, they're all going, by the way. There are eight of these remaining. It's worth having a look back on our website, just seeing which of the other bundles are available. If there are any of the William Morrises, grab them. If there's any of the Liberties. I mean, we can't replace these. Not at that price. I mean, we bought up these in, obviously, fabulous prices. And this is just an extra special deal, a bit of a, a PR. Try it out. Try us out. Try this fabric out. As we cannot buy this fabric, even this fabric. I know all of the designer fabrics have gone up in price. Um, I can't remember if it was Kerry. Someone was telling me about the Liberties being um, over £10 a half metre for her to buy in. So for us to be able to do some of these bundles, it's brilliant. Nine ninety nine. Um, that's the only other Tilda one that we have. Should we do the only um, Tula? We've got one Tula, and it's the goldfish one, which I love this fabric. This is so much fun. Wait till you see this. You've got your metallic gold. You've got treasure. And there's something else that's secret in here, and I can't remember what it was. But I've, I, there's always something secret with Tula, isn't there? The metallic goldfish. Oh, it's the goldfish. No. What else was that? I can't remember. I feel like there's the sea snails. Oh, yeah, look. The little shells. This is so cool. Look, look the big snails. I saw an African land snail the other day. They are really big, aren't they? Huge. Why does that make you go, oh, Hannah? It was Maisie's birthday in the week and we went to the uh, Hatton Country World Farm. She held a, I want to say, python. It was the biggest snake. It took three of them. It took Grampy, Kieran's dad, Kieran and Maisie all to hold this snake. I was, I was somewhere else in the cafe having a coffee with my mum and the twins. We were like, no, it's fine. If you really want to hold the snake for your birthday, by all means, go do it, girl. But not for me. Not for me. I don't want to make her scared of it because if I went, I'd be like, ah! No way. So, I'm like, that's fine. <laughs> if you want to do that, that's really cool, Maisie. Go for it. Shoot for the stars. But, uh, yeah, she had a lovely birthday. I am pleased the birthday shenanigans are over because it's definitely too much for a three-year-old to have, like, four days of birthday. She keeps waiting. Every morning she wake up like, is it still my birthday? Is it my birthday today? Oh, yeah, everyone, everyone's, she still thinks everything's a birthday. She starts to get slightly, um, no, it was like, she was just so overtired, too much cake, too much sugar, too much attention. She went to her little party yesterday, all of her little friends that wanted to play with her, and she was like, no, no, didn't want to play with her friends. And I was like, right, birthday is over. Birthday is done. 
No, she doesn't need another birthday. When's your birthday, Charlie? What date? Mine's the 26th. Did we know this? Birthday twins. The only two Le Pink bundle. This is from the Besties range. Treading water. It's this gorgeous colour in the background. It's so beautiful. I would literally be fussy cutting these. <gasps> Look at the detail. The artwork's always fabulous, isn't it, with Tula? But that's really special. I'd make nice little wash bags with this. Going away on your holidays, some nice wash bags. Ben's way in Amsterdam at the minute, isn't he, producer Ben? Trying out all of the local um, alcohol-free beer. Metallic and blush together. That is beautiful combo. Great choice. Loads of these going. If you've got them in your basket, be aware. I don't think there's going to be enough to go around. What, where are you going? I've never been. Hannah is our travel guru. We've got two caves to bring you next. Oh, thank you. What are you, what, what, I'm excited to see this. What is it for? <gasps> um, Look at this. Cave, 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 cave. How much is this individually out of curiosity? If you just go onto the website and type in cactus flower, aqua. I'm sure the caves are eight, I'm sure they're eight ninety nine. Correct me if I'm wrong, it might be seven forty nine, but I'm sure they're eight ninety nine. And look, they are really beautiful that they've got this sort of shadow effect. They're like popping out at you, aren't they? And you're getting half a meter of your green. Lime green to bring out the lime greens in the floors. I mean, it's up to you. If you want to use them in a project together, go for it. If you don't, there's nothing telling you you have to use them together. You've got a lovely spring green there and a big bright cave for $9.99. One meter bundle. Some of the caves on the website are $8.49, aren't they? We're all around that price point, so it's definitely worth making the most of these bundles under a 10. Getting your solids at fabulous prices. And as I said, yet yeah, use them together, they work, but also to save them separately for your stash if you want. Two half metres for 9 99 A whole metre of quilting weight cotton with designer prints under £10. You cannot go wrong. We also have the rainbows. This might be the last of the designers, by the way. This is my fave. I love this one. Look at that. Remember, half a metre is 112 wide. It's a lot of fabric, isn't it? And it's beautiful. Really beautiful. Perfect and colourful for this time of year. I feel like we are edging into spring. It was really nice yesterday. For the first time ever, I walked out without a coat and I was like, this feels nice. You probably heard that, everyone. Summer! In my ear. We're all ready for summer. Can you tell? Hannah's awake. Hannah's turned a corner. She's awake. £9.99 for your rainbows and your sunshine yellow. I haven't even got my iPad this morning. I'm really slow, aren't I? Come and say hello to me and I'll get the... Um, I walked in this morning, I went, I'm okay, how are you? And no one had asked me if I'm all right. I just decided to... Oh, have you got a charger, please, Alex? Thank you. £9.99 for your sunshine. That is beautiful. Make yourself a lovely new summery bag, an outdoor cushion. I feel like it's time. We all need to just commit. If we all commit together, then, yeah, it's going to work. If we all commit and put our outdoor cushions out, outdoor furniture. Is it today? At the moment, it's sunny outside this morning. It's going to be a nice sunny Sunday. Oh, I might go out in the garden this afternoon. I've got some... Um, 
plants and planters. Maisie got a little gardening set for her birthday, so she really wants to do like her own strawberries. When's the best time of year to plant strawberries? Let me know. I feel like it's now, but if the weather were nicer. We've just got a lot of worms, haven't we, at the minute? Right. They're all your designers under £10. If you would love to get your solid white fabric, like with your H640, I mean, they're unmissable at the prices that we've been doing. But if you just want to build up your core pieces in your stash, this is your bulk buy option. This is a metre and a half, so three units of white cotton. Um, wow, under 10. There you go. Already a great price anyway for our solids. Yeah, come on, uh, come on out, Hannah. Um, it's already a great price anyway, so to discount it even more is fabulous. Just wafting. Here we go. Oh, no, I, I, I would love to have your help. <gasps> come on in, Hannah. Hannah's got new glasses, everyone. Thanks. Big day. She wanted to let everybody know. I she do. just walked in and said, just so you know, I've got new glasses. I, <laughs> they look lovely. No one's Rose gold. Yes. Here we go. Whole metre and a half for £9.87. I mean, you didn't really need to discount this, did you? No, I just like this. Oh, that's nice. You know, like the little parachutes you do it. And then you run underneath. Yeah, you'll be able to do this with the twins on Tuesday. Oh. Hannah's babysitting the twins for me on Tuesday. Yeah, I said she's going to have lots of fun and she just did a nervous laugh. <laughs> like, we'll be fine. <laughs> but yeah, that's a great price yeah, with £1.50 saving. Yeah. Here we are. £9.87 for a whole metre and a half. Cannot go wrong. Just 9 87 under 10. It's one of those, if you've bought anything already, add it to your order. It's just a stasher, isn't it? A stash builder. Oh, talk about stash builders. Right, there's 10 remaining and there's way more than 10 in baskets. Just to remind you, we did 8640 as an early bird. Uh, if you were to say to me, right, pick out your dream early bird, 8640 would definitely be up there because... It's something that everybody uses as crafters. Whether you're a bag maker, if you are a, a quilter and make cushions, quilted cushions, no matter what sort of uh, craft you do, I think everybody needs a bit of H640 in their, in their work room, don't they? And to be able to get a whole three metre bundle, you can really have a good play around. Uh, it's only 35.94. Actually, no, 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 it went lower. Went lower. It was an early bird special. There's a reason why there is uh, less than 10 now remaining because we went under 30 pounds. There you go, three meter bundle, your H640, your Visaline uh, product, which has got the adhesive on the, on the one side, which is very useful. And it, it is lovely as well, just with a bit of heat. Right, fab. Um, I've noticed that you've got this back, by the way. This was our early bird last Sunday. Are you allowed to repeat it? Early birds offer today and today only. This is your luxury solid. Well, it just reminded us of like, you know, golf club colours, yacht club colours. It's just very luxury tones, isn't it? But when I was pulling it out next to lots of the different designer bundles, it worked really, really well. Look, for example, if you got this... So if you've got any of those under £10 bundles and you want to buy a stash building bundle, we've never done this colour combination before. It's two metres. There are regular solids. They're the normal width. They're 112 wide, but they've never been bundled together as a colourway and they're really lovely. And, as I said, it was Boss Haley. It was an early bird special. She says, I didn't know it was an early bird. I shouldn't have done that. Half a metre for free. £11.37 for your four different colours. You've got... Well, when Hayley was explaining to us about why she called it, you know, like luxury plaids, we were like, well, you've got your primary colours, haven't you? And a green. Green is not a primary, is it? Blue, red, yellow. And you can make green with... I've been learning this recently, mix and maze is paints. <laughs> it's all those things that you think you should remember. You just don't. <laughs> yeah, Play-Doh never stays the same colours. You try and mix them all together to make nice colours and then you just get grey or brown. Um, pardon, sorry. Spring. So it is the best time now to plant my strawberries. Right, I might do that this afternoon if it's nice. 
11 pounds, 37. Is he got an allotment? Oh my gosh, isn't he gorgeous? This is the director over on Jewelry Maker. He's got a, um, an allotment. I would love to have an allotment. That's such a great idea. £11.37 for two whole metres in your luxury colours. They work really, really well with William Morris as well. I know this one's sold on pre-order, but look, just to give you a bit of a, an idea of some of the tones. Well done if you've got those. Don't forget as well, coming up, we've got the... These are already selling on pre-order. I can't remember the last time we had this ruler in stock. It has been ages. And then Hannah comes along, bundles them, and puts £5 discount on them. Did you have a crazy quiz hour? Oh, you jammy dodger. She says, I didn't have these. I didn't have these, though. Right, so... This is one of the most handy rulers. I haven't got my Facebook Live, but if Susie Duncan is watching, she will be messaging in right now that she loves this ruler. This one is a six inch square. It is fabulous to be able to do your half square triangles, working on smaller cuts, working on your two and a half inch strips. Brilliant. That one, obviously you can use still with your um, rotary cutter. Uh, it's got the turnaround feature, so you've got your full inch increments in white, you spin it around, and then you've got your half inch increments in black. Um, all of your different lines are, of course, marked out. Every quarter of an inch is marked, every uh, half inch, obviously, marked as well. Then, this ruler. This is Hannah's favourite. I, again, love it. I love that the non-slip grip's a little heart and it says, I love my quilting friends on it. So this would be a lovely gift or treat yourself. Still the thick acrylic that you can use it with a rotary cutter, but it's handy to be able to keep in your pencil case. You're not going to be going to workshops and classes and taking a 24-inch ruler, or maybe you do, but you're potentially not. If you're working on small, some of the smaller cuts, you're not going to be cutting your full width of your fabric with this, don't get me wrong. But to be able to draw your lines on your half square triangles and make your cuts, this is brilliant. Great combo of rulers. And you've got every eighth of an inch on here. You've got some really nice smaller measurements. You've got your seam allowance. And today, you are saving five pounds. It should be over 30 pounds. Two of the most popular creative good rulers. The savings already been taken off for you. Definitely get those. Um, yeah, well done if you were shopping on a pre-order for that because that is a great bundle. The amount of times we have guests asked for this ruler and we have to say, sorry, it's out of stock. It's out of stock at the minute. It's out of stock. Great for fussy cutting as well. If you've got some of your favourite fabrics, let me get my goldfish. If you're thinking, right, I just want to put the goldfish in the centre of a... A four-inch square, for example, you can literally be working out positioning where it is that you want to be cutting it, including your seam allowance, which is so useful. Squaring up blocks. Love that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Few of the 20 left. Few of the 20. Hannah just said in my yard, I can say she went, Few of the 20 people have got this. But she meant... The other way around, there's fewer than 20 left. I was like, oh, I need less than 20 people have bought this. This is a great deal. But what a fabulous bottle. There should be loads of people getting this. And Hannah said, yeah, there is. I've just got it the wrong way around. There's fewer than 20 now. It's Sunday. Sunday morning. Right, she'll be back with us by 9 o'clock. We'll be on it. By 1 o'clock, we'll be on it. Do you know when you arrive at 9am, you'll be awake when you're looking after my children? <sighs> oh dear, it should be over £30. Everybody who's got those in your basket, there's fewer than 20. They're lovely gifts as well, aren't they? They are really nice gifts. Fab bundle. Can we do best press? Oh no, Gutemann, go for it. No, these are great bulk buys. Stocking up if you've got a new big quilt to start and you're thinking, right, I want to wind all my bobbins ready. You're saving four pounds on your sew all threads. You get four whites, you get three black threads in each pack. So eight and six of your black, 
all got uh, Gutemann polyester threads. You get 100 meters on each reel and um, they are your 50 weight. So they're absolutely fine to go in your bobbin, in the top of your sewing machine for piecing, for... I mean, you can use it for virtually anything, for your quilting, for your applique. This is your sort of sew-all-go-to thread, which is what majority of our guests use for dressmaking, for quilting, for piecing, as you say. So they are really good ones just to be able to have as go-to in your stash. Maybe you're winding all your bobbins so you're not having to play bobbin chicken, thinking, right, am I going to have enough to do this really long seam? And then you run out. 14 threads for £21.98. You are saving £4 on that one today. Lovely quality, polyester thread, useful colours as well. Don't get me wrong, I love it when we have some of the big, beautiful, you know, uh, packs of um, variegated threads and bright colourful. But let's face it, what are we going to use day to day? Probably your black or your white thread. Um, they're essentials. And you've got how many kilometres? Over a kilometre, 1.4 kilometres of thread. Just shy of a mile worth of thread. There you go. It's a lot of thread. <laughs> it's a lot of thread. It's going to last you. It really is. Especially when you're bought buying, you know, these value packs and you're saving £4. Useful colours. Good morning, Daphne. Sorry, I haven't got my Facebook Live on today. I, my iPad's just charging. Uh, it's Sunday morning. Slower start today. But thank you for waking up, Daphne, with me. We'll be awake by one o'clock. Yeah, ready to sit in my garden and do some planting and my strawberries. Stay with me though till one, please. <laughs> or take me outside in the garden if it's nice. If it's nice enough to go outside. Oh, it's the gridded dressmaking pattern paper. I need to talk to um, I need to actually talk to Adele about this because there are so many patterns that have patterns on the one side and pattern on the other. So they're both front and back, that you have to trace them out. I know so many people that love to just cut straight into a pattern and go for it. Absolutely fine. But if you are a tracer, then definitely stuck on this because it's prim. It's really good quality pattern paper and you're not paying more for postage, even though, I mean, they're big rolls, aren't they? Um, you've got uh, 10 meter rolls, two 10 meter rolls, so 20 meters of dressmaking pattern paper. Fab that it's gridded as well, because if you are doing adjustments or if you're um, wanting to start maybe drafting your own patterns, then this is going to be perfect. Bundles about to sell out. You're saving three pounds on your bolt buys. Yeah, should we do some haberdashery? I love these because they look so professional. Now, look at these, all of the different colours. I'd be multi-buying on these and I'd be potentially using them on like cord dungarees. <gasps> They'd be lovely. Really nice on a flap on a... I know you're already getting six, Hannah, but I'm thinking if I buy two of them, then I'm going to get two green and two cream so I could use them as traps. You could do multicolours. They are leather as well, and they've got pre-punched holes so that you can literally stitch them straight on by hand. And they've got the magnetic fastening already on the back. So all you would do is literally stitch that onto the bottom of your bag, stitch this onto the top of the flap, Make sure it all lines and it's done for you. But I do like that it's a hidden magnet one. So you're not having to undo the buckle, but it still looks fancy. I do like a, sta a satchel would be nice, wouldn't it? You know, like those Cambridge style satchel bags. Or if you've got any nice tweed, a nice Harris tweed style bottom. I'm thinking like a rounded bottom. A rounded bag like this with a nice back I want to have her on my charades team. I just did this action of a curved bag and she said the word bottom and I repeated her. A Harris Tweed bottom. <laughs> ah, 
but they are lovely and they've all got look they've all got this lovely sort of sway backing they've already got your washer on the back for your magnetic snap it's already done you've already got look if, if you don't have a green machine you've got all of your fancy little sort of like rivets now this does work so if you do want to use it as a buckle you obviously can but just know it does have a magnetic fastening as well very versatile so that makes your price per buckle just 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 over four pounds which is fab remember bearing in mind if you were to buy the buckle separately if you'd buy all your leather if you were to buy your magnetic snap now you are saving a grand total of a pound on that but every little saving helps if you're if you do lots of uh bag making it, it, it's pieces like this i think it's haberdashery like this that really elevates the professionalism of your bag and their leather as well which are lovely black green sorry alex i really ruined your camera shot then i should have just kept them exactly where they were you got the cream you got the blue so first time i've worked with alex i heard all about him i heard all about you when um i was away i haven't worked with him before so it's lovely to to meet him right we've got also the um pressed lock one these are leather as well four different colors oh we're saving three pounds on these ones £16.96, you're getting the lovely tan colour and they've got pre-punched holes so if you just want to stitch these on straight away then you can and they do look really fancy don't they, they look lovely, you've got brown, you've got black, you've got a deeper brown and you've got a red and it's a nice red as well, a nice classy red, that's beautiful. I'm thinking this with your Harris Tweed style rounded bottom bag. Be lovely your tan brown black and red all for leather buckles saving three pounds today getting them as a bundle hmm. 16 pounds 96 for your clip bustle buckles and they are very nice and secure aren't they you know if you're making your own bags there are certain things that i think are oh, is it all going to sort of come apart or the fastenings I'm a bit nervous about so just buying nice bits of haberdashery like that your bag furniture it's lovely oh right you have here your iridescent rainbow hardware bundle now let me get this right you're getting two of your lovely little swivel clips so obviously you put your fabric through here and if you've got your green machine um but also they also go into your triangle so the clip into the circle like this oh fab i see so then your strap will go there or here and your strap for your bag there they are next level hardware aren't they so you get two you get a set of those basically you get two I do love the iridescent. These are basically like what you would use as a D-ring, but they're very fancy D-rings, aren't they? Uh, now, if the rainbow colourway isn't for you, we also have them in a gold. Um, oh, you get a snap fastening as well. So you've got your two-part swivel clip and D-ring, triangular ring, and then you're also getting a silver magnetic snap in there. All of the different washers and bits. Uh, you are actually not paying for the magnetic snap. That's for free. £10.56. These are chunky as well. They're really, really nice and solid. So if you are doing a big weekend bag with a nice thick strap, that'd be perfect. Um, if you just want the gold colourway, magnetic snap's going to be for free. And then you've got two of the triangular rings. I've not seen these before. I wonder if Baff has seen these. She'd love these. Or Emma Brassfield. I know they love the little, you know, the little, um, well, fancy hardware bits. It is that next level of bag making, isn't it? When you first start bag making, you don't think it's available to you. But actually, they're so easy to be able to uh, insert into your... Uh, into quite simple bags and it elevates it to that next level without actually any additional difficult sewing you've got your magnetic snap your two triangular rings which then 
can attach to the swivel clips. Yes, please. <laughs> Nine pounds fifty six. Enjoy. I mean, they are lovely, aren't they? <laughs> Under ten pounds saving, two pounds with your magnetic step for free. Lots of people coming through for all sorts. It's worth going back through and seeing what we had. I've got a Gutman HT two glue. This is another one that we never get the chance to do. Whenever Lisa Lamb has a show, it comes in stock and it disappears. She loves this. It's the one with the really nice thin long um, nib. Uh, <laughs> But it means that you can get into sort of nooks and, and, and crannies and it's not going to all get all gloopy on the end. You know that it's a great, powerful glue to use onto your fabric, to use, don't squeeze your tube too much. Um, and then these two will last you a, a really great amount of time. Use your instructions on, your back, on the back as well, but I, I believe you just need to leave it to dry for, um, for a couple of hours. Uh, to make sure that it's, it's completely secure. But this is a permanent glue. It's not like, you know, the Solan glue pen that's a temporary adhesive. This is a permanent adhesive. Your solvent textile glue. Saving a pound when you're buying two. Something that we, I mean, we sell out of when we have just one, uh, you know, singularly. So it's brilliant to be able to have your bundle if you do lots of bag making and um, know that you use it, go for it. Yeah, lots of people have got those in the baskets. Fabulous. I'll let you know um, as we go towards the end of the hour. Yes, I do. Now, best press options. Best press options today. We have got oh, loads of refills as well. I've never seen these. And I just wanted to show you in comparison. So this is your Mary Ellen's best press. There are different starch sprays that are available. This is the one that we get a lot of recommendations for. Lots of people messaging in about. There is actually a smaller one that I've got in my cupboard. It's just like a little... Um, with a sprayer on the top. We don't offer those anymore, but these ones are fab value for money. I know lots of people come in and bought multiple of the smaller ones, so you might as well get the bigger tub. Now, these ones are 500 mil, or 499 mil, and they are very specific, and they are perfect for working with any bias edges to just give you a little bit more stability. They won't give you a really, you know, it's not like a starch spray that you buy in the supermarket that will make your um, garment crispy and stiff. It won't gum up your needle. It won't add any flaking or any extra residue. It means you have a bit more control of the fabric. I know there was, um, I mean, only very recently, who have I been on with recently? Catherine Wright. It might have been Catherine Wright, actually, who was doing a, a, a quilt and she was working with doing Y seams and she said, yeah definitely need to use best press to be able to tackle them and um, so there's lots of different crafts that this will come in handy just giving you your fabrics a bit of a spritz with this before you start working with it anyway it's just going to make it nice and easy to, to press and to sew so this one is the one the classic one that we always sell out of it's got the lovely lavender scent um which i personally love Makes, it makes you feel very, very relaxed. Um, and it's purple, but don't worry, you can still use this on your white fabrics and it will not, it's not a, a, a what's the word? Won't leave any sort of color staining or on, on, your, on your fabrics or any residue. But this one, the reason I want to show you is because this one comes with your sprayer. Now, we have introduced our refill. Now, this is where I'm thinking about bulk buying. If you're doing a lot of sewing, if you're doing a lot of pressing, a lot of patchwork, bone with um, fabric that moves a lot or work with a bias edge, then this is going to be your best friend. Stock up on the big, uh, the big bottle. They don't come with the spray. These are better value than buying two of those, basically, because you're not getting a squirty thing. But if you've already got spray bottles at home, I mean, I've got them... Um, the, the spray bottle top that you've got in your old bottle, they fit on top. But also, if you've got your own little spray bottle at home, 
you can um, obviously put it into there. You can decant it into your own bottle. But it's better value for money than buying two of these, basically. If you've already got your spray head, stock up on the big one. Maybe get one of those and then one of these. It's good to see them together so you can see the size. Sometimes you see it on the website and you don't realise that it's double the size. Oh my gosh, they are so precise with the, how many mils are in here. That is hilarious. I'm so confused. Does it, it actually says it on the bottle. 999.59 mil. Can we call it a litre, please? It's ounces. It's 33.8 fluid ounces. I thought it would have been rounded on the ounces, but it's not. That's hilarious. Anyway, you got double the amount and we're limited. It's a great price. Now, if the lavender scent's not for you, you have got the scent-free option. Once again, it's another one that has no clogging, no waste, no flaking, even on dark fabrics, no residue or shine, no spotting. Makes your ironing easier relaxes stubborn wrinkles if you've got a new pack of fat quarters and they arrive to you but they're quite creased give it a spritz of this and some you know a steam that it's going to um, really help get those st stubborn creases out yeah oh, okay i'll watch it Obviously, you need to um, pour this into your spray bottle or take your spray bottle from a previous Best Press bottle and screw it onto the top. They fit. $21.99. You're getting better value for money on buying uh, the larger one than if you were to buy two of the smaller and you're getting double the amount, obviously. You're just not getting your spray ahead. Um, the third option on your bulk buy is your linen fresh. I just spray my uh, bedding with this lovely and once again it, it do, does look like it's blue it's not don't worry if you're using this on white fabric it's not going to leave any coloring on your fabric at all any staining on your fabric um but it is a really great essential for your workroom uh, that will help you when you're pressing your fabrics when you're working with biosanitaries we talk about breast press a lot don't we so maybe if you're just scanning through the website and you hadn't noticed that we got the the uh one litre. I'm calling it a litre bottle. Come on, that is a, a litre of, of Best Press. What is 0.49 mil between friends? Oh, hang on. Is that right now? 3.9? I can't even do the maths. 4.1. What is 41 millilitres between friends? Twenty one ninety nine for your linen fresh. Just to remind you, double the amount in this tub. You just don't get your sprayer. Don't forget you don't get your sprayer. So if you've already got one of those, you can screw this onto the top or you can decant this into your sprayer bottle. Fabulous. Uh, question, can you put it into your iron like ironing water? No, don't put it. Don't do that. <laughs> I was just wondering. Put it into your, especially ones that haven't got spray heads, you would buy this and you'd think, oh, maybe that goes into your iron. Get, uh, get it into a spray bottle is our recommendation. Mm. Machine needles. The makers. Oh, right. So this has actually been taken back with the makers. So we haven't physically got it here. Um, it will be sent for you. Oh, it will be sent. Oh. It will be sent for you, to you from them, by the way, but still under our post and packaging. Here it is. It's a needle felting kit that was on yesterday. Did you miss it? Loads of people missed it yesterday. We've managed to restock. Oh, it wasn't yesterday. When was it? You said yesterday. Yeah. The 9th. If you missed this on the 9th, um, which was Tuesday. Tuesday. If you missed out on Tuesday, then you have got a chance to get the wool felt, the eco wool felt mat. You've got your needles in there. You've got the holder, 
The colours might vary. You can see that one was purple, but they're wooden, so there's different colours. There's glue for eyes. What does it make? What does it make? Scissors, stalk scissors. Oh, it's your starter essentials tools. Fabulous. And then when you're buying all the different kits from the makers, they all fit within that little bag, which is nice, isn't it? You can keep them in the bag. I love needle felting. Oh, it's so it's so therapeutic. It's a great one along the way. I've got a lion one at home, which I'm going to do. 35 pounds and 10 pence. That is a saving of 10% on your needle felting essentials. A little eco wool mat as well. Oh, that's really good. That's lovely. All very sustainable as much as she can, but uh, that's a lovely little kit. And you get the stalk scissors, which are fab, aren't they, anyway? Really handy to be able to have. Um, keep going through for everything. I think we've got a couple more things that we can squeeze in before we go to a break. Do you want to do the big bundle of rainbow fabrics? <gasps> um, okay, I had no idea that we had this in. This is Lewis and Ivory. So they've all got little clouds. Oh, just buy this. This is great value. You are saving £15.98. You are saving nearly £16 and you're getting all of the colours from Lewis and Irene Dreams range. This is fab. Mega bundle with your um, little cloud detail. I do like the fact that... Oh, look at this. I love the fact that you don't have to just stick to solids. You can just... Add in little details like this, and it's going to change the sort of texture to the eye of your projects. That is lovely. Great bundle. £79.90. Saving a whole metre. Uh, so, Hannah's making a quilt. She's making this sort of, um, yeah, she says, I buy loads of fabrics. I never buy red fabric. So, she said, I need a red fabric. She says, I must have a red fabric somewhere in my session. She says, I don't. So to be able to have a bundle like this, you've got all of your different shades of blue. You've got purple, you've got pink, you've got greys and creams, green, yellow, pink, red. You've got a whole colour spectrum for under £80. And that is a nearly £16 saving because you're buying in bulk. You're definitely going to use all these, let's face it, aren't you? And they're Lewis and Irene. They're lovely quality. They're all 112 wide. Oh, you can't go wrong with this. From the dreams range. I had no idea that this was even here. Look at them. <gasps> Beautiful. Less than 80 pounds. It's a it's a you know an investment when you're first purchasing it, but think about the amount of projects you're gonna be able to do. Well, what does that make your price per half meter now, Hannah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You've got twelve half meters here. 12 fabrics, £6.65 a half metre for designer fabric. Thank you, Hannah. Oh, I love the Alex has brought us a coffee and he's even put a biscuit on the top. He made them fresh, he's just baked them for us. Add a little bit of sugar for us. <laughs> 29 pounds 80 pence <laughs> remember Hannah we're 26 we've decided it's my birthday at the end of the month and I've just decided I just don't even want to I don't, I don't even want to celebrate it anymore because I'm 26 I'm staying at 26 it's a good age Charlie isn't even at 26 yet he's turning Alex how old are you oh gosh honestly I when I first started in the, in the shop at Teleworld with John I was 18 just turning 19 and I was the youngest by far and it's so strange now when Alex is 21 21 I'm 33 now well, I shouldn't age myself because I'm 23 in a couple of weeks. 
Sorry, did I say 23? Yes. I'm, I'm 23 in a couple of weeks. I'm sticking with that. I'm sticking with that. I'm happy with that. Um, okay, £79.90. Adele is coming in. She's got another new amazing uh, pattern for us. I say new, new to me, might be new to you. We've got a really lovely option of a dress or a blouse, and it's perfect for spring and summer. Stay tuned. We love Adele. She's eagerly waiting in the rings. What's, what's wrong, Hannah? It's all on pre-order if you want to start shopping. Everybody has already been checking out. Well done if you've already got it. Stay with us, Adele's back after this. Hi everyone, I'm Yvonne McAtamney. I'm a patchwork and quilter. And what do I do the rest of the time? The rest of the time, I actually own and try and manage village fabrics in the town of Wallingford. How did I start my sewing and journey? Well, I've been sewing since as long as I can remember. I uh, started out dressmaking with uh, my mum and my big sisters. And since then, I've tried my hand at most things and have finally ended up with patchwork and quilting. And I think that's probably due to one of Elner Burns Quilt in a Day books. Let me assure you, you don't make a quilt in a day. But it's been a passion of mine for the last 25 years and I'm still at it, so there's hope for us all. So what do I enjoy sewing? Well, I like to do a bit of most things, to be honest, but my favourite thing is anything to do with my Japanese fabrics. So as you can see, we've moved to a different part of the shop and here we are in another of my favourite corners. And I really enjoy combining the lovely Japanese fabrics with some hand stitching and um, hand quilting. So I've moved to the permanent Christmas room at my shop here. And as you hopefully can tell, this is quite a large shop here. So most of my time is uh, involved in keeping this running successfully. So I don't really have a lot of time for claims to fame. So what I suppose I could say um, is that my claim to fame is actually managing to manage John Scott. Um, I'm sure he'll take that the way it's meant. So um, love you lots, John. My top tip is that children's colouring in books are a really valuable resource whenever you're crafting. You've got nice clear outlines that can become templates for your applique work or you can transfer them and use them as quilting patterns. I can't draw but I can create lots of things using bits and pieces from things like children's colouring in books. Give it a try. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with split pay. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Did you know that we can deliver to over 20 different countries worldwide, spanning four continents from the UK to Australia? Check out our website for the list of countries and delivery costs. Sewing Street, stitching the world together. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. 
Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I love that this is becoming a bit of a regular Sunday thing. I know. We are the Sunday crew. Yeah, two weeks ago we were just here doing dressmaking and now we're back today. Yeah, how was your Easter? You went off to Brighton on your holiday? Yes. Last time I saw you. Yeah, we okay. were rushing down to Brighton just after the Easter week weekend. We were really lucky with the weather, had yeah. a fabulous time. Um, and yeah, this week I've just been chilled because my girls have been back at school. Oh, so you don't go back until Monday? Yes. Oh, tomorrow? Yes, but okay. we've had a bit of a, <gasps> at school, we had like um, an IT problem. So, oh, no. So we've got lots to sort when we get back, but that's all right. Oh, lovely. Well, today we've got the Augusta shirt. Yes, and, and You've got the shirt. It looks gorgeous. Yes. I saw it on social media last night, very late last night. Yes. I woke up with the twins about one and looked strongly. <laughs> I was like, Adele. Posted this two hours ago at about 11 o'clock. Yeah, so I put it on my Instagram a couple of days ago. Okay. Uh, got some lovely comments, put it on my own Facebook page. And then as I was going to bed last night, I was like, oh, well, I haven't shared it with the uh, Sewing yeah. Street fans page. And like always, it's lovely yeah. to share on there. Yeah. So I thought I'd quickly share so people can see it before this morning. It's got really nice details to it, yes. hasn't it? And I think this is going to be a great one. We're talking about linen fabrics today, but I think this is going to be one that you're going to be able to make time and time again. And when you're buying a dressmaking pattern, we were spoke, speaking about this a couple of weeks ago, yeah. that it is really important that you invest in a pattern that you want to be able to make yeah. a few times. Yeah, I Go don't have. Like I do have several patterns that I've made once and I've kind of gone, oh, I don't want to make that again. What I really do is I wait until I see lots of other people with the pattern yeah. to see if I really am going to wear it again and again yeah. and again. Because... Dress making, you're taking your time choosing the fabric, you're taking your time making it, you want it to last. Yeah. And I've got several dresses that I wear sort of year after year after year, and I can't wait to get my summer wardrobe down. Yeah. And there's some dresses in there that are from patterns that I've just done again and again and again. Yeah, brilliant. Now, it comes in two different sizes as it's uh, an American pattern house. Yes. So if there's zero to 18, um, which is the first one we're going to bring on screen. Yep. And then we've also got 14 to 30. They're exactly the same pattern, it's just the different size. So if I show you the back of the pattern, I'm not uh, quite sure if there is a picture of this on the website, but obviously don't go by your shop size. For one, it's American sizing, but no. also never go by the shop size. Well, no. I could be a, or uh, even the size you've done in a different pattern okay. company. Always measure yourself. The first thing I always do whenever I get a pattern through is I measure myself, look at the measurements on the back. Now, you might not fit in exactly one size for your bust, waist and hip. No. Okay. So you then have to take consideration of where does the garment sit on the body and also what are what is the ease in the garment as well so if it's a tight fitting one you might then want to grade between sizes if it's something like this it's quite loose i would say you want your bust measurement waist and hip if they're slightly off don't worry about it because it's quite a boxy okay but you want it to be comfortable around the bust yeah so that is the measurement that you would really choose your size with. i like that it's got like always like a shirt blouse collar yes. but there's no button no so you're no. not going to have that awkward moment where it's buttons popped open or yes. you're worried about it slightly gaping if you're yeah. large around the bust absolutely so it's like a t-shirt top but smart. yeah but smart so it's got the cuff on the the short sleeve and then it's got a full collar and that. lapels but then it crosses over it and attaches and also i just want everyone to show look that is fully attached up until that point so you do feel okay. very secure yeah. um but it's nice and roomy um and like you say it can be made into a dress it's not like going to be a pattern hack that you're going to have to do it's already included in this pattern Good. it's very in at the moment My, everyone's wearing like waistcoat blazers yes. like smart is very yes. in isn't it yeah i was just in marks and spencers the other day linen is huge yeah. oh my gosh there's 
some beautiful like i tried on a linen green suit oh, <gasps> oh beautiful it was so nice um if I felt like I could rock it at school, I would, but yeah. I'd be too scared because it's like so nice. Um, <laughs> but linen's all in and this sort of slash between casual and smart. Yeah. Because yeah. I think we've moved away after COVID from that full formal suit. Yeah. But yeah. we still want to look smart. Comfy, but still smart. Uh, so your pattern is 19.99. We've got some great linen bundles, which are going to be perfect for this. This is the zero to 18. Um, so when we're looking at body measurements, is this with ease, Adele, or is uh, this So no, that is with your full body okay. measurements, but let me just check within, yes. So within the actual packet, uh, yeah. the instructions, it gives you a full measurements of the finished garment. Fabulous. With bust waist hip. Okay. And shirt. It says shirt sweep. Now I'm not sure what that is. So if shirt somebody sweep. can tell us what a shirt sweep is, I'd like to know because every oh. day is a school day. Then it talks about the short sleeve length, long sleeve length, and it even gives you bicep. Oh, fabulous. So it gives you everything. That's really good. Um, now, as you say, the dress is yep. a, a, another option. It's not a hack on it. It's a dress. It's this lovely yep. sort of oversized cocoon shape, um, which falls, I believe, just below the knee, but you can lengthen, shorten it. Yes. Long sleeve, short sleeves. Yes, long sleeve, Brilliant. short sleeves. The long sleeves don't have a cuff on the end. The short sleeves do have a cuff. Fantastic. Um, it's got all, obviously, your pattern layout. And then look at how detailed your instructions are. You have got pages and pages with diagrams. And I do like diagrams as opposed to photographs, actually. Yes. So photographs, they look nice when you're flicking through. However, when they've chosen some of the fabrics, it might be really difficult to yeah. see where the stitch exactly. line is yeah. and see exactly where you've got to grade the seams and so on. So diagrams like this are brilliant. And don't be put off if you get this home and you think, oh my goodness, there are 44 steps to this. This is going to take me forever. Yeah. It's 44 steps because it literally takes you through every single step of the way. Fabulous. And I've noticed here it says share with us um, at, at Grain Line Studio, Grain Line Augusta. And if you yep. actually have a look at this tag, if you have a yes. look at the hashtag, there are some fab examples. Yeah. I love looking to see what other people I do. I know. And this is the thing. If you are on Instagram, it doesn't mean that you have to be posting things. You can use Instagram almost like a, a reference tool to have a look at what else is out there. And like I said last week, uh, two weeks ago when I came, is... I always look at the tagline and look at what other people have made before yeah. I make it myself. Yeah. So it helps me choose what cut do I want, what version do I want, what fabric am I going to yeah. use. Um, and also, I try and look for someone with my body shape yeah. and my age to sort of work out, does this pattern suit me? Yeah. And what you'll notice when you look on this hashtag is there's a wide range of body shapes, ages, mm -hmm. um, ethnicities, hair colour, like everybody yeah. can suit this pattern. Brilliant. Um, those of you that have not yet got it, go for it. This is, remember, your size is 0 to 18. And then we have 14 to 30 as well coming up. In fact, we'll put the other size variation in now. Um, so you can do this as a short sleeve and it's got a cuff on it as yes. well, hasn't it? Yeah, so all the raw edges are finished around there. But um, don't forget, if you, if you feel that that's a little bit tight there, there are lots of hacks that you can do. It's it increasing yeah. that bicep. So I really like the fact that it gives you that. Yeah. Um, because... In your sizing And chart, also, yeah. let me just give you a little tip. It's just come to me, Vicky, that... If, for example, um, I, I cut out a size 10, but then if I looked at the bicep and it was going to be too tight, I could actually choose the sleeve from a bigger size yeah. because all of this gathering here will take in that extra ease, right. but it will give you more space around here. Great idea. So actually, you don't need to hack it. I've just thought in yeah, the moment, take a bigger just sleeve. take a bigger sleeve and you'll have more sort of gathering here. So it might be a bit of more yeah. pump here, but you'll have that bicep room Great there. Great idea. 
brilliant. Thank you for that. Top tip, top tip. It says intermediate. Is that, I'm guessing, because of the collar and the lapel? Yes. This, yeah. Yes. So this isn't for a very, very first beginner. Okay. However, it says intermediate. Let's talk about an adventurous beginner. Yeah, well, it's got 44 steps to exactly. guide you step by step. So you just need to and focus you never on each know, step. You never know if you can't do it if you haven't tried. Yeah, exactly. So try it. If it goes to pot, that's what, look. I've got my seam ripper ready. I always have it with me, yeah. ready, right by my side, because I might need to use it, and yeah. that's not a, not a problem at all. Yeah, brilliant. £19.99, loads of these have gone into baskets. Remember, this is size 14 to 30. If I'm kind of falling between the two pattern sizes, would you go for a larger pattern? Yes. I'd rather you go, for, I'd advise you to go for the larger pattern than you can take in the seams, yeah. rather than going from a smaller pattern and trying to grade out. That's more difficult. Okay, fabulous, thank you. Just £19.99. Greyline Studio is a popular one, actually. We've seen a few patterns from Yes, Grain they've Studio. been around a long time. Okay. Um, techniques involved here, it says, include sewing, straight seams, darts, setting yep. sleeves, um, so an insert placket collar, mitered corners. Yes, that's a really nice a feature. mitered corner. Yeah, so there is a split hem yep. at the back. So the back is actually longer than the front. Oh, I like that. Which is a lovely feature. And it's a full mitered hem. Now, if you're like me, not a quilter, yeah. you might be going, well, how on earth do I do a mitered hem? Oh, my gosh, it's so easy. Brilliant. Like, you just fold it, so flip it out there it's done nice there we go it's all on diagrams and uh on text and also we're going to show you as much as we can in the demo uh we've got some photos to show you i believe hannah's been busy making some slides oh yes oh, look. do you see yes so there's a denim one there just a plain oh look with jeans but then also dressed up with heels mm -hmm. absolutely so... they look lovely with the polka dots um here's another one Here's more of the sort of top options as well on there. Yeah. You've got the dresses and then the couple of tops. Oh, I like the it. dog in the bottom left. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Go oh, yeah, no. little dog, oh. cute. But and it's nice that you can wear it with tights as well. Yes, so the lady in blue, she's yeah. obviously got it in tights. Winter, that'd be perfect. But then the lady on the far right looks like she's on, on her holiday. summer holiday. And it would be a perfect dress that you can roll up in your hand luggage Pull it out, stick it on, off to the beach you go. I'm just thinking, later on, coming up in my next show, in the dressmaking show, I've got that lovely embroidered fabric that yes. we had. Could I do yeah. it oh in that, the gosh. dress version? <gasps> that would be a gorgeous but beach cover-up that yeah. you can just go, right, let's go for lunch now, put yeah. it on, wander off. Yes, that's lovely. There's so many lovely fabrics coming up in our next hour. Right, we've done bundles, so there's your patterns. So we've done bundles for the largest size of the top. Um, and that's if you want to do the long sleeve or short sleeve option or the larger side of the top. So you're having three metres. Can we start with the one, actually? Let's go to the viscose mix, because these ones are going to sell out. The one that you're wearing is going to sell out. Now, this is three metres. Now, this isn't just a linen. This is a linen viscose. Yeah, so it has sort of the drape that the viscose is offering to the linen. And um, I do find it's not actually going to crease much right uh, that's so, good so if you are taking it on holiday yeah so last night i always pack the car well i say i my husband bless him always packs the car for me and i folded this up popped it in the car came here today and i didn't even need to iron it no, so that's really good having the viscose yeah. content you've chosen to do the short sleeves but yep. with this bundle you could do the long sleeve um, option in any size and there would be enough in the bundle. It's 55% linen, it's 45% viscose and it's 130, 130 centimetres wide. Yeah, so that's enough also to do the short sleeve dress in the smaller pattern. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, up to size 18, which is plus 44. Fabulous. That's good. So if you do want to wear the dress, then a smaller size, then perfect. The single figures on this bundle... That price is really good for the amount of fabric you're getting. Yeah. And when I was in Marks and Spencer's the other day, um, just even a waistcoat, it's like 30, 40 yeah. pounds. Yeah. That's really in though, you it know, is. having a top and trousers exactly the same yeah. material. Oh yeah, it is really, on, really in. Really in. Um, and in linen, like you said. Yes. Oh, so so this, if you then bought two bundles, made those trousers from two weeks ago when I was in. So nice, baggy, elasticated, have them together, tuck the front in. in. 
Off yeah, we go. style icon Adele. <laughs> oh, we call Adele. myself an icon, Vicky. Um, we've got the plain dark linen. I've got navy blue and I've got a grey. This is three metres of the navy. Oh, how smart will this look as well? Mm. You were thinking for work, actually, this is going to suit, isn't it? Yeah. Going into summer, going into spring. Um, you can see the image here. I'm not sure whether it's linen, and I think it's in black, but you can see that. It looks great. pair of mm. pumps in the middle there. Nice and... It, well, it's... It's, it's one that you could wear to any sort of occasion and it's yeah. it's going to be comfortable. Yeah. Very and flattering. I, I do love this fashion at the moment that you can wear a really pretty dress and pop your trainers on. Absolutely. Love that. That's all the rage now, isn't it? Yeah. You don't wear heels. Um, I'm not quite sure what she's made the dress in, but it looks very similar. Very similar. In terms of colour, it looks very similar to, to this one. $39.99 for three metres of your linen. I know when you're looking at your Sasha Dow, you're generally by three metre bundles, yes. won't you? Because that yes. will generally do a majority of your dressmaking. Yeah, pattern. if I haven't got an idea in mind when I'm buying the fabric, I always buy three metres. Yeah, so if you've got another pattern in mind as well, that's why we haven't bundled them with the pattern. Anybody who wants to get their linen bundles, this is a great chance to stock up less than £40. A nice pair of shorts and a shirt. Oh, <gasps> yes. I nice pair of shorts, white shirt, and just either like a blue. If you've got, do you have you ever done a waistcoat before? No, but I tried one on. Yeah, that, that's what I like going shopping try for, just trying it on. That. And then I'm like, this is actually really nice. Yeah, like oh. it, it's very, very in at the moment, isn't it? Mm. Uh, that's smart, but still having your comfortable, easy to wear linen. Yeah. This in a nice dress would be beautiful. Right, thirty nine ninety nine. It's saying on our composition that this is a ramen linen mix. Ramen is, uh, I believe, a very similar plant to linen. Do you oh, know? Oh, no, no, I don't, actually. It feels very, very similar to our normal linen that we bring to you anyway. But just looking at the composition, it's slightly different. $39.99 for your bundle of three metres. Uh, we also have a couple of other solid linen colours. Do you want to see the grey? Pewter, $39.99. Remember, this is going to be enough to do the blouse, the shirt, in any size, up to the size 30, uh, short sleeve or long sleeve. Or if you want to do the dress... The dress in the smaller size short sleeve, because that's 2.9. Brilliant. $39.99. Fantastic. We've got the rose, which is my favourite. This colour is going to look really beautiful. Oh, I'd like the trousers as well to match in this mm. colour. <gasps> oh, that would look so nice. In fact, I would maybe go for Top like, these that two and trousers together. in the bottoms. Yeah. A pair of collots. <gasps> beautiful. Beautiful. Or like you said, shorts, linen shorts. Yeah. $39.99. Lavender colour, this rose lavender. Very popular indeed. Good morning, everybody. Sorry, my iPad's only just charged up. Sunny in Suffolk, says Laurie. Oh, I think it's going to be a nice day. It is. It's lovely out there. Is it? Yeah, I'm sorry to say. Ah! <laughs> I think I'm going to do a bit of gardening. I really want to plant my own strawberries. May's got a little Ooh. gardening set for birthday. I want to do little strawberry pots this year. Yeah, our carrots are just popping up. Are they? Yeah, my youngest, Isabel, did a few uh, parsnips, oh. carrots, potatoes, and I can't remember what else. And she went out yesterday and the carrots are peeking through. Oh, see, that's so exciting, isn't mm. it? I love that. Right, yeah, I'm definitely going to do it. You've inspired me. $39.99 for your lavender colour. Let's go for the gold. What elements are you going to show, by the way, today? So we're going well? to look at this lapel. Yeah, um, that's probably the bit that's... It is. The bit that might be a little bit mind-boggling. Okay. So having this to watch back when you get the pattern, yeah. I think, would help. So, I yeah. love that crossover, though. Mm. It's very clever. Yeah. So how it, and uh, then it sort of sits yeah. there. But also... I don't want to show everybody, but there's no <laughs> raw edges. Yeah. Oh, so right. it's all really well constructed. Brilliant. So have you done any of this on your overlocker? No. Home? No. No. Even the side seams yeah. I finished off uh, just with the overlocking stitch on my normal machine oh, because lovely. my overlocker's got two black, two white on, and I didn't want the black to show through. And you don't want to change the threads. No. That would take <laughs> forever. So I just did it all on my machine. 
nice. Uh, $39.99, this is for your lovely gold colorway. I've got a couple of other the pattern ones, so if you miss out on the one that Adele was wearing, that I believe is sold out, so if you missed out on that one and you want a nice pattern. Linen viscose mix. Yeah! <laughs> in your lovely sand colour. Do you need to think about your direction of print when you're cutting yes, it out? Yes, you do. So it does say that extra fabric may be needed to match uh, a one-way print design. Okay. So if you're doing this with the dress um, to the very, like, well... It's all this cutting out in the right direction. So as long as you stick into the same, yes, then the same way. be fine. Although this look, you've got flowers upside down. Oh, flowers. You? So anyway, so yeah. So that one, not too much. But I know the one that I've got, you yeah. do need to pay attention. 45% viscose and what's the rest of it? 65? <laughs> 55? 55% linen. Oh gosh, maths on Sunday morning. Uh, 28 99 130 centimetres wide linen viscose mix, which I love because you've got the look and the feel of linen, but you're not going to be as creased. No. As 100% linen. I mean, it's rich wrinkles, darling, as Jane Greenough says. <laughs> She's like, it's not creased. Um, shall we have a look at these two? Now, these are slightly different, I believe, are they? No, they still the same. They just look different. I think they're like this lovely digital print. Mm. Never seen these before. These are brand new to me. Oh, the dress in this would look amazing yes. for like a wedding or a, you know, if you're going to a special event, a christening or a special birthday in the summer. Yes, because no one wants to feel uncomfortable when they're sat there at the ceremony and it's boiling hot, do they? So can, can you go back to the pictures? Because actually, when I first saw this, I thought it looked a very, very casual no, sort of dress, but actually, look, yeah. on the right. That would look really nice. Mm. I'm imagining this with the, uh, the big roses. It's going to look beautiful. Yeah. <gasps> yes, $28.99, and that's for a whole three-metre bundle. 55 linen, 45 viscose. And we're talking about other fabrics, though, as well, that this yes. is going to be perfect for. You think it's not a nice lightweight fabric? Yeah, a lightweight fabric as well. So because there isn't a button placket, you don't feel that you need to have a fully stable fabric. You could have something that's quite drapey nice. as well. And that's why I say always look on Instagram with the hashtag because you always get a wide variety of different materials being used. Yeah. And you can kind of pick, well, I don't like the drape on that, so I won't go with that. Oh, I actually really like it in linen. That will be perfect because yeah. I've seen it in that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and if, with a lighter weight fabric, will you lapel, will you collar sit? Yeah, so this will be a little bit softer yeah. around here. Um, but you'll still have the structure here because you actually put interface in yeah. on these two pieces. If, if you are an slump. adventurous beginner, would you think that the linen or the linen mixes are good places to sort of absolutely, start? Absolutely, because linen works so beautifully through the machine the only thing i would say if you are in the more the beginning stage just be careful with your edges because it's linen it does fray quite easily okay so always finish your seams straight after you've sewn them right don't wait until the end okay Do them as you go along 28.99 that's the last one that's your ditzy pastel that is really that nice. is cute oh the largest size of the pattern is about to sell out if you want the larger size, which is uh, sizes 14 to 30, remember these are American sizes, so just check the back of the pattern. Um, I, I believe there's a picture on the website, or take a screenshot. Remember, you've got here the, uh, the bust waist hip. Just go with the one that... Uh, you're better off going with the larger pattern, you say. Yes, if and then grade between. down. Perfect. £19.99. For your sizes 14 to 30. The other sizes, uh, 0 to 18, will be your main graphic whilst we're doing the demo. There are fewer than 20. This is a, another sellout pattern today. Two weeks ago, um, all the patterns with the doubt were sellouts very, very fast. So just be aware, this is another one that's going to be perfect for going into spring, going into summer, especially with all these lovely linen fabrics. Yeah. Absolutely, and it's a pattern, like you say, you can make again and again and again, but just in different fabrics, it will give a complete different look. Nice. So when you're talking about lapel, yep. are there lots of different parts to the pattern pieces? Okay, so there is a left and right lapel, and then there's a collar piece. So the lapels are these 
these bits yeah. here so imagine like a jacket yeah. these will be the bits that would normally button up like that i know my mic's yeah. then been covered yeah. but they fall open yeah they've given that feature to this blouse um but there's no button placket so normally these would be created when you do your buttons up to that point it naturally then falls yeah. open okay so there's a left and a right we make those first and then pop them onto the front okay. we do the rest of the shirt and then the color go collar goes on at the very oh. end so i'm not going to get a chance to talk about this collar bit but because i really wanted to concentrate on this crossover yeah. here yeah. um and then it's also got a yoke at the back oh, so nice. this part here is double uh layered okay and then again that seam that sits where where's the seam up there, here, up high, yeah. on your which shoulder sits blades. Just on your shoulder blades is fully enclosed, so it's really comfortable to wear. There's yeah. no annoying sort of seam at the back that yeah. if you had your jacket on, it would feel like yeah. it itches. So it, things have really been considered with this pattern that it's going to be a garment that you can wear again and again and again. Um, and it will go through the wash. And it'll yeah. be perfect when it comes out. So let's get on to it. Now, when I was cutting this piece out, I just want to give everyone a little bit of a heads up. Please pay attention to this grain line, which is quite funny because it's called the grain line. Yeah. <laughs> what the grain line is, is you need to line that up with the straight grain or the weave that's on your fabric. Right. So when you put it on, you almost feel like this is a straight bit, so I'm going to line that up against the edge, but then you're gonna be cutting a little bit on the bias. You need to make sure that it's straight with that actual line there. And again, with this piece as well, when you put it on, look, everything looks like it's slightly out. Yeah. It isn't. Right. You also need to put interfacing onto one of them. Mm -hmm. What I would recommend is have a look at the diagram to know which one it is. I'm quite visual, so I had it open like this, and I was like, oh, which side is it going to go on? Is it that side or that side? Well, the diagram shows me the interfacing piece in is on this yeah. way. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So we're now going to sew these two together. But it's quite clever how we sew this. There's a little square on the pattern piece. That's almost like a notch. That's where we're going to start our sewing. We're going to go to the edge and then all the way down. Uh, okay. way down. And then we're going to grade this seam. So cut the interfacing part off just to allow when we fold this through, it's not going to be too much bulk along here. Right, okay. Is that just a, a regular um, interfacing you've used? Yep, I always try and match my interfacing to the same weight as the fabric. So the one that we've got here is the one that I always use. Um, I made a few mistakes when I first started sewing that. I used to go for a really heavy weight thinking, well, I need stability. No, you don't. It's just almost acting as an extra layer of fabric. It's right. not meant to make the fabric it's stick. Good. Okay. Yeah. This is just a lightweight, soft and light, iron and facing your Vaseline. Um, have I got enough in, in the one packet? Um, yes, because it's not only these three basket. pieces that oh, are Oh, lovely. So it's not on the, yeah, it's not on the um, yoke at the back or anything? No. no, just on the collar and the lapel. Perfect, just £2.99. Now, also, another thing as well, with pattern companies, they like to choose different seam allowances. This one is half an inch seam allowance. I'm normally a metric girl, goes for one and a half centimetres, but I've gone with what the pattern says, which is half an inch. Um, Lynn, if you are struggling to see anything on the back of the pattern on the picture, let us know and I can read it out to you if there's something in particular that you're after. I know the picture's slightly um, difficult to read, isn't it? If you want to have another look at any of them, let me know. I've also just now cut down from the edge to that start line of um, the start line of my stitching, not through the stitches though, because in a moment when we fold this out, that bit's going to be up there, but this bit's going to be folded in. I'm just going to quickly grade the seams. Normally I'd spend more time, but I'm just going to cut those down because with the interfacing, it does become quite bulky. And then we're going to fold this through, cut, snip the edge, and then we're going to press. So there we've started to see the shape of the lapel forming. Right. 
Hey? Oh, yeah. So. You need to press your little red button on the top of that iron. Just, I think it's that now. I think it's because um, it has a safety feature that after 10 minutes, I believe. Oh, that's very clever. It's a good idea. Oh, and then we just need to press, press, press. Now, when you're at home doing this lapel, really take your time on it. I wouldn't sit down and try and do what I did, is make the whole garment in one day. You want these lapels to look really nice and professional. So let me just turn this up. So I would recommend that you do your lapels once, go away, come back, do the rest of the, the garments. This isn't heating up. How do I turn this up? Is it, is it still green now? Yeah, it's green. I should have maybe pressed it before I started, shouldn't I? While that's going, I'm just going to quickly check. Is that warming up? No. No. Oh, I, I've, I actually, I'm a bit of a novice with this one. I've not seen this iron before. I've not had a play with it. Right, let me just... It should be on. It's definitely on. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll put the big iron yeah. on. You can't go wrong with the big iron, can you? Sorry I did all that. the ironing ready for... Just so you know, the bundles that are selling out are the one that Adele's yeah, wearing is gone. The one that is Adele is demoing with, this gorgeous lavender. Uh, now, Lynn, this is very difficult to ask because she says, what's the equivalent to a UK size 16? Oh. And it's so difficult. So what is a measurement bust waist and hip for size 16? Okay, so on here, it says your bust is 106 centimetres, waist is... Oh, sorry, hang on. I'm doing centimetres. Centimetres or inches? Do you do centimetres? Inches. Inches 42, 35 oh, for the waist and 45 for the hips. That's a 16. So if you go measure yourself, Lynn, and come back to us. 42 bust, 35 waist and 45 hip. Yeah, I'm really sorry that I don't know measurements. Um, well, it's, don't really look it, at my size, you see. I just look at... What size does the pattern tell me to cut? Well, I could be I don't look at the number. from a size 12 to a size 16. Yeah. You can just literally be any size. If I show you the back of the packet again, Lynn, come on in close, because if, if you take a screenshot and then you'll be able to do your own measurements. Come really close to this part here, Charlie. There we go. Does that help you, Lynn, and everybody else? Now, this is the larger pattern, which is about to sell out, by the way. Oh, the larger one's gone. Can I show you the small one to see if you fit in with this one? This is um, 0 to 18. There we go. So this is the one that's available. So your largest bust size is 44, largest waist is 37, and largest hip is 47. So this has still got a great size range as well, from 32 to 44. So, yeah. And there is lots of room. It is a boxy... Shirts. Like you said, go with your bust measurement, yes. really, because your hip and your the waist, waist is there's quite loads big. of room. Fact. Okay, so the front piece. Now, Vicky, when I was cutting this out, I was like, Do you know what? I might skip this and cut <gasps> it on the, the fold okay. because why have I got to cut this out on the flat when the rest of it's on the fold? There don't. Is a reason. There okay. is a reason, okay? Pattern companies don't put these things in just to annoy you. There is a reason because the centre fold isn't exactly where this um, cutout is of the right. neck. Okay? So it's not like this is the halfway point. The halfway point is just slightly oh. off because we want the fold to be in the middle. Yeah. So we need that left to be slightly over because this yeah. part is larger that goes over. Okay. Okay. So there, there is a method to all this madness. Then we've also got a lengthen and shorten. So if you want to have a longer waist length, there is a good coverage on the front, even though yeah. it is higher than the back. Yeah. But if you want that to be lengthened, don't just add on to the bottom. There's a cut space okay. there. Okay. Now, Whilst you were just chatting about sizes, what I've done is I've folded this to the right side and I have folded the edge of the interface side. Mm -hmm. That is then going to become the inside so that we then don't have to try and fold it over when it's attached. The uninterface side, we are now going to match up to the front left. Yeah. So this is the front, the right side. 
we've got our front lapel onto our front left. Okay. Now, again, this is going to extend longer than where that cutoff is, which we want because eventually that's going to be tucked in. So don't be alarmed thinking, oh, I've cut this lapel too long, it doesn't fit. No, it's meant to hang over. And we're going to start our line of stitching just there. It all says this, all these markings are on the piece just below where that cut is there. All right. Let's go. And also normal yourself. stitch length. You don't need to worry about any special stitch lengths. OK, just normal stitch length and also just a universal needle. You don't need to worry about any special kind of needle. And again, half an inch, off we go. Thank you for helping us on the Facebook page about the Alyssa Wyan. <laughs> I, uh, I'll have to have a play with it, so I know. But they said, the, everyone said, press the button on the top of the iron. Is that that little green, the green and red one? We pressed that, didn't we? That yeah, I couldn't get we'll it going. Um, thanks, Lynn, you're welcome. She said the screenshot worked. Hopefully you managed to get the pattern. There is still availability on the 0 to 18. Just is going to sell out. And as we can see, we're now starting to make this lapel. I'm going to fold that over, press it. And then what you will notice now when I press this is we don't have to finish that seam there. When I've pressed it and fold this over, where I folded that interface will mm -hmm. fully cover that. And what we're then going to do is we will sew down there and hold that whole, whole wow. lapel in place. So always have your iron set up and you need to press as you go along. At every point. At every point. It does make a difference, doesn't it? Oh, massive, massive. I'm just double checking with the right sides, edge stitch along. And that is going to catch the inside. So I'm going to just put a few um, pins along here, Vicky. And what I'm doing now is I'm pinning through all of the pieces and I'm checking that that's folded over and that it's covering my line of stitching and also my raw edges are all covered. So let me show that again. So I've just pressed. What we're now going to do is I've pinned it and where I folded over, that now covers all of those raw edges. And on the right sides, we are going to stitch on the left hand side of this seam here. Right. And that will catch the back as well and finish that whole seam completely. So is that going to be visible? So this will be visible yeah. if you fold your lapel up, because don't forget, this is all going to be folded over eventually, right. yeah. and all of that's going to be covered. Right, nice. Now, I would recommend just doing this. Um, now, let me have a look what it says. It says edge stitching. Where we have our foot, you know where you've got the clear and then it goes to the metal yeah, part? Yeah. Concentrate on your seam sitting on that metal part okay. there and then you'll get a nice straight line of stitching. Try not to look at the needle. The needle. Oh, yeah. Because it'll go wonky. Look at the foot. And then we will do the left. The right hand side lapel. You haven't lengthened your stitch or anything for this, no. No. Right, let's just go along. And I haven't gone all the way to the end. Look at that. <gasps> and it oh, works! Look how that. nice that looks. Beautiful. And that's also going to sit on your, not your, is it your breastbone here? Yeah. Sort of yeah, the part here. Good. And it's nice and soft. There's no sort of uh, seams that are going to annoy you in any way. Now, what I'm also going to do... That is so nice that it's all enclosed, isn't yeah, it? It's all enclosed. What we're also going to do is just do a very brief stitch only on the lapel just to keep this all in place. 
Okay. So we want that to be in place. I would just do that as a basting stitch. This is all going to be covered eventually by the other lapel on the other sides. But it's just to make sure that it all stays. I'm making sure that I've got this. Hold on a mm -hmm. second. Yeah, we just want to only sew the lapel, not the front piece. Then we're going to, again, press, press, press this down. And then we're going to get onto the other side. So don't be alarmed that we're sitting with a raw edge there because that's all going to be covered in a moment. So I've got my other piece. And again, looks very similar to the other, but please pay attention to where that grey line is. And there's also another little box uh -huh. where we're yeah. going to sew from. Then we're going to go all the way down. However, this time... We're not going to just sew to the end there. We're going to sew across and then up to the circle right. there because that will then give all of this part here as With well. You. Do you always keep your pattern pieces attached oh to your fabric? Oh, my gosh, yes. Until you literally take it to the Until machine. Until I take it to the machine because otherwise I know what I'll do is I'll just forget which piece is which. Right, let me just put a few of these in. I don't Have you marked them. where that square was? Yes, I've marked it with just a small notch and also where the circle was with a small notch as well. You could do it with fabric pen, with chalk. I just notch it in. So I'm starting at the bottom. We're going to go down. And also, we want a nice... Yeah. Nice rectangle yeah. here no re not rectangle a nice corner a nice yes yeah. so what i would do is when i get to this point have my needle down pull my foot up turn and then go back up okay. that'll give us a nice straight corner there we go needle down pivot round right and then the same on the other side and then we can go what are you watching on TV at the moment, Vicky? I don't have time to watch the telly. Oh, even when the girls are in bed. I'm going to bed myself. Oh, I'm do in bed you? For oh. um, I'm not watching anything. I watched um, the other day, I think I told you about the jewellery programme. Yes. That was the last thing I watched. That was two weeks ago, so I haven't watched anything since then. <laughs> I don't think I've watched anything. Right. Now, if I turn this over, we're going to see this line of stitching much better, actually. Nice. So I've gone from that square all the way down across, nice rectangle, not rectangle, right angles yeah. there, and then I've gone up to the circle. We're now going to cut into the seam up until the stitching at both of these edges, but don't cut the stitching. Okay. And then we're going to just grade the seams. Check it time so you're taking both layers round yeah so it does say that. on this to take the interface layer and leave the other layer mm. but just for the show i'm just going to grade both of them i think well actually if you did both of them it wouldn't make any difference you just want to get that get the bulk. out have you got any recommendations of tele programs so my friend got me into it um maths Married at First Sight, oh, yes. Australia. Yes. I've watched all the other series and then I was a bit like, you know, when a programme... It program... takes a long time. Yeah. You have to commit to like 40 hours exactly. of your life. And I was a bit like, do you know what, I've done it, been there, done it, I'm not bothered about this series. And then my friend at work, the drama teacher, was telling me, oh my gosh, it's so good, it's so good. So I thought, do you know what, I've, while I've, really I, I actually got into it while I was sewing this. Oh my gosh, yes, it's amazing. <laughs> and I don't know what it is about the Australian version. Oh, they're a lot more dramatic. Yes! Aren't they they love more. everyone else's business, yeah. but then they're not concentrating on their own relationship. Although I have had a lot of messages from people who have said that someone looks like Kieran, my husband in it, but it's just because he's got long hair with a bun. But I've... No, exactly. it's the same person. I've heard you don't wanna... horrible. Jack. And it really annoys me oh. now. I've heard about him, and every time someone says, oh, Kieran's on my first heart, I was like... 
Stop it. No. Right now. He does not look anything like him. And he's a horrible person. Yes. <laughs> Jack is horrible. And like, <laughs> every time he gets to the commitment ceremony, he's like, we're the strongest couple. <gasps> no, you're not. Behind closed doors. You're not saying that. Oh, it's... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the Australian version. <laughs> right, I've just turned that all the way through, Vicky, and I'm pulling out. You know where I said that I've cut in? I'm pulling that out because we want that to be a seam that we can then attach at the collar and also here on the front. So I'm just really pulling that out. Now, have I got a pokey tool? Oh, yes. See the green up. one in the green tube? Oh, yeah. There's pokey tools I in just there. want to get this corner nice. Do you see at the moment? Yeah. Those corners are looking a little bit shabby. Even though this is only on the TV, I am going to make them a little bit smarter. So I'm just going to push them through because that's a beautiful feature of this top, this front right lapel. Look, look at the difference nice. that makes. makes such a difference. And a press. Yeah really does make the difference do you ever use a clapper uh what when i give myself a round of applause yeah. <laughs> do you one of those ones <laughs> no no i haven't got a clapper actually um we haven't had one for ages on no, the show we have we? and they're really good yeah especially when you're doing coats or anything with a natural fiber right really good again like we did with the other one we do need to fold over the interface seam because that will become the inside but we don't fold over the one that's not interface so I'm also going to press that don't skip all of these steps thinking oh do you know what I'll just attach it and then I'll fold it over it's so much fiddlier to do it that way oh do it's six down. seconds just fold yeah. it in just fold it in and it really does pay off as we go along but also, a programme that um, really surprised me, Vicky, yeah. me and my husband and the kids, Go on. blown away. Oh, I've not heard of that. So it's a glass making, <gasps> like oh, Great I British love Bake these Off. programmes, okay. But it's American and it's like, I, I, we watch, it's on series four now. Yeah. And when we watched the very first series, we were like, oh, what's this? We got hooked <gasps> into it. So they've just released the new series. Okay. Oh, there's On lots Netflix. of smashed glass in this one. Oh. Loads of things go wrong. And we don't agree with who won. Oh, we'll don't watch it. We'll watch that then. That's so blown away. Even if you never watch glass blowing, what an incredible art that is. I, wow. Oh, we need to get it on Hobby Maker. Yeah. <laughs> have you got a big is it furnace? Very extreme. What are you saying? Is it very extreme? Yeah, so they have like, they're all sweating. <laughs> they're all like pulling these massive poles with glass on, like domes that big. Oh, wow. Now, just like we did before, we've got the interface piece at the top, the uninterface piece at the bottom, and we're going to line these up with that cutout neckline in the front. Again, do not be alarmed that it goes longer from where the cutout is. That's absolutely normal to be like that. Pattern is sold out. I don't know everybody has got the pattern. Adele, you've inspired us all again. Oh, well, like I said, someone actually wrote on my um, post, oh, I don't know, I've never done dressmaking before. I don't know if I can do it. And I was like, well, you don't know if you haven't tried. Yeah. So yeah. always have a go and then keep your seam ripper close. Like that's not a problem to have your seam ripper close. I think having a, a good pattern is key, isn't it? Because yeah. I mean, I would say I'm a horrendous cook, but yesterday I tried HelloFresh for the first time. Oh, yep. And I was, oh my gosh, it was brilliant. I was like, this is so good. I've made something really, really good. Because I've used the step-by-step, -step, literally, someone's written it out really simply. And it's been easy. So yep. you just don't know, do you, until you try? No, you don't know until you try. And also, a pattern like this. Now, I don't want to... How do I say this without sounding like I'm going to insult anything? It doesn't look handmade when it's finished. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just a shift no, top no. that looks, oh, yeah, I learned that in a class. This looks like something yeah. you would pick up from the high street yeah. because it's got those features on. Yeah. And I think that's what really surprises people when I say, oh, I've made this. And they go, but that looks wow. like something I can, I, yeah. pick, I can pick up. And I'm like, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Right. I've 
sewn that. I'm now just going to fold that over. And what you will notice, oh, I need to just snip this. I've just looked. Now, I hope I'm going to be able to get this on camera. Where yeah, we've we got see. the right lapel, we are just going to snip up to the stitch line there because that this part here needs to fold over and capture all of that seam on the inside right that's if we didn't have that snip it's ah. just difficult to maneuver that folded edge over is that one of your tips or is that in the pattern no, it's and that's the point of this pattern look the there's right a whole there. p uh, step all about that tiny little thing that really does make the difference oh, fabulous let me just quickly press this because i don't i know Sometimes I might skip pressing when I'm on the show just for time, but this wouldn't work even if I did skip it. I do need to press this down. And the main bundle, by the way, is for your lavender colourway. You've got three metres, which is enough to be able to do the um, larger size in the top or the smaller size pattern um, up to the, what was it, up to an 18, up to a 14 or 18. Um, yeah, in a short sleeve dress. Yeah. There we go, pressing that, and then naturally where I folded that piece over sits perfectly to cover those raw edges. Again, we're just going to pin all the way through all of the layers, mm -hmm. and we're going to sew along this at the edge to capture that inner fold so that all the seams are finished. There we go. And look what's starting to happen, Vicky. It's all working it's together. It's all coming together now, look. There we go. Oh, I just caught myself. Oh, do you remember that time years ago when I was on the show and we yes. had the white dress? Yes. And then I, I picked... Bleeding. I started bleeding on a white dress. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Do you remember that? Oh, dear. <laughs> they were the... We laugh now, but we're laughing like, we were we were laughing. <laughs> we weren't laughing then, were we? Right, I'm just double checking. Yes, right. Before I do go on anywhere, Vicky, I need to fold that lapel over. That's where it needs to be. Because when we right. sew this on, we're going to sew that lapel folded. Okay, that's encased okay. then where it needs to yeah, be. Yeah, so... There is, again, on the actual pattern, it shows you where to fold. And what we're now going to do, it's the last little bit of stitching before I do go anywhere, is I'm going to start here. Yep. We're going to sew down there, across there, all the way up there. Then when we fold that over, all of that will be finished. Nice. Right, let me, before I move this, have, this is where it's useful to have it lying flat. Oh, didn't it again? <laughs> please don't make something. Please. It's like we just, I'm, I'm lying that all flat. Okay. So I make sure that this is sitting correctly. If I tried to pin this and it was up, this could open out too ah, much. Right. So I just want to make sure it's completely flat. There we go. And I'm going to sew from here, down, across, up, and it's all going to be finished. You're going through a lot of um, layers here, aren't yes, you? Yes, we are. And just take your time with the machine, but it's cotton. It's not like thick denim. Yeah. It's going to go through. Trust me, it will go through. Right. Here we go. So I'm doing a straight line. It's not following that curve of that lapel. I'm going down again. Keep my needle in to pivot back down. Pivot. And then back up. Would you use a matching thread for this? Yes. Yes. Oh, well, unless you're really brave and you've got fantastic straight top line stitching. stitching. Yeah. 
There we go. Oh, Adele, that looks amazing. It does. Look, that doesn't go all the way up. Yeah. Only goes to where we meet. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is just fold that over and then it's finished. That looks so nice. The lapel's it? finished. <gasps> oh, what an achievement. You know, when you finish that part, like you, I mean, that is probably one of the most intricate parts of it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is what makes it an intermediate pattern. Yeah. The rest after this is straightforward. Nothing complicated after this. Um, this is just where the challenge was. And you've just done it on the telly. So we can literally <sighs> stop, pause, fast forward, right, yep. and do it. That's why I, I chose to do this part, because when we buy the pattern, it's nice to have just the video to watch mm -hmm. back and go, oh, how did I do that bit again? Yeah. And there we go. There it is. Run. Oh, it looks so nice in this lavender as well, doesn't it? Yeah, really. Oh, you've got a, are you going to finish this one for her? Yeah, I finished the last <laughs> one last week. I was you thinking, did. shall I just pop in with my new top yes. on? Yes! <laughs> oh, you loved it, didn't you? Yeah, did you also see the photo that I put up that when I went home um, yeah. to my oh, sister in law, yeah, she, she had her at the barbecue. Yeah. I didn't yeah. see that. So we both had our tops on. <laughs> Love it. We've got lovely messages coming through for you, Aww. Adele. Adele, you've inspired me so much watching you making the cashmere rose Claire dress. Yes. My very first dress. And it's <gasps> fab. I'm delighted. Yay. Thank you from Lorraine. Oh, good. And that's the thing. Once you've done it the first time, it gives you the confidence to go and do it again. You're so right, um, Kate. She's just said, you can tell that Adele is a teacher. She explains it so well. Makes it look achievable. Thank you. <laughs> so clear. Um, right. Should we go through some of these fab? Fabric bundles. The pattern's completely sold out. Well done if you did manage to get uh, the pattern. I think you're going to have real fun with it. We've got the really lovely lavender bundle that Adele was working with. Uh, these are three metre bundles. So perfect for the top, a long sleeve option or short sleeve option. You, you'll even be able to do some smaller sizes, short sleeve dresses as well. $39.99 and that is your beautiful linen. Um, even if you're thinking of other garments now, if you've got other patterns in mind, uh, it is that time of year that we're getting all of our linen uh, clothes out, ready for the summer, ready for our holidays. It is coming, everyone. It is coming. It is going to be spring <laughs> when we walk out this afternoon. And then the rain later this week. Oh, no, don't <laughs> say that. Is it going to rain later this week? Yeah. Oh, I just Watch told everybody, day. let's commit and all put our garden furniture seating out. Well, ours is out. And is do you know what? It was the first time in a long time we left the cover off overnight and my nice cushions are out. Oh. Kieran is um, really into us getting new garden furniture this year, but oh my gosh, it's so expensive, isn't it? We're going around garden centres just sitting on all of them. It's like, oh, this is really nice. Actually, no, we, we'll just make do. <laughs> the deck chairs we've got. We'll just sit on a pillow. Uh, $39.99 for the gold, 100% linen. Three metres of your gorgeous gold, and that will work really, really well again. Uh, if you have a look in any of your big high street stores, I'm talking your John Lewis, Marks and Spencer, mm -hmm. Next, everywhere you look, it is the waistcoats, the lapels, the jackets, the yeah. blazers, the smart trousers, but still with the comfy edge, not, you yeah. know, suiting fabric in linens. Yeah, in light wide colours, wide trou leg, yeah. trousers. Um, you can wear little vest tops underneath nice. these. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, and we've seen it for all year round. We're talking spring and summer, but also have a look on Instagram with the hashtag because you'll also see it layered up with tights and boots. Um, right, can we do this one? Because anybody who has got an occasion to go to, I can't tell you how striking this will be. It will look beautiful in this dress. Somebody, yeah, definitely send in a picture if you've made the dress in this fabric. I'd love to see. Twenty-eight ninety-nine for your whole three meter bundle. Digital print, those stunning roses. I think that is going to look amazing, especially in the dress version. Mm. Twenty-eight ninety-nine. It is a linen viscose mix. We have got another couple of li uh, of uh, linen solid colours as well. Um, the navy's been very very popular. Always is, though, isn't it? Whenever we bring three metre bundles of linen, there's people who are thinking of jackets, of trousers, of shorts, of Yeah, bags I've just made shorts. like um, a kimono style jacket just for the springtime that I can think, well, yeah. I don't want my blazer on, I don't want my full jacket on, yeah. and I made it in the green linen. Oh, it's lovely. really nice. Um, 39 99 for three metres. I'd love to see your wardrobe, Adele. <laughs> So you've got everything covered, haven't you? 
Do you know what, though? I got to that point, though, Vicky, that I'd made almost all of it. And then yeah. I was like, well, I don't want to make just for the sake of it. So that's when I found crochet and knitting. Yeah. But now I'm getting to the point that, oh, it's a new season. I need a new yeah. dress. Yeah. So I've already put a few fabrics out uh, ready on my dress, on my sewing room table that I know I need to make with next. <gasps> oh, love it. Have you got any, like, weddings or anything this year? Yes, I've got a wedding to go to. So my cousin's wedding. Um, my daughter's asked for a dress. Mm -hmm. I've got the pattern for her, Brilliant. but we need to go fabric shopping. Yeah. And then I've got to sort myself out. Well, that's the exciting bit, isn't it? Choosing your fabrics, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, there's your navy. We also have, uh, is it called slate or grey? Pewter. Sorry. Pewter. Pewter. Pewter grey. Um, I wish Adele had been my chemistry teacher, says Sue. Oh, thank you. Has Adele got a Facebook page, please? She's brilliant explaining. Yes, you do, don't you? Yes, so I've got a Facebook page called Button and Pip. Button and Pip. Yeah. And do you do sort of videos at all? On um, so I used to actually have a YouTube channel, but life is just so yeah. full at the moment. I haven't really done much on there. But I do post on my Facebook page. But yeah. I apologise to anyone that um, has tried to follow me on my Adele Louise page. Um, I'm not ignored you, but it's just with teaching, I have everything really shut down there. Yeah. Yeah. And then all of this is quite public. Yeah. So yeah, follow you on button and pip. Button and pip. Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, 39.99 for three metres of pewter with lovely linen, 100% linen. And then we have a two more of the patterned ones, which are your viscose linen mix. This was Charlie's favourite, wasn't it? Let's go with this one. He's a bit of a trendsetter as well. He's wearing car, um, khaki, what are they called? Cargos. Yeah, you know, Charlie doesn't have any jeans. Doesn't have any jeans. John's a liar, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. He says, I was wearing jeans all week. John's a liar. Are you sure? Because I've never seen him in jeans. No, he's always in his, his cool cargos, khaki cargo pants. <laughs> he says, I've got paisley jeans, Adele. <laughs> Really She's cute? laughing, but he was wearing them last week. <laughs> <laughs> Adele's fixed my jeans this morning. I'm very, very grateful. When I saw Adele was in, I was like, oh, maybe my jeans, I'll be able to wear them again. So we fixed the, uh, the, uh, the, the zip, zip for you. Thank yeah. you. $28.99 for your linen viscose, that lovely ditzy uh, <laughs> pastel. How did I say that? I was surprised that you wanted everyone to know that you broke the zip in your jeans. I tried them on so many times, I was like, I will fit in these jeans. <laughs> Pop! All the, the amount of times I keep popping things. If I, I've, you've probably heard a few people coming in and saying, oh, well, fix, fix the trousers. <laughs> <laughs> the last 10 months, I've been adamant I will get back in my jeans. Right, let's do the um, <laughs> last one. This is in sand with the beautiful pinks. Don't let this one pass you by. I've not seen this one before. Might even be a new one, especially for this project. Um, in fact, stay tuned, though, because coming up in the next hour, we've actually got some really lovely fabrics that I think will be perfect yeah. for this um, top. We've got um, some embroidered ones by the half metre. We have got some bundles available as well. Um, we've got some lighter weight fabrics as yep. well, lighter weight viscose fabrics, which will all work with your shirt pattern. Thank you ever so much, Adele. We'll Thank see you, you in, uh, well, less than an hour. Yes. Yeah, we've got an exciting book, actually, um, that I think we should all be talking about. Absolutely. I think this is really, really positive. I know a lot of people who have messaged in asking about adaptations quite frequently. Yes. And um, we've actually found a really good book. It's yeah. actually, if you ever watched The Unique Boutique, I think it was based on a Channel 4, four yeah. documentary. So the book's been on, I believe, once before, and it was so popular. And it started great conversation as well. So please yeah, message in. Absolutely. So we're no experts at access um, yeah. uh, adjustments. However, if the conversation isn't started, how are we ever going yeah. to have that conversation? So we're going to give our little take on how we can adapt and change clothes to make them more accessible to everybody. Yeah. Um, and also, if anyone else has got yeah. adaptations or stories or advice yeah love to know about it absolutely so that's coming up with Adele at 11 o'clock it's a great book it's already selling on pre-order have a look ahead um 
All Access Sewing it's called. Have a look underneath us on pre-order and you'll be able to spot that. We've got dressmaking fabrics coming your way and some extra patterns as well. I can spot a couple more from Grainland Studio actually. So stay where you are, don't go anywhere. Adele's back at 11 and I'll see you after this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. Um, I come from London and I've been sewing pretty much all my life. I particularly enjoy doing embroidery. I'm really keen on that, but I've, I've, my background is um, dressmaking and also sort of patchwork and quilting. Um, so I do awful lot of sewing for all sorts of different things. I suppose once you start sewing, you start doing lots of other kinds of sewing. So I particularly like got into needlepoint um, during lockdown, but I suppose embroidery is probably my real passion. My mum was a costume designer, um, so we were always sort of surrounded by bits of fabric and material and ribbons and that kind of thing. And I was always making teddies um, and my dolls clothes as a small child. So it was just something that was quite natural. And in fact, I've got so used to being able to sew, um, it's just become a natural sort of part of what I do. Um, I'm always fiddling around with fabric, as my husband puts it, um, making something new, um, trying something out. Always measure twice, cut once. Um, I'm a great one for not doing that and I always regret it. And making sure that you've got an iron to hand is really important. I use a tiny little, um, sort of almost like a travel iron that I have right next to my desk when I'm working so it doesn't take up too much space. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and we feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to sewing or a seasoned pro, you're sure to learn something new. We're live every day from 8am till 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8am till 1pm on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app, now Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. Right, so everybody who's got their lovely new pattern from Grainline Studio, we've got some other options in terms of fabrics as well, which I think would be perfect. So we're talking three metres, weren't we, for um, which will work for the top. We've got some three metre bundles. These have already been bundled into three metre bundles, and they are beautiful. Uh, now, these are cotton lawns. Again, I'm sure would work absolutely fine with the well Adele said it would work perfectly with the top they were from Adele's show the other week and we made the most beautiful floaty blouse um those of you that um that missed missed that missed out on it this pattern will also go really really well with it 31.99 for your digital cotton lawn I must say though that is beautiful isn't it there are so many patterns in your stash that might call for three metres of a cotton lawn. If you are thinking of a wrap dress, if you're thinking of blouses or tunics. Adele always says, if she doesn't quite know, she loves the fabric, but she doesn't know yet what she's making, she will always get three metres. Because that's going to be generally enough for any dress or a jumpsuit or a jacket or a top. Um, I do love this though. Even if you're using smaller pieces as accents for like a lining on a jacket or... Um, inside of parks. Uh, oh, she used it for the sagebrush top, which was the Friday Pattern Company. It was the one that she absolutely like, loved. She said she's been waiting for it for ages. She's really wanted to do it. There is only a handful of these left. These were new to that show and a majority of them sold during that show. So if you did miss it, there's literally five bundles left. 31 99 which was a brilliant price as well. Work for the top we've just done with Adele. And then there's another colourway, the same print, with these lovely big poppies. With a pink background. Rose pink. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. See, that will be completely different again to the sort of linen that we were just looking at. Um, this is going to be really lovely and floaty. I'm thinking of a really nice lightweight dress for, for the summer. Now, we have this one by the half metre. So if you're thinking, ah, oh, I want to make a nice pair of beautiful luxury cotton lawn pyjamas, or if I want to do a lovely wrap dress, we've got some great patterns coming up. In fact, we have got a pattern um, for pyjamas, which we'll bring in a moment, because it is available by the half metre. Let me have a look and see what, how much you're going to need. This is the closet core pattern, which is coming up in a minute. Fabric requirement. So, um, do you know the width of this, Hannah? If you want to make the top and trousers, um, 135 centimetres wide. So that is, I need an inches, please, sorry. Either 45 or 58 inches. Oh, yeah, it's fine in metres. 43. Okay, so 53 inches. So you're going to need 6.8 metres if you want to do the top and the bottom. So 7 metres if you want to do the top and the bottom. If you just want to do the bottom, then you need 4 metres if you want to do for the largest size. If you want to do the top, then you'd need 3.5 metres. That's for the dramas. Uh, this is the bundle, um, but a uh, three meter bundle, if you're thinking about the top from earlier, but if you want it by the half meter, we have it here. Oh, even if now you are just thinking of like inside of pockets and really pretty little um, 
linings, because it's a beautiful cotton lawn. Oh, I love this. The pattern for the pyjamas is coming up. I mean, they would be very, very posh pyjamas. Very sp special pyjamas. But if you do go into, you know, cotton pyjamas, if you're in, um, I'm thinking like White Company or uh, Mint Velvet or any of those really lovely shops that have beautiful pyjamas, 100% cotton pyjamas or a light nighty. That's what sometimes you need in the summer, isn't it? That's and breathable, lovely and soft, lovely and cool. Five ninety nine a half meter, absolute bargain on that. It's so pretty, and it is lovely and floaty. It's got a great drape to it for anybody who is doing. I could wrap dress. It will work really well. We've got quite a few different ones. Uh, cotton lawns actually by the half meter. Do you want to do all the cotton lawns by the half meter, Hannah? Let's do the pyjama pattern next. Do you know what's great about this pyjama pattern? Is you've got a top and a trouser pattern. Loose pair of pants. You know what we were saying about... It says pyjama tops, but um, I would actually... You know, these sort of trousers, the wide leg trousers are very in. And if I wore the shirt with a pair of jeans tucked in, it's going to work, isn't it? It's similar to, back to the one that we were just doing. It's got your buttons. It's got a pocket. You don't need to put the patch pocket on. If you don't want, you could just have a, a, a lovely shirt. But the trousers around the house with a white cami top, or if you want to do them in a... These sort of wide leg trousers are really, and even if you want to dress it up, my friend actually came around the other day and she was wearing trousers just like this and she had a black waistcoat that was tucked into these bottom joggers. And, no, Meg, and she's literally fashionista. She's really fashionable. Uh, elevate your lounging to a sleeping game with Fran pyjamas. Featuring tailored detailed with a slouchy fit, they look just as good in bed as they do glammed up out on the town. So there you go. They're not just for pyjamas. The, um, the top features a shirt collar, cuff sleeve, back yoke, uh, inverted back pleat, and a button loop at the neck, just like the... the um, the back yoke that we had in the shirt and she said it's very 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 comfy well there you go Hannah you'll look just as good in bed as you do um, out on the town it says 1999 <laughs> you'll look fab summer trousers they're nice and flexy they're nice and cool in the cottons in the linen <gasps> linen yes if you've got any of those linen bundles trousers right I'm just thinking have a look at the sizes this is from XX uh, extra extra small which your size chart 31 to oh here we go sorry 31 to 32 inches on the bust is the smallest size 57 to 60 bust we have demoed this pattern it was on the 14th of February this year if you want to watch it back Now, thinking about adapting this for summer, I think we need this back now, don't we? We were talking about pyjamas back in February, but now we're definitely talking about turning this into a lovely summer outfit. Oh, I want to see this in, on um, Instagram on the ha hashtags. The Fran pyjamas, have a look. Just, yeah, hashtag closet court. I, I don't know whether it's got an actual hashtag thing here. Let's have a look. Fran pyjamas. There is a back pocket, a front, pack, uh, front, a front patch pocket, slightly um, paper bagged elastic waist, optional drawstring. If you want to put the drawstring, you can. You don't have to. You could do them as like nice sort of jogger bottoms. You don't need to do the, uh, the drawstring. Inseam pockets and back pockets. You're going to learn lots of techniques with these, aren't you? 20 pounds to have a trouser and a shirt pattern. I think it's brilliant value for money. Anybody who missed that lovely, smart blouse we've just done, obviously this has got the button, so it's different, but with a collar and lovely, sh smart shirt, 
or pyjamas. I mean, it's going to be a pattern that you're going to make so many times if you're thinking of gifts for Christmas and all sorts. Nice stripy fabric, but also, I mean, we've got some really lovely cotton lawns. Look, they'd look nice, wouldn't they? If you want to do the shirt in this, tuck it into your pair of jeans. Navy blue. Beautiful. We'll do some of the, uh, the fabrics. And then Hannah's going to see what some of these photos look like on, uh, on online for us. So we've done that one. Let's do this other lovely poppy. Because this was one that was launched, I think, for, for a Dow show as well. This is CXL J47. By the half metre this time. Remember, we sell off the bolt. So if you do want three metres, that's six units. If you want four metres, that's eight units. Uh, it's only £5.99 and a half metre, which I think is brilliant for a cotton lawn. Lovely quality. Beautiful colours. Digitally printed, so it's really clear printing. Just £5.99 and a half metre. We are thinking about summer now, aren't we? Come on, we're all manifesting warm, sunny weather. I'm off to Norfolk in um, May. Mid anyway, I've never been before, and I'm just really hoping that we've got really nice sunny weather. We're right on the beach. I mean, it won't, it'll be fine. We'll just put our puddle suits on, and we'll be on the beach, whatever the weather. But, oh, it's, it would be nice, wouldn't it, to be on Wells Beach. With a nice tan. <gasps> Be lovely. Five ninety nine for your puppies. We have the navy blue. Here we are. Now this is different. This is a viscose lawn, so it's slightly floatier. Can we come back to it? Oh, let's go back to. Um, so we stay with the cotton lawns for a bit. This is another cotton lawn. Oh, look at this. Right, I would be buying metres of this because how popular, how lovely is this going to look for the pyjamas? How lovely is this going to look in the blouse? How nice is this going to be for a nice lining in a, like a tweedy jacket? Beautiful in a... I mean, you can use this for small purses and bags if you've got today's early bird. You absolutely can do it. Yeah, it'd be also really nice, really, really nice in the uh, Fran pyjamas if you did manage to get those. Whether you're just doing the blouse or you're just doing the trousers, maybe like a wide trouser would be really nice in these for your pyjama bottoms that you actually wear out. Just £5.99. The amount of times I think, oh, I just need to nip out and I'm in my jammers. As soon as I get home, it's my first thing I'll do is put my jammers on. And I think, I just need to nip out. Can I get away with leaving the house in my pyjamas? And you always see somebody you know, don't you? So if I put these lovely loungewear, gorgeous cotton lawn jammies on when I get home, oh my gosh, and you just need to wander over to the shop. You look fabulous. There's so many of you coming through. Remember, let's. Um, so, if you just want to do the jama bottoms, what size are you going to do? The largest size is a 4XL. So, your waist and hip measurements are 50 to 53, up to 50, 53, um, and up to 62 inches on the hips. And you would need just for the trousers, and with the same width again, 45 wide, or did you say 53? So do I need to go for the small, uh, 50, that's if it's 58 wide, and this one's if it's 45, so let's go for the smaller one. Um, so you'll need 4.1 metres, so 4.5 metres, because we sell by the half metre, so you'll have a bit left over. You could do a nice scrunchie to match, couldn't you? Or a nice eye mask to match, do a whole set. £5.99 and a half metre. Green, beautiful. I love this pink coming through this coral, but the background khaki green is really nice. Hmm? I think these were all new in for that show last week um, that completely sold out. It was a sellout show, and they are very, very pretty indeed. Thank you for searching the Fab Pajamas on Instagram. Here you go. Here are some of the images. 
of people who have made them. There you go. Look at that on the left. Look at fab in the really cool um, fabrics. And then you've also got options of having them in lovely cotton lounge pyjamas. And I like the shirt as well. The purple shirt looks great, doesn't it? Is that in a batik? Love it. You can find Fran Pajamas and their makers on um, social media if you just search Fran Pajamas. Fran Pajamas into Instagram and you'll find them. They're from Closet Core Patterns. But it is one, I believe, that you will make time and time again. Let's face it, we always need nice pair of pajamas. Oh, sorry. Let me show you this one. I will show you. It's not very see-through. It's um, perfect still if you do want to do a blouse. I don't think you'd need to cami top underneath. We never talked about having a cami top with a dowel underneath. Can you see me through? Can you see me through? And this is under studio lighting, so... I mean, it's very intense lighting. So I, I wouldn't call this was, I wouldn't say that this was see-through, no. <laughs> Whereas when we talk about the embroidery, it has got little holes. It's slightly lighter weight. So I would have this as a cover up on the beach. It would be fine. But if I'm wearing it out as a blouse, I'd probably put a little, a little top underneath it. But this one would be fine. It's not see-through. Lovely cotton lawn. It's just so nice and lightweight, though. Just what you need as we're going into summer. How pretty is that? There's lots of colours to pick out there as well. The green. I think it's the same um, print. Green's about to sell out, by the way. Green is about to sell out. How beautiful is that? We don't get to do enough shows like this, dressmaking hours. We blitz through these when we've got guests on because we're, you know, we're wanting to do a pattern. So it's good to be able to have, I say a little bit more time on some of these. That one's now sold out. Um, the next one's a ditzy print. This is the last of the cotton lawns. The other ones, I believe, have got viscose. Viscose mix. £5.99 a half metre. Cotton lawn, half metre. Oh, I can see that in very beautiful pyjamas. You found pyjamas. Would you do a solid pink on like the pocket? Or like the cuffs? The collar? A nice blush pink. I'm thinking for bridal, like it's so lovely, isn't it? You know, when you have all your photographs done. Or a nice dressing gown, like a kimono style. Very pretty. Just reminds me of like little confetti. I think it's because I've been talking to my bridesmaid friends. I'm bridesmaid in, um, in a couple of weeks. Literally, I want to say three weeks. Oh no, I still don't fit in the dress. I'm going to be coming in. Adele, help me fit in this dress. You know, you have me with my zip. <sighs> Can this just, like, fit me now, please? <laughs> right, let's do these viscose. These are lovely. I mentioned this navy blue one earlier. Now, floatier. So I wouldn't... Mm, would you be doing viscose pyjamas like this? I think it would suit more the top that we did the other day. I think it might still suit the top that we've done today as well. You just have a floatier collar um, and be aware the way the direction uh, of the print runs have you seen them I, I, I can't stand in them I can't stand in the heels that I've got to wear for the wedding £3.49 and a half metre 100% viscose Digital print. Oh, this would be a lovely strong. Oh, why have you made me say that wrong? Because Hannah said it funny, so now I'm thinking about it. A sarong. A sarong, but it's so right. It's £3.49, yeah. But you could literally just do like a little rolled hem and do a nice scarf. Do a lovely scarf. Just get yourself half a metre. Do a nice little roll hem on your overlock or your cover stitch sheet. That would be lovely. These looks like, um, what flowers are these? 
Magnolia. I love the magnolia trees at the moment. Beautiful. £3.49 a half metre. You cannot go wrong. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Was that a good quiet telly sneeze? I'm sorry about that. Thank you. I've practised. £3.49. It really bothers me that Kieran does the loudest sneezes ever. And I'm like, look, this is how you do it. You just, just hold it in. And he does the loud... You know when people do really dramatic sneeze and they do like six or seven in a row? I don't know why that is my thing that really bothers me when I see someone... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <gasps> it's sneezing. Sorry, I did just do two sneezes, but um, I've, I did them very quietly. Thank you. It's my, yeah. My favourite thing about myself is that I can sneeze very quietly. <laughs> right, that was about to sell out. Right, now this one, a bit different. Um, I have no idea why the price is at the price, by the way. It's still, it's still a viscose. It's really lovely. It's a slightly different weave. It's a 12 weave. Do you know, men's shirts, summer shirts, that is really nice, isn't it? That is lovely. Or I would have absolutely um, the, the blouse that we did last week or two weeks ago with the doubt. That is so nice. <gasps> a wrap dress, nice floaty dress. It's two ninety nine. Right, I'm, I don't even know what I'm making yet, but I'm buying this. That is so good. I think that was supposed to be at the other. Uh, that was supposed to be at five ninety nine. Surely, that is so good. Forget that ever happened. If you've got any pattern in your uh, stash that you're thinking, actually, do you know what? I'm going to grab as much as I can of that because that is value for money, isn't it? Gosh, that is really good. Right, single figures. About to sell out. Um, and then finally, what's wrong? Hannah's just gasped. <gasps> You've got them in this, in this hour? Uniform tunic. <gasps> We've got the uniform tunic coming up in a moment. I'll show you that. Um, this is lovely and floaty. It is your digital print viscose lawn. Just three forty nine again. Another great price. Not five ninety nine. Three forty nine and a half meter. Lovely yellow, isn't it? Lovely sunshine yellow and greys. Half of the stock has gone. Um, everybody who's been checking out has been multi-buying. I'm not surprised. That's when you're making the savings, isn't it? If you're, if you're buying, uh, you know, four metres and it's seven pound a half metre, then it adds up. And let's face it, that's where you're going to most likely use it on patterns that you're requiring three or four metres or so. So that's a brilliant value for money. Um, right, I've got one more in this pile, which is, again, different. It's a linen mix, I believe. Feels like a linen. Now, oh, sorry, there's only half a metre of this left. If you've already got it on pre-order, well done. But that is literally those lovely summery prints. Even if you're thinking for a bag or for cushions, don't discount some of these fabrics. It's 80% viscose, 20% linen. It's going to look like linen, but it's not going to crease like a linen does. 5.49. Well done if you've got any of that on pre-order. Now, this tunic, it's a uniform tunic. It's the same um, pattern house that we were looking at with Adele. So we know that it's very clear, great instructions, and also fab on Instagram to be able to find some inspiration. Now, you've got options four options in fact you've got option one which is no sleeves you've got option two which is sleeves you've got option three which is i'm just looking at your different option here oh it's the neck so you've got like a slight sort of scooped v-neck or you've got a round neck and you've got all options with um your different necklines and also a skirt now We've got it in sizes 14 to 30. These are the sizes that sold out very quickly in our, in our hour with Adele. So if you do love it, go for it. It was demoed back on the 13th of March this year. Again, look at it, Grain Line Studios. Another, uh, definitely when you're buying a pattern, it's a great bit of advice to have a look on social media. See people, you know, with 
uh, similar fabrics that you would like to work with. Um, Edda says she likes to find people that look like her, you know, age and body types and things to see whether this is going to be a pattern that suits you. Uh, this is the tunic, uniform tunic, worn there, you can see, in three very different colours and um, lengths and all sorts. And it looks very different to the picture on the pattern. I think the pattern pictures don't do it justice. When you see it, I mean, look at these. These look great, don't they? Whether it be a dress length, whether it be over trousers and it just is a bum coverer. Oh, in a linen. I love that. Oh, look at this one as well. With a stripe. Looks great. Sleeveless on holes. A dress with pockets on holidays. Oh, that is lovely. Thank you ever so much, Hannah, for that. Techniques involved um, include sewing straight seam, dart, setting sleeves, bias facings, inseam pockets and hemming. Now, this is a beginner's pattern. So if you really liked the look of the pattern earlier on, but you're thinking, oh, I'm just not at that point of my journey, then, but you like the look of the grain line um, studios because of the depth th that they go into, just so you're aware, again, with the the step-by-step -step instructions, you've got here your measurements, which are your body measurements, your fabric measurements, and then here... You've got all your length in as well, tunic length, sleeve length, bicep measurements. So if you want to make it um, larger on the sleeves, you can. You're cutting here. And then look at how many steps you have got. Literally, step by step, photographs, I say photos, diagrams, and written instructions. Each part has got a step. So as Adele said, don't be put off. There's like 32 steps in that. Um, well, there's even more. 38, let's have a look. 38 steps because they really break it down. Every single element has got a, a step for you. So it's a great one for a beginner. Really good one for a beginner. And a pattern that obviously you can see from all those photographs. I think you're going to use it time and again. And it's going to look different. If you were wearing that stripy top... And then the next time I saw you wearing that bright pink dress, I would never in a million years think that this was from the same pattern. There you go. More um, examples of the exact same pattern, the uniform tunic. And there are, I mean, hundreds of tags um, on Instagram of the uniform tunic. Does it say how many? Oh, this was a while ago you did that, wasn't it? Normally it says... She's... She's not as uh, up to speed on Instagram as me. I'll tell you. Let's have a look. Anybody who's got this in their basket, check out as soon as you can because the other um, pattern that we had completely sold out. Uniform tunic. And then if you just search that and click on tags, oh, yeah, over 500 posts. You will be able to find, look, so many people who have all been making and doing videos. It's a really nice resource, a resource of being able to see lots of people who have made that tunic. Um, just having a look on the back of the pattern, there's a lot of people who are checking out. They've advised to use a light to medium weight woven fabric such as cotton, linen, voil, chambray. So all the ones that we've shown are going to be suitable. Extra fabric may be needed to match plaid stripes or one-way uh, directional prints. But there you go. The most fabric that you're going to need for any option is three metres. Fabulous. Which we were talking, we said three metres is that magic number we're just making, isn't it? When you're buying fabric, get yourself three metres if you're not quite sure. Now for that top, can we have a look at the denims? It did mention chambray. It said chambray. These are um, more of a chambray weight. They're not heavyweight denims. We don't list them as that, so don't discount these. Now, there's three different colours. Look, there's your three colours. This is your medium. I think this would be really lovely for that um, uniform tunic. You don't have any fastenings to worry about, I don't believe. I'm just looking. No, you don't need to worry. You can just literally throw it on and go. Lovely in the uh, medium blue. I do like a denim dress, I think, for... Going into spring and summer, this would be lovely. Or over a pair of leggings. Crop trousers in the summer. <coughs> a 
don't be put off thinking that this is going to be a heavyweight denim. It's an eight ounce denim. It says medium to heavy, but it's much lighter than... Um, I'm always confused by the ounces on our screen because eight ounces, I know that John Scott always questions them, doesn't he? Should we do the light for the summer? I love light, light denim. I just saw a doll in a light denim jeans. I thought, oh, I need a pair of light denim jeans. These are lovely. These would be really nice um, in the tunic. You could use two different colours for the top and the skirt, couldn't you? And you don't even need to buy two different colour denims. You can just use the reverse. Don't forget, your uniform tunic is available. This would be perfect. Remember, the most that you're going to need is three meters. Yeah, that's the most you're going to need for any option of any size. That's six units. We sell by the half meter, so that's six units. Oh no, my strawberry plant has gone out the window. I'm going to be searching for kitchen drawers now, aren't I? I've had a message in the break that Bella's broken the kitchen drawer. Kieran really upset because they've discontinued kitchen. We can't get it anywhere. We're going to have to re change the whole kitchen. I think he's going, this was all in one message. And then he's obviously, it's quite funny because then he's obviously opening presents from Maze's party yesterday because then he's written Poppy Play-Doh. So he's obviously one ready for me to do my thank you card. So it says this, and then it's her friend Poppy's bought Maisie Play-Doh. <laughs> I love flashy wellies. <laughs> Along with, oh, I'm so annoyed. There's a lot going on with Kieran at home right now. I'm just going to enjoy these next few hours chatting to all of you at home. <laughs> Maybe he's going to fix the drawer with the Play-Doh. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, the dark denim blue. In all seriousness, has anybody got a glossy white uh, kitchen that they're getting rid of if they're having a new kitchen? Message me. <laughs> Need a new drawer. £4.99. I'm sure Play Doh, we can wedge it in with a bit of white Play Doh, glossy white Play Doh. I'm sure I could get some sort of... Kieran's a handyman. Surely you could just fill it in with some filler and gloss over the top. Oh, we'll... Yeah. We'll make it work. £4.99 a half metre. I think that last big pan drawer would be quite nice as an accent drawer. I think an accent drawer might be a thing. Because you can do all sorts with vinyl, can't you, nowadays? Right, this is 4 99 for your half metre. I'm going to be starting hashtag accent draw and making it a thing. <laughs> How does that work well with my accent draw idea? She's now deciding that every draw speaks to you in a different accent. I think we're delirious this Sunday, aren't we? We, we really needed that Greg's delivery this morning. Uh, no delivery drivers available this Sunday morning. Right, can we do these beautiful embroidery fabrics because they completely sold out during the showing. Um, yes, don't forget your uniform tunic is now in single figures. If you manage to get your denims, this is perfect. In fact, any of those lovely cotton lawns would work as well. Any of the linen bundles that we have available underneath us would work too. It's only £19.99. Um, yes, definitely have a look at the, uh, the all the different... Uh, what's the word? All of the different inspirational pictures on Instagram because a lot of people have made this. When a company's been going for a long, long time, uh, it's great because you get to see it made by lots of people in different fabrics. So, yeah, it's a great resource to be able to look it up because I don't think the picture does it justice. I mean, it's a versatile pattern. It's got four different um, options, but it's good to see it on a person. Now, there's literally four of those remaining if you want one. Oh, I love this. This is so pretty. 
Um, this is the one that Adele was working with. We, we had them bundled last week and they are absolutely gorgeous. I would love the, um, the top that we did today. Is it gone? I would love the top we did today in one of these. Uh, please tell me we've got more stock of the other one because they are literally some of my favourite fabrics we've ever had. They are so pretty. Um, I should have sent you a dress. There's uh, the most beautiful cotton dress um, in Zara that I've seen and it's got a collar just like we've been doing now and it's long and it's got a lined skirt and it's got pockets. It's gorgeous. And I tell you what, it will be over £100 for that dress in that shop. You could make it to fit you in a unique, beautiful embroidered pattern um, cotton. And it's lovely. Now, obviously, be aware that they are little holes here. So if you are making this as a, a top, you might want to put some sort of um, cami top or something underneath it. But equally, if you want to do this as like a cover up for over at the, on the beach or around the pool or on your holidays or in the garden, then, yeah, it's lovely. 100% cotton. Eight pounds, 49 and a half meter. This completely sold out in the bundles. The other one sold, so there's nothing else quite like this. And once again, you can see it's got this embroidered detail and then you've got the stitching running between as well. It's so pretty. Half the stock has gone. I can't recommend this enough. It's literally one of my favorite fabrics. It would work with the tunic, absolutely. It would work with the um, pattern that we launched with Vidal a couple of weeks ago. It would also work with the pattern that we've done today. I know, sorry that they've sold out, but if you have got the pattern in your stash, go for it, because we had these in bundles which sold out. Now by the half meter. <gasps> so pretty. Oh, there's so many of you there. I'm pleased you love that as much as me. Gonna look amazing. Uh, now, lovely Fiona Hesford uh, has got her brand, which is So Girl. This is anybody who is going on a UK holiday this year or goes for, you know, walks on the beach, dog walks, you just always need a top like this. This is like your sort of, well, it says here, you've got a sewing pattern to make a loose fitting top with a choice of either two patch pockets or one kangaroo style pouch pocket. Um, it features the lovely loop and button fastening. But this for me is just Put it on over the top of a T-shirt or something. If you're going for a walk, if you're out in the, the countryside, if you're going for a walk on the beach, I think that that is lovely. It's very sort of sea salt, fat face kind of vibes for me. I love it. Now, this is in sizes small, which is sizes 8 to 10, up to XL, 2XL, sorry, which is sizes 24 to 26. You've got a nice picture on the, the website there. Now, the 150 wide fabric... If you're buying from us, you're going to need two and a half meters. You'll have a bit left over. If you're buying for a narrower fabric, you'll need three and a half meters. Now, it depends on what sort of fabric you want to do. It will work really nice, something with a fleece. It'd be really nice with like um, uh, even a cord, like cord would be nice. Um, jersey. What does, it, what does it suggest? Let's have a look. Here we go. It's suitable for medium, uh, medium weight cottons, canvas, denim linen, needle cord. Now, these would look really cool, wouldn't they? If you do want to get, this will give you like a bit of a poncho-y style, festival vibes I'm getting. Yes, I've got the other two colours. We did this from our shacket with Hayley. I think that one's gone already on pre-order. Did you watch the show with Hayley West? Um, the shacket pattern completely sold out. And a lot of these bundles I thought had gone as well. I'm pleased that we've managed to do it by the half metre today. Um, all the bundles sold out, so we've now got it available by the half metre. And this was used along with the denim in Hayley's shacket. The Tallulah shacket. But you could use this for your St Ives top. You could just use this for part of the St. Ives top. I think this would look really, really nice on the front and then use like your denim for your sleeves or collar pockets, using it for the patch pocket. Perfect for jackets, for coats, for cushions as well, for bag makers. 80% polyester, 20% cotton. I'd love this as nice sort of bolster cushions and maybe pick out that nice pink as like a pom-pom trim round. Festival vibes, it's lovely. 
What about also like table runners and um, like lovely mats to be able to take out if you're going outside eating al fresco and you want to do some nice table mats? I think for homewares, this would be really lovely. It's nice and wide. It's really nice. It's a woven fabric, so you've got a pattern on both sides. Interiors, this is very in. Big floor cushion would be nice. And I am thinking with like a bit of a fringe trim on it or a pom-pom trim. But equally, any festival goers, how lovely would this look at a festival, like a big long kimono style? Hannah does dress like she's at a festival all day, every day. She was like, just every day away. Don't need to be at a festival. Hannah is at a festival right now. Look at her trousers. She's in her festival trousers. <laughs> Steph compliments her on how clean her clothes are when she gets home from work sometimes. Like, you haven't spilled anything down you today, Hannah. She's like, I know, I know. She says uh, she has today at 6 a.m. Spilled a food down her. Oh, and well, it's got paint on it. Right, let's do the... Um, <laughs> just that washed up on this. This, again, with your denim. Oh, once again, for home furnishings, for cushions, for bag makers, for dressmakers. You cannot go wrong. In fact, we had the very useful bag that Hayley bought, didn't we? The very useful bag was lovely to go with this. I'm not sure whether any of Hayley West's patterns are available underneath us on the web, but this is lovely. <gasps> Could you do the linen, um, pat the linen apron pattern with this, the cross back pattern um, from the Leicestershire Craft Centre? That's Catherine Wright. This would be nice, wouldn't it? Or that one would be good for any of the linen bundles as well that we have. Very nice indeed. Loads of people coming in. It's a woven fabric. Everybody is coming in is multi-buying. Can't go wrong with these sort of monochrome. It was all very, very popular during our Tallulah Shackett show last weekend. And from a distance, if you're thinking of cushions on your sofa, Hannah, you're going to be able to get a few cushion fronts out of this. I'd back them with this as well. I think that'd be really nice. And the fact that you've got your monochrome look, you can't go wrong. Whether it's small little crossbody bags or straps on bags. We made the very useful bag with it, didn't we? But you're not here on my Hayley show. Oh, it was Hayley. Hayley and Hayley. It was the very useful bag pattern that we did. Very, very nice indeed. Loads of you multi-buying on it. There is orange. Are you looking for your own shopping now? I thought she's looking and thinking that she's put the wrong one, the wrong code in. No, Hannah's shopping now going, does that have orange running through? Because she can only buy anything that's got orange in, you see, oh, Hannah. For the orange room. She doesn't have an orangery. She has an orange room. <laughs> you just can't call it the orange tree. That should be uh, the name of your house. Okay. <laughs> this one. Size is 8 to 22, but it's lovely and generous. It crosses over at the back. You don't need any fastenings. It literally just goes on. And the idea behind this isn't just, you know, an apron for cooking. This is a brilliant craft apron. I leave this building covered in threads. How many times do you walk out of your workroom, literally with threads attached to you? Threads or um, put in. <laughs> I heard the word Greg's. It's because they're thinking about Greg's because they weren't delivering. I said threads, not Greg's. <laughs> but I probably do leave the building covered in sort of draw Greg's as well. <laughs> A beginner level, and actually the pattern pieces, if it, it's quite daunting to you cutting out a pattern, then this is really simple because I believe you've literally got two pieces, you strap, I don't even know, three pieces max, that's it. It's just all your hem, really easy to follow instructions, all in one size, size 8 to 22, and that would be lovely. You could do it in lots of different fabrics, canvases or linens or the, the ones that we've just seen. Uh, and you could applique onto it. You put pockets onto it. There are pockets on it. 
Um, right, is there anything else that we wanted to uh, talk about? It's already 11 o'clock. Right, do not go anywhere because we've got a really exciting hour coming up, which we're going to be adapting clothes that you already have in your wardrobe. So get your messages in um, and we're going to be talking to Adele about the book after this. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye! Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one P&P with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street hub and UK customer support is available 24-7. So head over to SewingStreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.SewingStreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. 
Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Now, this is a really exciting hour, actually, and we want as much input as possible. I think this is a perfect time, whilst we're live on air, to be talking about this and to get your input as well. Um, because I think we all know somebody um, in our lives that this book is really going to help. Yes, absolutely. So um, we're not the experts, and we were saying this morning, weren't we, that we don't want to say the wrong thing, Yeah. but... There are people in our lives yeah. that we can connect with Absolutely. when we look through this book and think, actually, that would really help them. Absolutely. This is called All Access Sewing. Yes. And it includes um, lots of different advice and interviews with expert disabled sewers yes. of what they need, how it would help them to be able to adapt your own clothes. So this isn't necessarily, you know, new patterns no. to create. This is adapting the clothes you already have in your yes, wardrobe. Yes, absolutely. So it's not your usual pattern dressmaking book. No. Um, um, but it's all about making what you've already got in your wardrobe work for your body. Um, so, we, we, I mean, we've had this on air before and had a really, really positive response from it. Um, we've got a FIFO um, example here. It says, a very interesting book. Set my mind of thinking yeah. other, of other dressmaking alterations. Yeah. Which is, is something that a lot of us are talking about more so nowadays. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's, we're, we're aware. Not in what to waste things, not wanting to, you know, we, we never know what's going to happen in our lives over the years, that things change. And it, you may be in a wheelchair or you may have a stoma bag or you may need access to be able to... Um, for lines. Yeah, for lines, things. insulin yeah. if you're, you know, a diabetic. So to be able to say, oh, well, that's it, I can't wear any of my clothes because I need to do this yeah. and this. To be able to adapt them, I think, is a really positive thing. To still look fashionable as well and still Absolutely. feel comfortable. And that's the point. That's what runs through this whole book is all about being comfortable um, because everybody wants to be comfortable in their clothes no matter how their life changes. Um, and we also want to be fashionable as well, don't we? We want to be able to wear what's already in our wardrobe yeah. um, and make it work for our own. So we um, have picked out a couple here. This is yes. one of the projects that we're going to be focusing on here. But just having a bit of a flick through the book and talking to you about how, how it sort of works. So there's lots of different adaptations that could be done. It talks to you about the, what the book is about at the start, what the book is for, what's covered in the book. And then it talks to you about generally setting up your, your sewing station. So you don't necessarily even need to be a dressmaker no. to have this book and do some of these alterations, do you? Absolutely, because it's not talking about making garments from, from scratch. scratch. It's talking about how you can take what you've already got, everyday normal clothes, and just changing them only very slightly as well. We're not making huge adapt, adapt, uh, adaptations. Yeah. We're just changing at the part of the garment that's going to help your life. Brilliant. So, look, I mean, there's lovely interviews in here. Yeah. Uh, it's a really lovely book, isn't it? And makes it really sort of positive for you and realise that actually I'm not the only pro person that struggles with this. And I could really, uh, you know, maybe you know somebody in your life that this is going to really benefit. Yeah, and it's always that thing that when, when somebody's life goes through such a monumental moment, um, having support around you really yeah. is fantastic. And having somebody that goes, do you know what? I'm not making you your dinner tonight. I'm not popping around going to collect that for you. I'm going to help you make yeah. you feel comfortable in yeah. your clothes. And that's a really special gift. Absolutely. And I mean, look, you've got real great step-by-step -step instructions. That one's adding poppers into sleeves. Uh, that's inserting in uh, the horizontal uh, zip into a, a dress that you already have. Like the lady on FIFO, it actually starts you thinking about other things. We've all got, you know, different specific needs. The book can't cover everybody's needs no. or, you know, uh, uh, everything. But you start to look at different things that you think, actually, that would be really, really helpful for that. Buttons. You know, if you've got dexterity yes. problems, if you really struggle with buttons, how to replace those buttons with magnetic ones. It's, yeah. you know, little things that actually, it doesn't need to be, 
you know, huge things, no. but also there's definitely maybe something in here that is going to help yeah. you or a loved one. In keeping the essence of your clothes, so when we replace the buttons with magnets, we're actually leaving the buttons on the outside as well, yeah. so it still gives the illusion. And there's another one about talking about taking the placement of back pockets on jeans Love and that. popping them further down the leg that if you're in a wheelchair you actually can use them yes because you wouldn't be able to use them if they were actually on the back no that makes so much sense doesn't it yeah uh, lengthening and shortening jeans um if you you know you have a, a prosthetic leg then this is brilliant this one i think is going to be fantastic yes. anybody who is uh, sitting in a wheelchair or if you uh, you spend a lot of time in a wheelchair or sitting down then this is going to be brilliant to lengthen your hem because if you sit down yes. and you're wearing a dress it's not going to be level anymore no it's not um actually on instagram i saw the other day there's a big movement on showing yourself sat down when you show off your new garments right. because people would like to see what it looks like yeah. when they're sitting down and when you do sit down if you've got a long uh, skirt on the front will lift up and it would look a bit odd so it talks in here about how you can level it off so that you've got the yeah the, the look that you want to have. If you sit in an office for everybody, yeah. you don't have sort of different access. It's modesty as well, isn't yeah. it? If you do want to lengthen something. Um, I mean, there's there are some really great hacks in here, really. Yes. That's what it is. I mean, we all love a, a hack, don't we? But to be able to make it really useful. I mean, a stretch waistband, how to insert a stretch waistband yep. into your, your trousers. This is great. I mean, anybody who, who suffers with bloating or um, IBS, and this is perfect, isn't it? Or when I was pregnant, if you're having a baby, to be able to put your own stretch into yeah. trousers, brilliant. You know, yeah. it costs a fortune for maternity clothes. If you can adapt some trousers that you already have, that is fantastic. Um, sensory seams, any seams that are, um, you know, irritating or uncomfortable. If you've got yep. delicate skin, if you don't like them against yes. your skin. Absolutely. Binding. So, um, especially sensory, that's something that we're becoming a lot more aware of now. And somebody's clothing actually can cause a lot of irritation yeah. and a lot of anxiety during the day. Yeah. Um, so, I have, I've met students before that enjoy comfortable, soft clothing rather than yeah. stiff work clothing. So being able to give those slight adjust adjustments, such as making sure those seams sit nice and comfortably against the body really does help somebody with their anxiety. And it says here, these are also good techniques for strengthening your seams to make your, gar yes. your garment last longer anyway. Um, that's for, for binding them. Loosening tight sleeves. Fantastic amendments. These are all skills that are going to be very, very useful anyway. Uh, winding a neckline, we're going to be talking with Adele about in a moment. Uh, just wanted to flick through so you can see, because obviously it's not going to be every, um, every. Uh, they're not going to think of everything in this book, but I feel that they really cover lots of um, it, it, key, key areas that, you know, a lot of people don't realise probably that they're, they're actually struggling yeah. with as well. Expandable trousers here. We're bought in some shop bought clothes today, aren't we? So it's not yes. like you have had to have made loads of clothes to, no. to start with. Um, you've actually got a couple of shop bought clothes. They've done yep. up on an overlocker, and you can. Yeah, I'm going to show you how you can adapt something from the high street, not from what we've been making dressmaking wise. Brilliant. Um, so I popped down to the charity shop actually and picked up two garments that I thought would show some of the adaptations in here Brilliant. but also as well Vicky there's lots of interviews with um, sewers and makers from from the the world of uh, craft so if you look through we've even got an interview with the actual author as well okay. Becky Cole yeah so she's talks about the fact that she was diagnosed autistic and ADHD um, and she talks about how her life changed after she got that diagnosis yeah. and how she felt um, and she just wanted, like she says here, now I understand myself better, I need to have yeah. more patience with myself when I'm sewing. Yeah. So I talked about that before as well, that sewing shouldn't be a, a stressful process, no. um, it, it's to suit you as the person, there's no race to mm -hmm. get something finished. So if it means that you want to do just one small section at a time, yeah. do that, absolutely. I love the fact that this could be, you know, a lot of people's sort of 
first dip into dressmaking. If you're a bit thinking, well, I don't know if I can manage a full garment, but this is going to be a great chance for me to be able to usefully, you know, amend uh, clothes that you've got. Here you go. This is the repositioning pocket. That's taking back pockets off trousers or jeans and repositioning them to where you can access them easier. Um, so that's, that's brilliant. Yeah. We, we are openly, as I said, I'm live on Facebook as well. I'll, uh, have a look uh, on, on the webpage. If there's anything, any pattern that you'd recommend or any of these tips that you recommend, is there anything you want to ask about the book, anything you want to ask to Adele, yep. then get your messages in now. But we're going to be having a look, did you say, at the Project 16, was it? Yep, so, so we're bag. going to have a look at uh, putting a access yeah. zip for a stoma bag at the waist seam. Then we're also going to have a look at adjusting the neckline of a jersey Brilliant. garment. And then if we got any, um, onto it, I'm going to have a look at sort of widening the arm yeah. sleeves as well. Great. Um, but also, Vicky, it says at the very front of here how we can make our sewing machines more accessible to everybody. Okay. So many of our machines nowadays are computerised. Mm -hmm. um, and there's so many features on these machines that can help us. For example, the start stop button. So we might not want to use our pedal. Yeah. We can actually use our start stop button yeah. to yeah. control it yeah. from like handheld. Also, most machines now have a speed limiter. Mm -hmm. We don't have to go 100 miles an hour. We can actually so slow down our machine mm -hmm. just in case we're, we're worried about them moving away and not having the control if we haven't got that uh, mobility within our hands. Yeah, if you find controlling the speed um, with a foot pedal challenging for any reason, limiting the, the you can limit how many stitches are going. You yeah, can put it right down to Yeah, and it allows us to slow down our thinking as well because yeah. if it's not racing away with us, we can see what's coming up. I know what I normally do is I keep all of my pins in place and then as they're coming up, in my mind, I'm thinking, right, I'm coming up to the corner. Okay, I'm coming up to the curb. And by slowing your machine down, just allows you to prepare that yeah. mentally. Yeah. Um, and then also talks about the thread cutter button. I know a lot of machines now have them as standard. Mm -hmm. That did change my life as well. When it stopped me having to try and find a pair of scissors yeah. all over the place, I could just quickly do that. Also, some machines I have noticed that they do have a, a knee lift function. Knee lift, yeah. So the knee lift function traditionally was for um, industrial, industrial yeah. machinists to allow it to be quick in the process, but we can also use this to help with, with like the pedal and having to reach around here is yeah. quite difficult for yeah. some people. Yeah. So having the knee lift allows us to have that, that control as well. And also allows us to position the fabric under that press of foot with more control. Yeah. So you might've seen me before when we're putting things into the machine, I'm around here, I'm trying to yeah. do that. Having your knee lift just allows you to have both hands on here yeah. and then put the presser foot down rather than having to hold it like this, yeah. trying to pop it down like that. Oh, automatic needle, needle threader, things like this yes. are going to help, aren't they? So it talks about this. It also talks about... Um, uh, you know, arranging your sewing space. Dress yep. forms, there's a section on dress forms which we'll talk about actually in our next hour, if that's okay, because we've got a great discount on lots of dress forms. But to be able to adapt clothing uh, it is a great um, addition to your sewing space, definitely. And you've got some electric scissors today, haven't you? Yes, we do. Yeah. So yeah. electric thread cutters, right. um, they're very useful as well. Okay, lovely. So, um, I, I, you're thinking of the seam ripper, aren't you? Oh, you're the seam ripper. The seam You've not used, I will say no. you've got electric scissors because it does note about these, doesn't it? The, yeah, uh, but even no. electric seam ripper. Have you never seen no. it? Oh my gosh, right. Can we, if we've got one, because I do believe we've got it on the show in a bit, I'll yes. come and show you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we'll do we'll some do of the overlocking yeah. thread on here because yeah. I've just sat outside there undoing the overlocking oh, thread. Oh no, this is going to change the world. There you go. It's going to change the world and it's going to be great for the pockets. Well, it's going to be brilliant for all sorts. Okay, over to you then. Okay, so the first tip that we're going to have a look at is, let me find it in the book because there's quite a variety. It's project three, which is inserting a horizontal zip into a dress waist. So let me show you the garment that I've actually got and we'll talk about why you might actually need to do this. So I found a dress that has a waist seam here, mm -hmm. okay? And this waist seam, 
we're going to make that an access point. So what we might need for access here is somebody that needs a stoma bag or whether they've got a wound on their, their stomach yeah. area. Yeah, when I have a C-section. Yeah, yeah. C-section or they've had keyhole surgery. Instead of when going for medical appointments, having to hike your skirt up like that, uh, you can also have it in here as well. And also, if we've got a lifelong condition, then it's nice to still wear beautiful outfits like this, but have that access yeah. so that it makes it, it makes it enjoyable when you go out, that you don't feel that you're going to be panicked whenever you're going to have to, to get to that part of your stomach. June, I'm so pleased she's just put, I've got a stoma. She says, I'm in tears. This is wonderful. Oh, well, I really hope we're helping you. And yeah. we, was, we were saying at the start, weren't we, that we don't want to upset anybody by saying anything yeah. wrong. So yeah. if we do say anything wrong, yeah. please correct us. Um, but we're here to, to help oh, people that's it. Yeah. and to have these discussions. Um, I remember when I was at school, when I was younger, I didn't know anybody that had a stoma bag. Yeah. But almost once a month, the kids at school are always asking about them because they see TikTokers, they see people yeah. in their social media now being really open about yeah. having a stoma yeah. bag. And it's a really nice conversation I now have with the children at school because I'm like, well, that's, that's allowing somebody yeah. to live a beautiful life yeah. and have the freedom that you have. Yeah. And they always ask, they're like, so what happens? And yeah. we need those conversations, yeah. don't we? Yeah. There's a lovely message there on screen as, as well about the book. Um, and the book is on screen, by the way. I just, who was it that messaged in? Sorry, Hannah Jane. This book looks really good. I don't use the foot pedal on my machine as I have arthritis in my feet. So the stop start button is brilliant. Yes. Jane. Absolutely. Fabulous. And using the stop start button along with uh, the speed control yeah. really allows you to have the access of the whole function of the machine. So I've got myself uh, an invisible zip. We're going to put an invisible zip into this point here. And what I've already done is I've undone the, thre uh, not threads, the seam in here. I've just popped some pins in just so that we can actually see what it looked like before I'd started. Where did I put that? Up there. Concealed zips, would you yes. think that that's going to be the, the way forward to make sure that it is all still? Yeah, well, you still then have the illusion of what the dress yeah. is, and you'll have that line there, that waistline still there hitting your waistline rather than having, say, buttons or ticker tape or anything like that. I think a nice concealed zip in the same colour would look really yeah. nice. Lovely. So I've already undone this seam and it was just overlocked. So I've got my unpicker. Yeah, you've unpicked this by hand, haven't yes. you? So it can be done, but honestly, that is going right, to be a game changer. We're going to try that in a minute. We'll try this one. This is going to try that in a minute. Done. And I have, haven't gone all the way around. It's just the front okay. part. And we're going to now turn it inside out because I've already prepared this dress that I've put two lines of interfacing just along here. Because, yes, this fabric isn't jersey, it isn't, it's a, like a viscose polyester mix, but I don't want that to stretch out at all okay. because we're putting a zip into here. I want to keep that stability. So we're just going to go through each of the parts here. Now, it also talks in here how we can help people that have those dexterity yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, issues yeah. so what you could do is you can also put strips of like double-sided tape mm -hmm. so that when you pop this on before you stitch you haven't got to put all of those uh, pins in yeah, which are then easy you can just leave it and by the time you've washed it a couple of times it'll be absolutely yeah. fine so what we're going to do I've got I'm trying to take this part off here but my zip is longer don't be alarmed by that that's not a problem at all and it's just a nylon, it's not a metal zip, so you can cut these, can't you, down? Yes. Yeah, we've got lots of zips that Hannah's been running yes. through. Now, I always, when I do zips, I always line it up first. So we're going to line that up. And then I'm just going to zip it back up to make sure that I've got the right pieces. Because that's always the thing with invisible zips. Oh, yeah, it's, it, it's a bit sort of baffling to see, yeah. you know... It, You've it goes the opposite way to the way yeah. you think. Look, even now, I'm. hold on one second. <laughs> We're discombobulating you. Oh, my gosh, that's a, a cool word. Discombobulated. 
right, let me put it this way. It'd be easier if I do it this way. So I want the zip to be like that, which means that side's going to go onto there. So we're on the right side of the fabric. And I'm going to put that zip onto there because that eventually will go in that way. Yeah. Now, one thing I've also noticed, Vicky, when I undid that seam, obviously it wants to fold itself back up. So I'm just going to press this completely open. Oh, you're I'll turn not on. That on. Yeah, I'm going to just press this so that I can make sure that that zip really does go in nice and flat. There we go. Going along here. When I was looking through the book at home, when I, I got it at home, I thought, what a lovely adaptation this is to your, to your wardrobe that you can make. Absolutely. And it, do you, is there any garments, you know, what are you looking for in a garment that you're able to adapt? Does it have to be, like you say, this isn't jersey, it could be any... So it actually gives you all of the details in okay. here. It tells you exactly what, you what garments you can use. Because like I said, we're going to do... I'm getting all discombobulated again here. Sorry. <laughs> um, um, we're going to do a um, jersey one as well. In a okay, moment. brilliant. Uh, it's really, really informative here. And I really like as well, there's a little key at the start here. Yes. And it says, like you said, if it's going to be a bit fiddly, your dexterity... Um, if you're going to need strength, it's weighty, and then the difficulty level here. Yeah. So that's that's brilliant as well, isn't it? Yes. It gives you all the things that you'll need. Why, obviously, you might need to do this sort of adaptation on a dress, and then it goes into how to do it, like Adele's doing here, uh, putting in your concealed zip. Yep. Step by step photographs, top tips as well. Yep. Are we on the right way now, Adele? Yeah, we are. <laughs> okay, so I've just got one side of the zip already in place. I'm going to change to my zipper foot on my machine. There we go. Let's pop those out of the way. And we're going to sew one side of the zip onto the bottom half of the dress. Now... I've not you don't normally use this machine number four stitch number four there how do I change oh there we go that one there there we go and like I said before um the double-sided tape is amazing here with zip. oh yeah the uh quilters tape yeah it's on the web it is a specially derived, uh, it's, you know, specially developed double-sided sticky tape. Don't just use sticky, sticky tape that's in no. the cupboard. <laughs> what do they use it for in the quilting world? Um, zips. Or, or in the quilting world, I suppose, yeah. do they use it for binding or they put it on... We always see it more for bag makers. It's a bit of a is mystery. It? Quilters message in. Do you put it on your quilts for doing then your lines of cross-hatch stitching or...? Because a single-sided, which you would use for marking, I would have said. Mm. But we normally use the double-sided for bag makers. But it's still called quilters tape. Oh. Wash away quilters tape. Right. I'm trying to make sure everyone can see this. So the bottom side of the zip is now on. And what we're now going to do is put the zip onto the other side. This is where, like I said, invisible zips... A little bit mind boggling, mm -hmm. but if you just keep opening and closing, you can work out which side goes on which. There we go. Pin this down again. And when you put an invisible zip in, it might look, hold on a minute, it looks like it's upside down. Don't worry. An invisible zip is slightly different to uh, an exposed zip. And there's also another zips here, um, which is inserting zips into trouser hems. Yes, so and that if you, if you need, have swelling around the ankle, yeah. you're able to... Um, and if you have dressings that need to go be replaced, instead of having to take off your trousers, you can just undo the zip. Yeah. So you. if you've got something like maybe an also or something that yeah. needs to be 
looked after by the nurse. It might also need, mean that you don't need to take your shoes off. It means yes. trousers can be put on over shoes, avoiding necessary for shoes to be removed for dressing. Yeah. yeah. So it is a lovely book. It really is. I think it's really going to help a lot of people, which is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, and like I said before, might not be helping you, but what a lovely gift that you can do for somebody else. Absolutely. Like, I remember when I was preg um, had, was it my first or my second? Um, one of my friends just messaged me and said, what do you want for dinner? And I was like, oh, uh, I don't know. She, she was like, well, I'll make it you and I'll just pop it round. I'm not coming in, but I'm just going to pop it round to you. And it was such so a nice. lovely gift. Oh, well, uh, it was Brenda. She says, when my daughter was breastfeeding, I adapted dresses um, by putting in concealed zips for easy access when yes. feeding. So a lot of tops, actually, they, they aren't suitable, really, for breastfeeding, no. are they, at all? And you end up literally virtually taking top and not feeling very comfortable. No. If you've got a nice top that you want to wear, then this is actually going to be a suitable technique, yep. similarly to if you want to make it into, uh, you know, make it suitable for somebody who's breastfeeding. Yeah. I use double-sided sticky tape on binding when you fold it over so it covers the stitches, useful for anything. Yeah, if you can't put pins in as well, that's perfect. Yeah, so thank you for that. The quilted tape's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, to go and have something altered, to go and pay for alterations like that, <sighs> you'd have to pay per item, wouldn't you? And you'd have you to... Would. So this is actually brilliant to know how to do it yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Or do it for friends, like I yeah. say, or a family member. Right, all I'm doing now is I'm just going to sew the ends together at the ends of each of our openings so that it just finishes the seam completely and then I'll show you how this works there we go now my zip is slightly longer because you provided me with the zip before I got the dress so don't be alarmed the fact that I've got this big long tail this would just be cut off you can just cut it off with normal scissors you don't need any special okay. materials or anything in that way. But there we go. How do I do it if I'm cutting it that I don't lose my zipper on the end? Can you just stitch over it? No, what I would do is, first of all, make sure your zip is closed. Okay. Don't cut it when your zip is down here. Yeah. I've seen that. Yep, just go over, cut, and then just go over okay. zigzag. Yeah. It'll be absolutely fine. Oh, brilliant. And, and that's as go. quick and easy as it. Yes. I mean, you, you've spent... This was this morning. It yep. was completely a new dress that you got in the charity shop and now up. it's adapted. So now we've got Brilliant. an access. <gasps> oh, fantastic. So that's just one of the, the tips and techniques yeah. that's within yeah, the book. We'll have another flick through whilst Adele gets ready for, she's going to show you a few of the techniques yep. as we go. So if you've got any questions along the way, please do message in. Um, Levelling uh, a skirt hem, I think we're going to look at at some point as well in here. But it is a fantastic book that's full of lovely interviews, um, great knowledge as well from expert sewers that have got disabilities yeah. um, as well. So it, it isn't just written, you know, by uh, dressmakers necessarily. It's people who have actually lived and experienced those absolutely, issues. Absolutely, absolutely. So they know exactly what part of the garment needs to be altered to right. really make that benefit. See, if you have an insulin pump yes. or a, a, a PEG feeding tube, you can put buttonholes into inside of a pocket and yes. jeans. It's yeah. a great idea. So, for example, this part here, yeah, In the buttonhole will be within there right. so that your insulin pump that's just here then can yeah. come through here so you don't have to keep yeah. pulling up your top. Fantastic. There are some really great little hacks to adapt. Remember, these aren't making the dress. No. These are adapting clothes that you already have in your wardrobe that you're thinking, right, well, I, ca I can't wear that anymore. In fact, actually, I bought, it was on um, Vinted, I bought Maisie this jumpsuit, and she said that her daughter couldn't wear these jumpsuits and things anymore because she had a stoma yeah. so she couldn't she couldn't wear them but now actually yeah if you've got an, a, any uh, jumpsuits or anything like that that you need to adapt you now can wear which you want to turn it into a positive that you're not having to say about well, I can't do that anymore I can't do that anymore to be able to give somebody the opportunity to say, yeah you can wear that dress and you can still wear yeah. that and you saw how quick it was just to change that waist seam yeah and from where you are now 
you've still no. got the illusion yeah. of where the waist is. Yeah, absolutely. But you have that excess. So you yeah. can easily get to your stoma bag or to yeah. any of your incisions, any of yeah. your wounds in there. Yeah, brilliant. Right, so which is the, the next technique that you want to so have a little bit of a look at? I'd like to have a look at the neckline. So this is... Uh, product 14, widening a neckline. If you find tight necklines uncomfortable, this project will improve the feel of your clothes. It's a great one uh, for creating easier access to the throat and neck or yes. a chest pull or if you prefer a wider neckline this is a fantastic way to repair a garment uh, that has a damage to the neckline it could be a good upcycling project as well yes and it does say here if you want to widen the neckline that isn't made of stretch you could use bias binding but because we're using stretch material we're actually going to use part of the top to create a new yeah. neckband uh, there's a lady who messaged in about her daughter who has got, here we go, how amazing, my daughter has a Mickey button and is in a wheelchair, I can't wait for the book to arrive so I'm able to buy clothes that I can adapt, yes. brilliant Wendy, so that's oh, the YouTube, isn't yep. it? Brilliant. Absolutely. So this book will really help and it, it won't limit you when you're yeah. going around the shops now. You won't think, oh, that isn't suitable. Now you can actually look at everything and go, right, I can just make that small adjustment that I've seen in the book. It's going to be perfect now. Fantastic. This seems a great place to start then, this book. There seems um, hopefully a lot that can help because it does say in reality, one in five people in the UK have got different, you know, things that will need clothes, clothing that... Uh, you know, yeah, it's going to limit them potentially. So to be able to adapt clothes that are on the high street, this book's going to be brilliant. Yeah, instead of feeling that you always have to wear loungewear, you can still wear yeah. your everyday clothes. Like you say, Wendy, it must be difficult. You know, you walk around the shops and you're thinking, right, what is going to be suitable? You can just yeah. do a quick adjustment. So you've got jersey there. This yes, time. so I've got a jersey top with a very high neckline. Yeah. So we're going to be using the curved ruler just to draw ourselves out a new neckline. We're going to cut that. And then what it does suggest in the book to do is use the bottom of the top to actually create a new neck band. right you can't make the new neck band out of this part because that won't have enough and no. it will be just totally overstretched okay okay now in the book it talks about using i just want to talk about the difference with the, the curved ruler i thought we'd use curved ruler because yeah. we've got one but it does talk about using a tape measure to make sure that the neckline is then even and symmetrical. Mm -hmm. And you want to mark where it's widened. Mm -hmm. So I would maybe try this on, put maybe a pin at where you want it to sit, take it off and then draw your neckline from there. Adele, can I only do this with a jersey or a stretch fabric? Uh, no, so it also talks about that you can do this with a non-jersey top. Okay. But with a non-jersey top, like it said in there, I would just use bias binding to finish the edge. Oh, nice. But with jersey, we can't use bias binding. We need to have a stretchy neckband. Yeah. And I wanted, like it says in the book, to use the same fabric so it looks like it was never adapted in the first Great place. Great idea. So I've got myself a pen that I'm going to mark the point of where I'm going to cut. Now I'm going to put this in half because... We want to make sure that it is symmetrical. We don't want a neckline that's going to droop on one side and go up on the other. So this curved ruler is really useful. It actually tells me where the curve is for my armhole, my hip, my front neckline, also the back neckline. Okay. So we're going to do the front neckline first, then the back neckline. And it says I need to go from 16 inches to 11. So that is the shape that we want to create on this neckline. So that's from the shoulder down up. So we're going to go from there. It's got this sort of equation here as well, is it? Yes. To calculate so you know how much you're going to need to, uh, to make your new neckline. Yeah. So the book really does take you through every step, but we're just going to do it on here using the curved ruler. So I've got that there. Ooh. Going across. That's such a nice print. And if you're thinking, well, I, I can't wear that because the neck's too high. I mean, I don't like polar neck tops. I've always had a thing about being restricted yeah. comfort. Have I, don't, you? I don't like it. And Macy doesn't like it either. Really? Yeah. If I ever put anything that's tight around the neck, she's like, oh, no, I don't want to wear it. Really? Mm -hmm. 
And it is quite, yeah, I can see. Yeah. Scripting. I if you love like a print them. and you love, you know, a top. I've, I've got a few in my wardrobe and I never, they never get worn, so I might have a go at this. Yeah. I'm just going to go on the other side, starting at the same point that I did on the other edge, going to where I finished. I'm just pinning the other side to make sure this is symmetrical so we don't want a lopsided neckline, do we? It says if you don't want to lose any length from your top, why not create a new neck band, neck band with some contrasting jersey? Yes, so to use up scraps. It does say that if you don't want to use the length, but I chose a top that has a good length on it. Right. Because I thought, well, yeah. let's use one that yeah. we can show the technique that's in the book. I'm Definitely. just now going to do the back because you do want to also adapt the back. The curved ruler is in your back is 15 um, and a half. There we go. To 15 and a half to 12. So 15 and a half to 12. There we go. So I'm just making sure that comes round. And then on the other side, the same. There we go. And I do think we're getting better, Vicky, at talking about our excess needs. Absolutely. Yeah, our needs. Whereas in the past, I think people... Where have I put my scissors? Yeah, people would hide it or, you know, not be as open to talking about it. Um, oh, these are good, these expandable trousers. It said here, skinny jeans and slim trousers have been in fashion for a very Ooh. long time. However, they aren't always the most accommodating style. Uh, these jeans, so how many of us have got, you know, jeans? You've just said that you got rid of your last pair of skinny jeans, didn't yes. you? Yeah. You could have put a nice zip down the side and made. Look. Oh, I know. Panels, fabric panels down the side. Depending on your mood you can and your access needs, you could open them and make them into this really lovely um, fabric panel trousers. Yeah, I, I I don't like skinny jeans. I really feel so restricted in them. So I'm just going along, cutting out the new neckline where I've just drawn. And we're not going to use this part here. Right. So there's my new neckline. As you can see, a lot more comfortable mm -hmm. than the high neckline that we previously had. Now, we can't use that piece, but what I am going to do is I'm just going to take off. Let me read how much I need off the bottom. Uh, da, 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 da. We're going to cut the bottom hen off the top and then we're going to cut away and we create a new hemline. So we're just cutting the bottom. Now, you would normally draw this out with your ruler. I'm just sort of hacking this just for the show. Okay. And mm -hmm. we need to take off this hemline here because that's not going to really be part of our new neckline. That will be too many layers. So I do need to take that part off. Now, you asked earlier, Adele, do we need an overlocker with this? Yeah. A lot of people are scared of jersey, thinking, oh, I my gosh, I need to have an overlocker. You don't. Really? You don't. You can do it purely using the um, zigzag stitch. Okay. 100%. Or the lightning stitch. Do you need to... Um, I like that, the Harry Potter stitch. Yeah, the lightning like The lightning stitch. bolt. Um, do you need to change your needle to, like, a ballpoint? Yep, I would stretch? recommend um, a ballpoint needle, but a universal needle will be OK as well. But, yeah, ballpoint needle's always good to, to have. Right, I'm just doing this. Now, it does talk in the book about how you now measure this, OK? Mm -hmm. So I just want to talk quickly... Mm -hmm about that because we need to create a neck band that has been has a stretch to it otherwise it will be all baggy mm -hmm. um, but we can't have it too tight that it will then distort the shape and the, the fabric oh let me just pop that off so it does say holding a pen at zero you then pull to measure the amount of stretch 
you then put the pin where it now sits. So for example, the fabric in that book, it went from 10 centimetres to uh, 12.5 centimetres. So that means it's got 2.5 centimetres of stretch. Because okay. every jersey, go home, Vicky, have a look at all your jersey things. Every jersey is slightly different. Yeah. Some have more elastane in it than others. Right. It then gives you a formula. So you take your measurements of your new neckline, divide it, by the stretched. Okay. Then that gives you a new circumference that you'll then need to do. And then you also need to add on your seam allowance as well. Okay? Right. So all of these measurements talk about how you can get that neck line to be the neck band perfect. I'm just going to do it quickly because I know we're running out of time because I'd like to talk about the last one. So I'm just going to eyeball it. I was going to say, have you done the maths already then? No, I haven't, unfortunately. So you're just going to eyeball it? Yeah. Okay. There. Um, we put some pins on the desk. Okay. Because I want everybody to have seen this happening. I don't want to go away with it not being finished. So I'm just creating my new neck bands. Oh, put my zigzag foot on. We've got a few tools that um, I know a lot of people have messaged in who have had dexterity issues who have said have really helped, actually. There's the magic pins that have got the slightly larger head. The spring-loaded viscose scissors are actually um, in this book. I've seen them as a tip. Things like that, that, you know, we talk about the machine. Yep. And here you go, there's a message from Samantha. Uh, my late mom was a seamstress, and due to problems with her legs, she gave up sewing. The start-start oh. start button changed her life yes. and brought sewing back. Yes. Brilliant. Absolutely. And that is the beauty of these computerised machines. They've really helped a lot of people. When... I'm not sure what they were first organised or arranged for. What were they first designed for, the stop-start button? Was it for accessibility? Maybe it was, yeah. If you, you know, if you have an operation, and I know so many people who message in and say, look, I'm, I'm sort of um, I'm unable to sit at my sewing machine at yeah. the moment because I can't use the foot pedal, but it's brilliant that they have a stop-start. Does the book have instructions uh, for tight... Yes. Garments. Oh, yes. Yep. We're going to have a look at that. My arms. Yep. We're going to have a look at that in a minute. We're going to have a look at that. So I'm just now pinning my new neck bands around the jersey neckline. And when you do jersey necklines, you do need to... So let me show you what I mean by this. As you can see, look, Vicky, the neckline yeah. does not fit perfectly into here we're going to have to slightly stretch this neckline but when it's finished that will want to come back and then it will fit flat, flat which rather than want. sitting up so you don't want it to be baggy no so i'm pulling the neckband but i'm not pulling the actual top underneath okay to fit this in so i'm pulling the neckband letting it sit and then just a quick clip and these clips are also really good instead of pins. Yes. You know, we're talking about having things that are more comfortable to hold. These are one as well. Message from Debbie. Oh, my goodness. This transformation of a top will change my life. I've had so many high tops that I don't yes. wear anymore uh, due to horrendous flushes. This is just brill. Yay. Oh, Debbie, go for it. Hopefully, this is going to help lots of people with all sorts of, you know, different needs. Um, this is the top one that we were just asking about. It is in here, Project 13, uh, how to loosen tight sleeves. Uh, tight sleeves are no real sensory, no, a real no-no for me. Uh, they're one of the first alterations that I started to make on my own clothes. It's great for creating loose and more flowing sleeves uh, from the sleeves that I already have on your garment has a plethora of adaptations. This is a great adaptation if you're experiencing general swelling in your arms, um, if you find putting sleeves on garments challenging, or if you need easier access to your arm for medical treatment. Yeah. It looks beautiful as well. Nice photo sleeve, doesn't it? Um, the clips that Adele just mentioned, your um, Wonder Clips or the different brands called the different names, but they are great. If you do struggle with um, using pins, 
these are really easy to get out, put in. They're a lot, of, they're a lot less fiddly. Just fifty, yeah. um, you get fifty of them for nine ninety nine. Yeah, you don't have to worry either if you've pinned on the other side and you flip the garment over when it's come to the machine because they're on both sides. I'm just using the standard zigzag stitch. On my machine, I use um, the uh, lightning bolt stitch when I do jersey as well. Now, do you see the difference there? Oh, that was a really speedy sewing. Yeah, so do you see, that's me using the speed. So that's the fastest, but remember, we don't have to go that fast. As I've slowed it down, I'm coming up to my next pin. I'm ready, I'm able to take that out and not have to stop. So that's where that speed control really can help each of us. There's one, removing excess fabric from seated trousers as well. So we're going to yes. talk about levelling hems, but also if you're wearing trousers and you're a wheelchair user, or if you, um, you know, it says about uh, if you drive for a living or sit at a desk for a living, yep. um, anybody sits more than they would stand could find these adjustments, but really beneficial. Yep. Popping these out. There we go. And with Jersey, give it a really good press because it will start to spring back. Adele, I love that you're literally doing this. She's coming this morning. I've got these clothes. I hope this works on air because I've not like you know prepared anything. I'm just done it, and you've just seen it on the telly. How? simple that was yeah well I, I couldn't hack them yeah until I got here so I've been reading the book in the green room preparing myself use lots of steam as well this hasn't got much water in but steam really helps with jersey just to let it sit and spring back but we've gone from a very oh. high neckline yeah that's a neckline that suits me now as yeah. well <laughs> so a neckline that looks more comfortable and I've also scooped out the back as well just so it sits nice and comfortably yeah. at the back there. That looks great, doesn't it? And because we've used the same know. fabric, you wouldn't even know. No, you wouldn't. So all then we need to do is just rehem the bottom. But if you look, I haven't taken a great deal off it. No. And if you're going to have that tucked in anyway, you'd never even notice no. that we've lost that length. But if we give that a good steam, there we go, new neckline. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Um, now, we've got time, I believe, to one squeeze in the loosening sleeves. If you've got the book, well done. I'm so excited for everybody who, you know, this is going to really be a positive um, input in your sewing room. And whether it be to help your own needs or whether it be a family member or a friend, just to be able to, to give them... Uh, their, some of their clothes that maybe they haven't worn for a while, a new lease of life. We never know how our lives are going to change and our accessibility is going to change. So I think this is so handy. And from an aesthetic point of, uh, of view as well, there's lots of these, like that neckline, that I think it looks... Personally, I, I prefer having a... A, a lower neckline. Yeah. yeah, and these floaty sleeves look beautiful. If you struggle with setting in sleeves in a pattern... This is a really good hack to be able to have anyway, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Now, what we're going to do is we've got this sleeve and we are going to loosen it, but still create a beautiful shape. Gorgeous. So here we've got a garment where the sleeve has been set in and normally that would be tight around the top of the, the bicep of the arm. What we now need to do is just unpick the sleeve head. We're not unpicking the whole sleeve, we're going to unpick the sleeve head and then we're going to cut down and then reshape these. Right. And then we'll sew that back into the actual armhole. Okay. okay. Once again, does this need to be a certain fabric? It just says a top with sleeves. Yeah. Any top so with sleeves. So any top with sleeves, this will be absolutely fine to do with. So I'm just unpicking the stitching of this sleeve head. So again, this will be really good with those electric seam Stitch rippers. Yep. Uh, 
This is so good. It, is, it looks like a, um, a hair removal device. It's not going to damage your fabric, though. It's literally going to snip the, the threads, trim the, 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 uh, the threads. But it doesn't damage your fabric at all. So if you're taking out overlock seams, even Ooh. just, you know, your normal ones, if you're taking off embroidery, off garment, garments, you can do it. I know a lot of people who deconstruct bags for yes. hardware, upcycling. They are Ooh. brilliant for that. Um, but, I mean, that's just going to be so, so quick. If you are taking off pockets off jeans to be able to take them off the back pocket to put into more uh, an accessible area on your leg, then definitely invest in one of these. The amount of FIFA reviews we have on this is endless. There are a lot of people who have bought this and love it. I hate to call it a gadget because it's actually one of the most useful things I think you'll have in your workroom. Like you said, Adele, never be afraid of using your seam ripper. No. It will be Always. best friends. Absolutely. Always. Right, what I've done is I've taken the top of that sleeve out. Okay. Where the actual sleeve seam is with the shoulder, I have drawn a line. That is the line that I'm now going to cut. Once I've cut that, we're going to re-hem this and we're going to create a nice shape at the bottom. We don't want this to be right angles. Okay. So let me just now cut this. So a scary moment cutting yeah. these garments. There we go. So we're going to go all the way up to the top. There we are. And now what we need to do, using our curved ruler, we're going to create a curved edge just on this cuff here. So we're going to create a curved edge like this. And that's where we're going to cut. Mm -hmm and do the same on the other side. Do, 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 do. You hear them next door. They're <laughs> very excited, aren't they? Toby Cavill, I think. <laughs> oh, it's this way, I did it. Right. We're going to chop that as well. Where did I draw it? It's at the bottom. You've just done that with like a heat erasable pen. Yeah, but it's all not going to be seen anyway. There we go. I'm going to just. And you're just trimming off size. minimal amounts here. Yeah, not a, a large amount, and that's the point of this. We're not creating a completely open, fluted sleeve. We just got that top edge, and we want it to look pretty. Right. I'm now going to fold this under and create a new hem mm -hmm. and it's going to be rounded. Okay, so do you just do that slowly, slowly with your iron then? Yep. Yeah, just with the iron, then we're going to stitch that down all the way up to the top. There we go, new hem and then we will sew this down and then we'll put it back into this armhole. There we go. Just put that on a normal stitch, go back. And again, this is an adaptation, a, a change that will actually look like it was originally meant to be that way. Absolutely. People yeah. go, oh, that's a beautiful sleeve. Uh, sleeve. Yeah. So we're just doing our hem all the way around. And then in a moment, we're going to pop this back into the arm. Same on the other side. Just chop that in. Because a lot of people struggle with sleeves being in too tight. Mm -hmm. Doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. mean it's, you have to completely change the sleeve shape. You can still take your sleeve that you've got and just do this change to it. This book might, you know, give some people a bit more independence as well. You yeah. know, I, I was looking at the, the buttons and it, there's so many great adaptations in here that if yeah. it, it, you know, we all wear clothes, don't we? Yeah, and buttons are really fiddly. <laughs> yeah, really Some of the fiddly. small ones are so fiddly, yeah. aren't they? So I really like that magnetic one, but leaving the buttons on. Yeah. It's a really good idea. Right. I've now got, it's hard to see. 
Wow. When it's all a big piece of material. Mm -hmm. There is my new hem. And as you can see, it's beautiful and curved. And we've got it both sides. We're now going to pop this back into the sleeve hole. And I'm going to slightly cross it over at the top so that when it opens, it will look fluted on the other side. So we're going to cross that over just slightly at the top. I don't mean a large crossover. Where's my clips? They're better. There, look. And we're going to sew back that seam that we just undid to get to access to this sleeve in the first place. Right, coming round. There we are. And there we go, Vicky. And like you say, that looks like look. a lovely detail on, yeah. on the dress anyway. So didn't we pop that on there, look? How pretty is that? There, look. Really nice. So it gives that feature now, so you've got more access Fantastic. to that. And it looks like it's actually intentional, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Does it look and like how quick that's was that it. as well to yeah. be able to do it? We're not talking about completely reconstructing garments or no. changing things, but these are all, yeah, really and quick. And if like, you've hats. got a plaster cast, yeah. so my daughter had a plaster cast up to her arm. If you've got long sleeves down to here, you could also do this. Right. Like we chop sleeves off and I'm looking back and I'm like, yeah. doesn't look yeah. very nice, but having it now with that cross over there, yeah. Just allows you to have more movement. Yeah. But it just creates a beautiful shape. Yeah. Um, loads of people absolutely loving the book. Thank you ever so much, Adele. We are going to go through lots of the different um, tools as well. We yep. think we're going to be helpful. Hi, Penny, she says. Um, oh, this with the sleeve is fantastic. My little yes. girl has um, terrible... My little girl has terrible with the sleeves at school. Um, too dresses too being tight. too tight. Oh, yeah, that would look so cute. Yes. A little summer dress and yes. just little fluted sleeves. Oh. Yes. That would be lovely. Yes. Uh, you're given the dress that you have to wear, special yeah. school uniforms. So yeah. to be able to adapt it. Is and you brilliant. saw that literally took me five minutes to do one sleeve. Yeah. So the other sleeve, an afternoon, and it's done. Thank you, Penny. Um, so there's a flurry of people coming through for the All Access Sewing Book. Um, I know a lot of people have been watching intently and thinking, oh, how is it going to benefit me? This is going to be brilliant. Lots of people getting involved. Thank you so, so much, Adal. I wouldn't look at this book on a shelf and, you know, necessarily think one that was for me or I wouldn't be thinking, you, you wouldn't know exactly what was in there, would you? No. There's so much in here. There is. How many projects are there, Vicky? Uh, 15 yeah. ways to adapt. Fantastic. <coughs> and it doesn't need to be for everybody who's an, a really experienced dressmaker either. No. This could be your first dip into dressmaking. I think all of these adaptations are manageable, aren't yeah. they? Absolutely. Absolutely. So it looks not just at tops. It looks at tops, dresses, bottoms, trousers, skirts. Lots of different ways that you can adapt your whole wardrobe there's inserting zips into trouser hems pop a tape into sleeve openings inserting a horizontal zip which we've been looking at into a dress space there's magnetic buttons inserting a buttonhole into a pocket um, you've got shortening sleeve shortening and lengthening jeans leveling a skirt hem repositioning pockets removing excess fabric from treat seated trousers You've got stretch waistband in there, century seams, uh, loosening and tightening sleeves, widening a neckline, expanding trouser legs. Uh, so there's, as you say, 15 Ooh. different hacks and tips and interviews, step-by-step uh, -step instructions with photographs along the way. I've never actually seen a book like this or a pattern, and there aren't actually that many patterns. I was reading in the back, or um, was it in one of the interviews, I think, where the uh, one of the, the authors was saying that... She really struggled to find commercial patterns um, that would that would suit her. So she started, you know, making her own clothes and trying to do her own patterns. Mm. So to be able to do these hacks on clothes that you already have. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant. And or even use these when you're creating your dressmaker. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you're buying a new pattern and you're looking at it, well, thinking, oh, well, that's not going to be suitable now with this book alongside yeah. a new pattern. Yeah, like, for example, those uh, trousers that we did last week. Yeah. Instead of those pockets being on the back, having them on the leg and so they're actually accessible and functional would be brilliant. Absolutely. Uh, just £19.99. Loads of you have got these in your baskets. If you haven't yet checked out, Go for it. Thank you for all of your messages as well. There's a lot of people who have been messaging in. Um, so the few tools that Adele was using, the clips we talked about, yeah. these pins, can we just mention these? Because what I like about these pins, obviously you can't always use clips like all the time. There's, there's parts of garments and things that you will need pins. But what's good about these pins is that they've got a little... Uh, sort of grippy yeah. handle have you tried these before? yeah i had these last time i was on the show and they are brilliant so instead of having the ball they've got a longer piece that you can actually grab hold of yeah. and they've also got indentations so you can actually grip onto them as well yeah and uh, they're really good quality pins as well by the way they're super super sharp super long um going to be great for your dressmaking and your adaptations alongside this book but we do love these Obviously, they're patchwork quilting um, as well. We use these a lot. They come in the little case and they're just £19.99. Pack of 100, which is the most cost effective way of getting your magic pins. £19.99. Uh, we haven't got them all in here, obviously, because people have been uh, using them. There is also a pack of 50. They're the same ones, the same uh, colour head. They've all got different colours because they're all different lengths. But these ones are your quilting pins. So they're long, they're fine, they're great for, uh, for all your quilting, but also suitable yeah. for makers. Yeah, so because they've got that long plastic end, when you come across them, they're easier to take out because you can grip them. They're heat resistant as well, so yeah. you so don't need you to worry about press. burning them with your iron. Um, or melting them with your iron, I should say. Just swab like to die for your 50 piece. Now, oh, we've got a video. I was just going to say, are there any more scenes that I can do? But if you have a look at this video, um, this is one that... Is that your hand or mine, Hannah? Is that my hand? Um, here we go. You can literally unpick your seams so quickly and it doesn't need to be it could be straight seams as you see here it can be um, decorative stitches it can be overlock stitches have a look on youtube as well because there are um, lots of great videos of removing patches of embroidery um, or overlocked stitches all sorts things that you would probably struggle sitting and unpicking yeah have well overlocking do you want to have a go yeah here you go look I'll show you it right. Oh, here we go. Shop bought garment. I won't do the one that Adar's just done, but I'm just going to do a little bit. So, can you see? You sort of catch a thread and you literally can brush it along your fabric. It so just it opens up. And it will just open it up. And it won't ruin. The best thing is, is it's not going to cut your fabric. So, I don't know if you can see this. There we go. Let me get this one as well. If you're using this for Bargello, where you need to uh, take stitches out, for getting bag hardware, if you buy a bag in a charity shop and it's got lovely hardware on, you can upcycle. Hang on, I'm going to go this side as well. Yeah, as soon as you've got it, then on there, you can just go along, can't you? Yeah, look. Sorry, my hair. There we go. You see? And I'm not damaging the fabric. You're literally just taking out... All those overlocking threads. All those overlocking threads. How good is that? So if you're doing it with jeans or denim oh, or yes. if you've got any fleeces... Uh, I know that Hannah's boyfriend used to work on the X Factor and he's got fleeces with the X Factor mm. crew on, which he doesn't want, surprisingly. I'd love oh, a fleece gosh, with the X Factor that's so crew on the back. I'm going to say that'd be worth money, won't it? But he wanted to take it off. So, like the fleece, but didn't like the logo. School uniforms, anything yes. like that, that you just want to take logos off. Brilliant. Um, £34.99. We have had, as I say, so many people who have messaged in saying these are brilliant. Um, yeah, the proof's in the pudding with all of your FIFO review. Here you go. Fantastic product. Very lightweight, easy to use. Makes short work of unpicking seams. Thank you, Adele. Uh, that was from June. These are all independent reviews. Great product, easy to use. Does not tear your fabric when unpicking stitches. Thoroughly recommended. That's Lynn. I mean, there are low. It's one of our most reviewed items. Been waiting for this for a while. Uh, it has some embroidery that I want to remove. It worked like a treat. 
Comfortable to hold as well. Uh, what Ooh. a brilliant little tool. Comfortable to hold. Tears away stitches so quickly without cutting into my fabric. Good for close embroidery stitches too. And then one more. Um, I thought this would be a gimmick, but it is brilliant. So much faster than a seam ripper and it doesn't damage the fabric. You won't regret buying this. Thank you, Sarah, for that. It comes with your little box, a little charging cable, a little brush, um, uh, and you can use it whilst it's charging as well. Hello, Julie's messaged in now. Hey, Julie. She has said... Oh, where's it gone? Where are you gone, Julie? Um, I have the stitch remover. It's very easy to use, and I love it. Thank you, Julie. Oh, brilliant. Nice message to end on. Um, there's lots of bits and bobs underneath us, including concealed zips that we're yep. using. Just very quickly, the Fisker scissors that I mentioned... They are these ones here. I haven't got them physically here, but they are this one. Can you see? A spring-loaded snips, number six. These work in a similar way to spring-loaded oh. shears. They're useful for smaller, more intricate work. Ergonomic handles make them comfortable for the hand, while spring-loaded action can reduce hand fatigue. They are really popular scissors Ooh. anyway that we use, but if you do lots of repetitive cutting or um, you struggle with arthritis or any dexterity problems, have a go with those. They are Fabulous, ergonomic, great snips. And they're really sharp and they're a really good brand. I know lots of sewers that absolutely swear by these. They're sharp to the point. There's lots of different tools in there. But thank you ever so much. Um, I've really, really enjoyed today. We've had some yeah. uh, lovely demos. So thank yeah, you. When, thank you. When are you back so I can call um, I'm not you sure again. in Mason time. I'm always once a month. So I'm not sure. Do without you, know what, you don't know what you're doing yet? No, not no. yet. No. Lovely. Thank I you. always love when the email comes through. I'm like, oh, what is it this time? <laughs> I hope going back to work's all right tomorrow. Yeah, it'll be all exciting. It. But now it's all the GCSEs coming up. <gasps> oh May, they start. That's it. So the last push. Yeah, before, yeah, big exam time. Yep. Thank you, Adele. Thank you. Um, don't forget, check out your baskets on the book. There's a lot of people who've got them in their baskets. And thank you all so much for your input and your messages. Uh, we're going to be back with some dress forms, which again, really useful, handy uh, bit of kit to have in your workroom. So we'll be talking about all things dress forms and, and adjuster forms in particular. So there you are. We're back after this. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband, and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now, and by stitching I'm talking about counted cross stitch, or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers, and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796 by a little girl of eight or nine. And it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques. I love to draw and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Sewing Street gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email, then decide the value that you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Sewing Street gift card is the perfect answer. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one P&P throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Sewing Street app. Head over to your app store now and search Sewing Street and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured in today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking here for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching on the go with Sewing Street. Shopping with Sewing Street couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.sewingstreet.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your sewing room essentials to fabrics, sewing machines and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Sewing Street app. Simply head over to your app store and search Sewing Street. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 001 4433. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Did you know at Sewing Street that on various products we offer split pay? That means on certain items you can spread the cost over two, three, four or sometimes even five interest-free monthly payments. Just pay the first instalment when you purchase and you're away. So shop your way with Split Pay. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye. Did you know that you can continue shopping 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, even after we've finished broadcasting live? Just head over to www.sewingstreet.com for thousands of sewing supplies available from top brands. You still pay only one PMP with split pay available on certain items and an easy checkout service too. Plus, you can get expert advice and tips from our Sewing Street Hub and UK customer support is available 24 7. So head over to sewingstreet.com and continue your sewing journey. Not only is Sewing Street live from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. on Sky 670, Freeview Channel 73, YouTube and the Sewing Street app. Now, Virgin subscribers can watch on Channel 754, which means there are more ways to watch your way with Sewing Street. We're proud to have some of the most skilled and experienced experts in the industry. They're brought to you here every day on Sewing Street. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hello, welcome back to our Sunday show. I feel tidy here with these great um, dress forms. Right, are we ready? Because we're going to offer discounts on adjusted forms today. And just going back to the book that we were just talking about, um, right at the start, it says about your um, different sewing room equipment that's going to be handy. And right at the start, arranging your sewing space, it talks about dress forms. And it just says, if you're looking to make or adapt clothing, a dress form is a great uh, addition to your sewing space. The, these are formed shapes that echo a human body that can be used to drape fabric or to test a fit of something. Um, it, and it's brilliant that you can then change it depending on, obviously, your body shape. You can make it larger. We can take it in where we need to with the dials on an adjuster form. Um, 
they're generally made from the sort of polystyrene and then co coated with the, the really lovely sort of um, soft fleece that you can then pin into as well. And I do like the fact that you can adjust these because let's face it, one, we change shape throughout our lives. Two, we might make for other people. Um, it's just nice to be able to have the ability to adapt that um, dress form. It isn't like your standard one that stays as it is, um, that you have to sort of pad out. Don't get me wrong, you still might want to pad this out in different parts, but to have those wheels to adjust in so many different places, I think is brilliant. Now, when we launched Adjust the Form, that was just from the, uh, the All Access Sewing book that we were, were talking about in the last hour, and it just said about them. So I just wanted to mention that it is something that is useful to have in your sewing room at any point of your dressmaking or alteration journey. Now, the one that we're going to start with is Olivia at the front there. Now, we have a range of sizes. Olivia is the only one that comes on caster wheels, um, which again, space saving. It might make it a bit easier to work with, to maneuver around. It's the only one that has the caster wheels. And it's the first time I've actually seen the one with the caster wheels, which is brilliant. It's Olivia. Now, before we put any graphics in, I just want to show you the Adjuster Forms actual website, their official website, and there is Olivia. So, £224.99 pence, uh, features the 12 adjustable um, thumb adjusters to be able to change the size of your dress form. Now, the price is something just to take note with uh, on that little slide. Now, I just want to show you a video because ours, 214.99 is absolutely amazing. Now, this is the medium size, so we can go through the actual sizes for you, but um, Olivia does come with casters as well, but you can see the easy to use dials. In fact, there is a little video which we can show you as I'm um, speaking as well. Um, just be aware of the price of this, it's amazing. So our most feature rich dress form, um, it's got 12 thumb wheel adjusters, easy adjustments for chest, waist and hips. Offers wide flexibility in your creation as it has that hem marker as well, includes offset comma, column. So if you are making trousers, this is brilliant. You've also got a neck adjustment and a back adjustment as well so you can lengthen and shorten with these um, which is fantastic we do have the sizes of all of these as well individually um, oh Hannah was like before we do that I have to tell you how good the price is on this because we're not staying at 214.99 by the way yes we are already lower than the price on the just a form website which is brilliant but we're going even lower today one of the most versatile adjuster forms. Remember, well, it makes no sense really, does it? Because ours are coming from adjuster form. You go to adjuster form, you pay 224.99. You come to us, you pay 214.99. Not today. We're going even lower under 200 pounds. That is amazing. And this, I must say, Olivia, for me, is one of the most uh, versatile. One, because you can do the trousers. You can switch the ability to shift the central post, uh, offset it. So you can do trousers, you can do shorts, you can do leggings, whatever you want to do. But then you also have the ability of neck adjustments, which not all of them have, back adjustments, which not all of them have, um, as well as all of the dials as well. And casters, this is the only one, I don't have the space to show you, but this is the only one that comes on the caster wheels that you can wheel around as well. Uh, and obviously you can adjust the height. So here is your size guide. Yeah. We're not staying there either. That's 10% off our price, 10% off our price, which is brilliant, might I add. Hannah's like, well, do you know what? I'm not quite done there. Anybody who wants adjuster forms, today is the day. 15% off at £181, the Olivia. Um, obviously, we've got all of the different size variations. Olivia comes in extra small, in small in medium and in large. Your sizes are on screen now. Take a screenshot of your size guide. There you've got your casters, your stand, and you've also got all one, two, three, four sizes. So extra small is on your graphics now. Your bust adjustments 
There you go. Your bust adjustments are uh, in inches and centimeters on your screen. 28 to 35, 20 to 31 on your waist, 30 and a half to 38 on your hips. Uh, then back length can be adjusted as well. And height is 69 inches. It's a dress size UK uh, 4 to 12. Now a small, again, we are taking 15% off our pricing, which was already lower than the official Adjuster Form website. Um, here's the Olivia Small. Once again, your measurements are on screen. 33 by 4, 41 inches on your bust. Yes, she can. Olivia. Is one of the most versatile. One, because you've got the casters. Two, you've got the neck. But three, you have also got um, the ability to offset the central pole to be able to do trouser legs. So you've got the second slot here to be able to do trousers or shorts or leggings, or uh, which is brilliant, isn't it? Even if you don't do trousers at the moment, if you don't make trousers, to be able to adjust them, to be able to tr have a go. To be able to place them on, it's so much different. If you put a pair of trousers on and then you look down to see where the hem is falling, instantly you've changed the length of them. So to be able to put them on a dress form, even if you make it to your sort of size and shape, you can do a 12, you can use your paper patterns uh, and put them physically onto the form, which is fantastic. So there's your small graphics in Olivia. So remember, Olivia is the only one that comes with the wheel casters. It's the only one, um, I believe, that has got, um, is it the only one that's got 50% or are you gonna go for it on all of these? Oh my gosh. It won't be the only one with a discount, but that is a really good discount. 181 pounds and 90 pence. Still got the, uh, the money back guarantee, obviously. You're still going to get it with three pound 95 postage and packaging across the board all day. Right, we're getting these from a just a form. There is an adjuster form website, an official website you can buy this from today. They're exactly the same. You can buy it today for $224.99 or you can come to us. We're going to go to them. We're going to give you our posting packaging and we're doing 15% off. Now, medium is your source of sizes 14 to 20. Uh, medium is always the one that sells out the fastest, just to be aware. Remember, it's always easier to add to a form with uh, wadding and padding and all sorts. It's a lot easier than taking away. So I'd generally go with a, a smaller size and pad out. Um, but look how easy it is to adjust these little thumb wheels or... Look, there you go. So you can twist and you can literally see 38 inches and as it closes... It's getting smaller and then you can open them so easily and adjust it and it's not going to damage it. You can still pin onto it because let's face it, I know that we might not all be um, this shape exactly. You can pad where you need to. Right. Large. I'm surrounded by all these people. Um, there's your large. This is the largest size that we have, which is sizes 18 to 24 in UK dress sizes, but go by your measurements. £181.90, we've matched the prices again. Um, today, 15% off while stocks last. Be aware there's a lot of these in baskets. When we do a day with Adele, and we're talking all things dressmaking, of course it's gonna be a busy day when we're, we're discounting adjuster forms as much as we are here. Your premium Olivia, in large, graphics on your screen, 181.90. Three-way split pay as well. Use that 0% interest split payment. Um, I mean, that's brilliant, 15% off, isn't it? Right, Olivia, I'm going to put you down. We'll go to our most popular next, which is the So Deluxe. Once again, just to show you a bit of a comparison, the um, classic So Deluxe is another one that we love because you can uh, you have got the option of of doing a leg adjust uh, adjustments on trousers or or making your own trousers this is our best selling it still has all of the 12 um, different uh, thumb wheel points to be able to adjust on the bust the hips and the waist you do also have the neck adjustment and you have got your back adjustment as well. And it is the most beautiful fabric that you can pin into, of course. And it's actually 
slightly sort of, if you've ever worked with a design wall, it's slightly felted that you are going to be able to, your fabrics will probably sort of adhere to it um, as well. If you're making a, a twirl, this is going to be fantastic because you can alter, obviously, the height of it um, where you can put it onto a tabletop if you're doing a hem and you don't want to be bending down. That's where I find this really, really useful. Instead of getting somebody to stand up on a table to do a hem. Would you be able to just drop the graphics, please, so we can see the, the writing? The classic with a twist, the perfect for those who want the option to make trousers. It is available in full sizes with us as well today. So those 12 uh, thumb wheel adjusters for easy adjustment on the chest, the waist, and the hips. There they are. Um, it's got a long eight-part body and hem marker, which offers wide flexibility in your creations. It includes an offset column that enables you to create trousers, uh, allows you to adjust to the back length as well, so you will get your perfect size. Um, it's got a pin cushion on the top as well as your neck adjuster and all covered in that lovely vibrant blue. Finished with a sturdy and easy to store base. So yours will come with a base like ours here. Once again, it has got the hem marker and it's also got the measurements on the pole. Let me spin it around and you can see. You've got measurements on the pole, hem marker and a nice solid base. Um, but it is still easy to store away. I say that, even if you don't have a designated workroom, John always talks about, he used to always have like a dress form in his hallway, didn't he, when he was at college. So it's one of those where I actually think it looks really nice now as a feature in a bedroom or in a, uh, you know, a dressing room or if you do have a workroom. And just put some of your clothes on, choose what you wear at the weekend and put it, drape it on there. Okay, that one comes in four sizes. We've got extra small, small, medium and large. I believe I've lost my talk back. I've lost you. 143.99 and you've got three way split pay. 0% interest, so you're not paying any interest across three months. Um, you'll pay the first payment at 47.99 today and then same day next month you'll be paying your next payment. There's no credit checks. You don't need to worry about um, anything, you know, like that, it's not going to be charging you any interest. It is simply just allowing you to get this home sooner so that you can do, uh, whether it be alterations or dressmaking. So there you have on screen your sizes. Take a screen grab of that because these discounts are only available today or while stocks last. The adjuster form so deluxe in is always our best seller at 159.99. So to get it today at 143.99 on three-way split pay, it's fabulous. Hello, I'm back. 10% off the most popular cheeky little 10% for anybody who is on the fence. If you just be aware of our sizing, we've got it A which is a small, B is the medium, and C is the large. We're just running through them all now. Extra small is written extra small for some reason, and then we've got ABC. It's always been that way. We, we don't question it. But remember, as I said, if you are thinking, oh, I'm going to go with the bigger size and take it in like I do in my dressmaking patterns I actually think the opposite way around go with a smaller dress form that you can pad out it's obviously a lot easier to pad out than to take in 143.99 Olivia is flying out 15% off and it is the only one that's got the caster wheels for me I think that is a real benefit it makes it really maneuverable uh, great and easy to store to be able to whiz around when you want to be doing a hair I think that's going to be really useful so I'm not surprised Olivia is very popular okay I really want to start making children's clothes I've dabbled but to be able to have a little dress form, I wouldn't be surprised anybody who does, you know, makes kids clothes, has their own little shop starting out. This is fabulous. And obviously, um, all children, different shapes and sizes. So like with the larger ones, you're still going to be able to adjust them as you wish with all of those different dials. Um, price comparison, this is normally $144.98 on adjuster form. Well, it is, not normally. It is that price. That's how it should be. We're all ready at 139.99 and we're still taking a further 15% off. We just want to get everybody sewing. We want to make sure everything 
is accessible as well uh, and having quality products yes you might be able to go and find cheaper dress forms but when we started sewing street we actually sort of made a little bit of a, an executive decision on which brands we wanted to bring on board and dress uh, the adjuster form was one that was really up there it's the only um, dress forms i believe we bring isn't it aren't they at the moment they're the only ones we bring um two-way split pay as well 118.99 obviously this is another one that does come on a um stand as well which is an adjustable stand it's got the pin cushion at the top and it still has all of those different dials as well as you can see in the video so the junior children grow quickly the junior is based on a child's torso that can change with your child so there's 12 thumb wheel adjustments for easy adjustment to the chest waist and hips uh, you've got a part body with the hem marker again offering wide flexibility for your creations Allows adjustments to the back. So there you go, that pops up. And you also have a neck adjustment and a handy pin cushion. It's a nylon fabric that you can pin into and it does come with a metal tripod. Um, so anybody who is making garments generally, and I say generally because every children are different, but between age six to 12. Um, there you go, you can see the sizes on screen. Now something I'm really, really pleased that we've got, we've always sort of had female dress forms, but recently having children's dress forms and male dress forms as well, I think is so important because we have so many of our viewers who are male sewers who are fantastic dressmakers. So I'm so pleased that we finally got in um, this dress form here, which is called, oh, male, not got a name. We haven't called yet. We've got Olivia, we've got our Soda Deluxe, we've got our uh, infant, and now we've got the male. So <laughs> there you go, already £10 cheaper. 169.99 on the Adjusted Form website. Uh, from where we're getting them from, can I remind you? Now, I'm presuming, yeah, you can do trousers. <laughs> I've triple checked, you can do trousers. You can offset the pole to the side, therefore you can do shorts, trousers, whatever you want to make. Um, 135.99. If you do run your own a, a, uh, alteration service, alterations business, then this is invaluable, isn't it? Instead of trying to jot down somebody's measurements and, you know, um, trying to recreate that every time and then you get another client in and you're trying to get it to the exact size, you can literally get it d just with the turn of the dials to the exact size that you need. 139.99 and then just keep a, a, a bit of a note of, you know, and then it's as quick as just changing the dials. Once again, as with all of the adjuster forms, they have these 12 different uh, thumb dials. You can do your creation of trousers. Now there's four sizes in the women's. There is one size. This is the male, uh, the male dress form. 12 thumb wheels adjustments again for your chest, waist and hips. Eight part, so it offers you flexibility in your creations. You can also see there that it has got the offset column, so you can create or adapt trousers. Allows you to adjust the back for your perfect size. It also has the neck, which has got the handy pin cushion and your neck adjustment as well, with the measuring on there. And just like all of the other adjuster forms, it comes with your metal tripod and nylon coating uh, fabric on the, on the front, so you can still pin into it. Three-way split pay, 15% off, amazing price points. Bearing in mind the place that we buy these from, the actual company are selling these for over 160 pounds. Taylor Made is coming up next. There's your size range uh, for your male form as well. So, uh, is it this one? Right, this one looks slightly different because it hasn't got the thumb dials. It's got the dials like a, a clock dial, which again, are really, really easy to use. They literally push in and spring out and then turn like a dial. So push the white part in and spin it round. Now we also um, 
Well, we only offer this in one size. This is the size that you're getting, but you can see still really, really nice and easy to adjust on the front. And then your thumb dials are the same on the side as normal. Um, a price comparison on this one. Hang on. We've looked on elsewhere. Right, we haven't just gone to adjust the form. We're looking on the high street now. Here's a very popular high street store. £118. This is the exact same one. You can see it comes with the stand. It's the tailor-made dress form. Great, you know, almost five-star review on there. And we're already under £100. So if I keep spinning all these dials, you can see how easy it is to adjust it to exactly the right size that you need. And that's 32-inch. I'm now going up to... And it's also got centimetres as well, so if you work in centimetres, 32 inches it is. I can see very clearly 81 centimetres, 39 inches here, and then your hips. So you can literally get this to exactly the size that you need. Um, right. Oh, there is actually a medium and a small. So there's two different sizes. The small is there, you can see on screen, your size guide for both. Uh, so the small is your main graphic at the moment. We have also got sizes 12 to 22, coming your way in a moment. 89.99. So this might be a fantastic place to start. It's still adjust to form. It's still got those great thumb dials. Uh, it's still got your neck adjustment. It's still got your, your back adjustment. Um, and it still comes on a, a great stand as well. But today it's the most affordable way of getting your adjuster form. Um, as I say, the only difference is these dials on the front here. Uh, the medium size, as you can see on your screen here, is for sizes 12 to 22. And just remember what I mentioned about padding out. I know John has done some fantastic demos in the past on adjusting and padding out mannequins and dress forms. Um, so if you are thinking, what size am I going for? Go for the smaller size and pad out as opposed to um, going for a, a large one and, and, and taking them in. 89.99. Talking about price comparisons, these are still adjuster forms, but just looking elsewhere on the web because we don't always just go to the, the supplier's website, do we? We shop around. So here you go. Where's going to do an aff affordable price? The catalogue shop. There you go, in Argos, £110. It's the same one. I'd have actually have said Argos was probably one of the cheapest, cheaper places. That's so good. Today, £89.99. Thing is, when we're on a live show, though, um, this is just while stocks last that you can get this price. And when I think of, so I go for my more affordable, and then I think, right, no, I want the quality. I'll head to John Lewis. They've got the same dress form. They're looking at quality products and they're still looking at £110. They're actually the same price as the catalogue shop. Are we? No. £89.99. I told you, brilliant prices and exactly the same. Um, just form, dressmaking, tailor-made mannequin for £89.99. Two sizes available. The one on your screen is for the medium, which is generally around about a size 12 to 22 in UK dress sizes. Small is also available. Definitely take advantage of those prices. And well done if you get any of these. And remember, they're going to be sent to you under our post and packaging, which is just £3.95 all day. So if you've bought anything with Adele, anything from this morning show, you're covered. You're done. You don't need to even pay any more postage, even though, obviously, these are going to cost more than £4 to post. Uh, yes. Now, earlier on, we did a bulk buy show. Making a toile is something we talk about a lot with um, dressmaking. And I know when you're buying a dress form, you might be making up a, uh, a free shrunk calico, which we use for so many projects. Yes, it's great for twirls, but also I think this is lovely fabric for homewares, for all sorts, for applique to use within your quilting. £124.99, £24.50 saving when buying on the bolt. And once again, I must mention the postage. This is a lot of calico, 25 metres in fact, and you're not paying any more for your shipping charge. Even if you bought some pins or some sewing machine needles earlier on and you've checked out, you've already paid your posting packaging, we will send you this for, you know, under that same posting packaging, which is crazy. 
two-way split pay as well. Um, you're actually saving £25 almost by getting the big bolts. So if you know that you work a lot with calico, whether it be for twirls or whether it be for applique, for tilde projects, for dress uh, or toy making, for bag lining, for cushions, then this is brilliant. £124.99. Always nice to be able to buy in bulk because you get great savings. Oh, it's broken. Sorry, I've I've, I've, I've knocked my nail on my, uh, I, I think on one of the adjuster forms. And you know what? It's like hanging off. I'm going to have to get my nail file when we've come off air. Sorry. Oh, Chris Parker's going to be like, oh. It's not, it's not in a bad way. It's not like, a, ah, my finger's falling off. I've just, I've just snagged it. Where, I don't even know whether he heard my, my, my nail story. He just looked at me and was like, oh, oh. That's how people look at me anyway. Right. By the half meter, if the bolt is not for you, if you're thinking that that's a little excessive, I don't think I need a whole bolt, but I do like working with calico and I'm thinking of making some cushions. £2.99 a half meter, pre-shrunk calico. 160, sorry, six inches wide, £2.99. You can see why we love it as dressmakers to be able to use it as a, a twirl, but still. Um, use it for all sorts of your projects because it looks like lovely, almost like your natural seeded cotton. It's got that really nice organic sort of fleck running through. Two ninety nine and a half meter. You can still buy off the bolt. We'll still cut it as you know as much as you want. So if you want to get yourself two meters, add four units to your order. Yeah, lots of people have been spotting this on the website and buying it throughout the day. Not surprised. I always think calico looks lovely. If you get some nice tilde or liberty and you applique flowers onto it. And I know Sally Ann Harrison uses calico a lot and her projects look beautiful. Adding liberty or some of those lovely lawn weight fabrics we had earlier. Two pounds, 99 and a half metre, pre-shrunk. Ready to go, ready to start making and it's only 2 99 Please, can we do our sand lamps next, Hannah? <sighs> so, I'm not going to lie, we had these up in the office and it's not really to do with sewing. So this is something, if you've already opened your order, then you're going to get these. Now, they were bought on as a manager special. The blue one was bought on as manager special. Um, I've only seen the green one before, so I love this because... I wonder whether, Charlie, are you able to bring the lights down low? Look at this. So you've got three different light settings, three different brightnesses. It's just a little touch button at the front. It comes with a USB cord, but are you ready? Watch this. Right, don't tell John, but we're going to match the manager special price. Um, this was on on a manager special show. It is so tranquil and I just think it looks lovely, a real talking point, a piece of artwork in your workroom. And it does have, and depending on, I think it comes with a little pipette. You could change the speed of how the sand falls, basically. Now, this is 39 99 Can I just tell you, I was doing a quick search earlier, and I have found... Very, very similar. Oh, it's saying this project this product is no longer available. But it was £73.30. There you go. Can you see? Oh. Oops, sorry, my microphone. I don't know why I was just um, <laughs> really awkwardly turning my, my thing around. There you go. So £73 or £74.50. And then go up, go up, go up. Oh, there it is. Very similar, slightly different in terms of the shape on the outside, but it is, uh, you know, a quick sand, USB, moving, sand art, hourglass decor. And from all angles, it looks fabulous, doesn't it? I love it, absolutely love it. I love the green, but I must say, a lot of people I know have a bit of a funny thing about the colour green, don't they? Whereas blue, the, the water and tranquility colour, this is perfect. $29.99. I just think that these look absolutely beautiful. We were really not meant to match the manager's special price. There's another one. $63.99, £70. I found one for under £50 earlier, I think. <laughs> 
falling sand light is what you want to have a look at. But, I mean, that is gorgeous, isn't it? And you can spin it round. You can take this out. But it has a nice little stand to sit within. And I just find this so tranquil. Go on. There's some really high-end ones. And Hannah's found some that are also... Okay, she's thinking where's affordable, like we did with the dress forms in Argos. One of my favourite places is the range. And that's good prices, isn't it? You know, it's affordable. There you go, similar at the range, 43.99. Ours is 29.99. I think that's pretty similar. Because with the USB, it's this really lovely solid stand. But look at how great. It's got the gold glitter sand running through as well. <gasps> I love it. I absolutely love it. And look, yes, I know it's not completely sewing related, but I think this will look really nice in your sewing room. It's really tranquil. I want a nice tranquil ambience when I'm doing my Y seams or when I'm doing an intricate seam within my dressmaking or as a gift if you're just thinking of a gift for somebody this is lovely Kat's just come in to set up her show for hobby maker what do you think I could watch it all day. she's saying I could actually watch that all day it was it was uh, it was one of the lights that was in the office with Ian it was do you remember um and it's today 29.99 I love your trousers Kat William Morris trousers she's wearing. Amazing. Uh, if you want, I could do you a great deal. I mean, £45 at the range, £29.99 here. And it's a light. Look, it's got three different brightness settings or three different light colour settings. So you've got a cool light, a warm light, and a daylight setting. But look at this. Oh, everyone's loving it. Manager special price. Don't tell John. Don't tell John. Um, yeah, Chris Parker's getting one. Chris Parker is getting one. Isn't it, like, so arty? I love having, um, you know, art in the house. It's very therapeutic, isn't it? And if you want it to move slower, then you can take some of the air bubbles out. I've not seen it in blue before. It's only been on air once before. It's only been on air in the blue, I think, once before with John Scott as a manager special. We have got the green available as well. Are you producing Sewing Street tomorrow? Cat's here tomorrow, Sewing Street. Right, should we do the green? Sorry, leave it to the green. I don't know whether... Did the green go to a manager special price as well? Can you do the um can you do the manager special price on green? Ah, I'm doing it. Well, not really, no, but we're gonna do it because I've asked so nicely. I'd have them both. Oh, the prize. No, me neither. Look, I mean this is amazing, isn't it? This one is gonna I think this one's gonna go slowly. I think, look, this is going slower. I think they must have poured some of the air bubbles out. Lots of you coming in for the green. This one is going to sell out. Very, 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 very limited. If you want to get the blue, they are fab, aren't they? Oh, yeah, it comes with a little pipette, like a little needle pipette that you put inside, draw out the, knee, the, uh, the bubbles, and it will fall faster. But that is lovely, isn't it? Right. Have we only got five minutes left? There's only one left of the green. The blue one is still in stock and it's also $29.99. Just have a bit of a look around. That is a really, really great price and I love that lamp. Um, we've got some steamers. Steamers, Hannah? Um, there's the Beldway Foldway. This is the fancy one because look, this folds down. So if you're going on a cruise, if you're going on holiday, I actually took a steamer on holiday. Mine didn't fold down like this. This is so much better for space saving. Uh, I, haven't, I don't know if I've mentioned, but I'm bridesmaid in three weeks in Spain. And my dress is very creasy. And I've told her that I will be on duty of bringing a steamer. So I definitely need to get this one because I've only got a little case. But this is brilliant. Um, I'm going to plug it in so you can see. I don't know if I've got any water in here. 
a little bit of water left. But what is fab about it is you've got a button that you don't have to hold a trigger in to be able to get full steam. Now, I've only got a little bit of um, water in here, but you'll see this warm up in a second. Now, not only does it have, here we go, here we go. Not only does it have the, um, not only does it have the, the normal steamer, it's also got this sort of lint uh, brush as well. So if you are giving you a bit of a, a bit of a freshen up to you, upholstery headboards or any of your sofas, things that you can't wash like curtains as well. I think it freshens it up, gets rid of dust. I don't know that you can, how much you can see of the steam, but you do have here your on off button. So you don't need to be getting hand fatigue, holding onto the button whilst you're steaming. Your quilts, whilst you're steaming your dresses. I, I don't know why, I feel like, I, I'm not very, I'm not very um, into ironing. If I have to get my ironing board out and iron a dress, I feel like I'm just not going to wear it. I'm just not going to wear it. It's so different to pressing, isn't it, with uh, patchwork. It's so different. It's very satisfying pressing your patchwork. But getting out a big pile of clothes to iron. So if I can get away with just steaming something, and quite often if I hang it up and give it a steam, then it does the job completely. So that's a fancy one because it folds away. It's lovely. We also have the Beldray Up White Rod. Now, the benefit of having this one over this one is that you've got a larger water tank. So this is going to do more steaming in one go. Has the little um, water tank like here. It does also come with a brush attachment. Haven't got it physically here in the studio, but it does come with a brush attand attachment and a lint remover um, and it stands up like this so you've got great vertical steam if you are steaming your quilts your lovely dresses your linen ready to go on holiday 24 pounds 99 who's ready to go on holiday 24 pounds 99 for your multi-steam pro it also has anti-lime scale uh, technology on it it's nice and lightweight i remember when i was um back in the day in my abba show and i was constantly having to steam my capes but we had one of those really big steamers and it was so heavy so heavy anyone else who was in an abba tribute show you know what it's like to be steaming your capes <laughs> 24 I have tributes there's a lot of them out there you know my I could supply them all with the steamers you know that are lightweight and also great to steam all your abacates <laughs> my favorite abba tribute is called abba bananas and also another one called knowing lou knowing deb the one I was in was called the Abba Reunion Tribute Show, which was one of the f best ones in the country. Um, even if I do so myself, I am kind of biased. But yeah, I love Abba. Right, so if you do need to steam your Abba costumes, then this steamer is fabulous for that. 24 dollars 99 We've got to go because Hobby Maker all set up, ready to go. Dan Morris Fabrics at 8 o'clock tomorrow on Sewing Street. You've got Brother Sewing Machines with Tracy Dennis from Owl and the Sewing Cat. She's going to be here um, half an hour early for you to talk through the Brother Machines. Um, then, is it the return? of bird of the month every bird back at 10 o'clock for your garden birds quilt we haven't seen those since 2022 oh cat's coming back for a reunion 2021 some of them my gosh cat's been prepping the show ready um 11 o'clock you've got the alan the sewing cat collection 19 uh with tracy dennis you get all your usbs as well remember on collection 19 and then at 12 o'clock yarn lane beach days crochet cardigan with sam sabido Sorry, I've just noticed you've got all of the Wilcoxes here. We've got Adam. It's going to be a lovely show on Hobby Baker. If you want to stay tuned for more crafting this afternoon. Um, also, have a look back through today's show because we had some great makes with Adele Rowland today. And there's been lots of different bits underneath us, including a Just a Forms discounted. Some of them as much as 15% off as well. Stay tuned, Hobby Maker. Coming up in a couple of minutes. We are back bright and early tomorrow morning at 8am. I will see you on Thursday. Bye. Here at Sewing Street, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. 
Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is £3.95. Charges may differ for outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option for £5.95 on certain items. Shopping made easy at Sewing Street. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects, and we feature fabulous tips along the way.